Oh god, how is it possible that I'm already feeling sleepy? I just started everything. Good morn. Well, fuck, it's 1 p.m. <laughs> Damn it. Uh oh, guys. Thank you. Thank you. Oh. Oh. I didn't realize my lights kinda went off. Um I'll I'll fix it later. Somehow. Good after. Good after. Hmm. Maybe I need some more. Oh, I don't know how to fix it. I thought I slept an okay amount too. Hello. Mm hmm. I had a very low key, but like still super nice birthday. Um. I'll tell you guys more about it in a bit when more people roll in a tiny bit, but it's very interesting. <laughs> I just want chips now, but it's bad. I don't have chips. I'm feeling a little snacky, but I need to stop. This is how I gained so much weight. I literally gained five pounds in the last month somehow. It's really hard. I know, I'm sorry, it's so bad, like, there's no self-control there. Thanks, Midori, thank you! It's no longer my birthday, though, it's been two days past. I had a very nice little break, though. I was debating on streaming earlier, but then I thought, you know what? We gotta take a little breaky. Did you have a fun birthday weekend? I did. I tell you guys about it. Basically, what happened was first. Um, sorry, I like AFK for a bit. My brain is like, yeah. Hi, Ari. Thank you, dude. It was just troll because. Hi, Yvonne. What's the plan today? Have a hope you have a good stream. Thanks. Today, I didn't have anything too crazy in mind. We're just going to maybe go over the kudo board a little bit. Um, talk about like some weekend stuff. And I don't know. Today, I think about what I want to do. And I kind of want to do just some IRL things into like games again. Yeah. Which. Probably would entail some League of Legends or maybe even TFT because I haven't played TFT in a while. But I also want to play League. So it's like random things into games later. Yep. Oh, I'm trying to wake up. I'm trying to wake up. Wake up. God damn it. Wake up. Um, current rank in TFT. It is. I don't know. I think I'm plat or something. No MK. You know what? It's kind of it kind of sucks because now I want them to come up with a new MK so that I could play. Wait, what was the other MK again? I'm also kind of down to play the old the old one. Maybe not today, but like another day. Like I actually want eleven was eleven the one. Okay, I'm gonna look this up on Steam right now. <laughs> Why are you laughing, Cyrus? Aw, it's okay, Paul. Thank you. Happy belated birthday. Thank you so much. 
There will always be next year. Thanks, Derek. Guys, please. I have problems with... <laughs> okay, first one's still true. But my TwitchCon meet and greets, I'm going to have four of them. But there's not going to be enough people to fill up five hours worth of meet and greet. I need you guys to help. Um... Yeah, so I have three each day at um, the Ben Q booth, and then I have a two-hour one with Twitch. Um, so somebody, yeah, well, well, um, they did say that if I didn't have any more people in line, and if I want, I don't have to do the full two hours for the Twitch one. Um, so honestly, if people don't show up enough to that one, I could just leave. <laughs> I could just leave, but I mean. Only four? It's so many. Some people just have like two. I just, okay, I don't have a problem with doing Twitch, like meet and greets at all. In fact, I love doing that. My only thing is, I don't think there's gonna be enough people. Oh, yes, come on Friday, Paul. Yeah, I just, I just personally don't think there's gonna be enough people to fill up like that many hours of meet and greet, though, you know? Yeah. So. If there is enough people, that is totally fine. You could totally get into my line, Neil. In fact, on the TwitchCon one especially, you could reserve in advance. There's like reservation stuff, right? How does that work? Does that mean like you don't have to... They don't... You don't have to line up? Oh yeah, you can't double book. Yeah, you can't. You can only... You, oh yeah, you can only make reservations, or, but that's fine. Just like come after, there's gonna be no, <laughs> there's gonna be no one <laughs> afterwards. Like just because you reserve for one person, you just can't, you can't like move to another. Like I mean, sorry, when you reserve for one, um, when that's done, you can still go to a different one though, right? Mhm. Mm Okay, like come to the Ben Q one. Okay, that's very normal then. That's fine. What time for a Ben Q, by the way? Uh, I think it's two to three every day. Let me double check on that. Mm -hmm. Yes, two to three every day. The one that I have on Sunday is 3 to 5 p.m. Yeah. The rules made it seem like you could not go unless you reserved for like anyone or for whatever. I think I for any meet and greet. Oh. Oh, I have no idea. I don't think it'll be that bad, though. I mean, yeah, I think it should be fine. I'm only there on Friday, so I'll get as much as I can. Yeah. Uh, how many people have all three day TwitchCon tickets? Do you think more people bought single day tickets? I saw that a lot of people bought um, that Sunday. Uh, Sunday only days were sold out. I almost went to Vegas for TwitchCon, but none of my friends want to go. Oh. Three day to min max. Yeah, all three. Everyone got all three. Did you guys buy things for the party? So I didn't buy it for the party. Um, because usually for TwitchCon parties, like, I always get them thinking that I'm gonna go, and then sometimes I just don't end up going. I went the first, the earlier years. Like, if you guys ever went to Long Beach, there's one at the Queen Mary one. That was one of the better ones. Like, uh, and then there's one after that that was also not bad. Um, there, I think there's one in a giant stadium thing with like Porter, or was it Madion? It was either Madion or Porter, and then um, they had like another artist out. Yeah, I, so I did not opt in for the party this year. And then I thought, okay, maybe I could just buy a ticket just in case. But then they're sold out anyway. 
Yeah, they're sold out. Yeah, if you bought it, you should check it out for sure. But like, I last minute was kind of thinking like, should I go to the party? And I was going to buy it like likelihood kind of maybe like it could sway myself to go. But then I didn't. Yeah. And I saw afterwards that it was area 15. But I didn't buy the tickets. It's fine. But yeah, basically, uh, for my birthday this weekend, what did I do? Um, on Saturday, I had a nice little dinner with my friends. We went to go eat some uh, Japanese barbecue. If you guys have never been or if you guys visit LA, there's this place called Manpuku and they have several locations. They're really, really good. Like some Japanese barbecue place that is kind of in between like middle, like there's like cheap, middle and expensive. It's kind of the middle tier, too expensive a little bit. Um, but it's kind of like the same price sometimes if you were to go to eat at like a nice K barbecue place or whatever it is. Uh, but their meats are delicious and they have the best corn in the world for $7. So if you guys ever want the best corn in the entire world, it's just in LA for $7 at Manpuku. It's like some grilled corn with butter type of thing. Did you do any grill math for what? What's the difference between Korean barbecue and Japanese barbecue? I want to say I feel like Japanese barbecue is a little bit there's like a slight difference in the marinade and it's slightly lighter I think or you could go with the normal answer that you love to hear from friends which is one is Korean the other is Japanese hi Kruka hello Ben did you love when one of your friends do that like I remember just some, some, you know, something is coming when you ask something. It's like, it's like that. And you're just kind of like half prepping for it. Kind of like, I swear to God, if they say this. Actually, there was kimchi at, there, they do have kimchi at Manpuku. Manpuku has some, uh, like Korean ish inspired dishes. <laughs> They had garlic fried rice. Thank you, S769. Thank you. Thank you. I did. It was an extremely chill birthday. Well, actually, maybe it's not. Maybe it's not like the average person chill, but it was chill for me. So maybe I could describe it. Basically, the <laughs> yeah, went to dinner and then um, went back to my friend's apartment to pregame a bit before we decide what we we're gonna do we just play some beer pong and stuff but they they had like this very cute little surprise for me they like okay maybe it's a little embarrassing okay i'll tell you guys a story actually i don't mm. <laughs> okay basically we got back from dinner it was like the four of us okay my friend sarah cat and then like uh keem so keem goes avon can you like come to um the store with me we're gonna get some like white claws and stuff and i was like sure and so the other two head up to the apartment first and i'm just like this by this part i am already drunk slash buzz because at dinner um me and sarah ordered these things called highballs and they're just like the there's just like these drinks from uh similar to how they have in japan where it's just like lemon or some type of type of fruit flavor whatever so hell and then but they're disguised as like they're like really good tasting alcohol drinks basically um and you can get drunk or buzzed quite easily off of them but anyway so we had these like giant jugs all right so i'm like drunk by this point and i head into this grocery store and we're like grabbing he like he's like grabbing laundry detergent um, we go grab the white claws. We head over to like the cashier and I'm kind of just standing there and I'm just like standing and I stand right next to, I, I, I just hear my friend go, Yvonne, why are you, why are you standing over there? Like next to, like, 
that's not, like, that's like not your side and i realized i'm standing right next to the cashier lady you know how there's like you know the lanes where you like scan the stuff and then you're supposed to be on the right side other ladies the cashier's on the other side <laughs> i'm fucking my drunk ass is just like standing next to the cashier lady and i'm like and, I, and when i realized i was mortified i was like and my friend is so not subtle about it he laughs so loud he's just non-stop laughing and he won't stop and then i start laughing because he's laughing and i'm drunk and we're just both laughing really loud and drawing a lot of attention to this situation and the, and the cashier is just smiling trying to hold in her laughter too and i was like this is i'm just here thinking like this is so embarrassing and i just I'm like can you stop this and if you can tell it's like two people talking just like you need to stop like this is embarrassing and everyone is watching me say that to him Okay, and then I get back. We were like walking to the apartment, just laughing. The he's laughing at me like the whole time. Still, so he's just like, I can't believe you did that. I'm like, Yeah, I know. I can't believe I did that either. And then we get back, and I was gonna tell the story to my friends as like a joke, kind of like, God, did you guys know like he was standing right next to the cashier? I don't know why he was. He's so fucked up that he just did that. Anyway, I'm like walking. I open the door. Uh, the apartment is like kind of dark and then uh my friends who are inside already just go like happy birthday it was really cute they had like little below balloons of like happy birthday balloons set up like along the window and then there's a cake oh my god yeah and then i walk in i'm like and i'm like wow this is so nice and then i go oh so did you guys know that like he was just it was really weird he was just like standing next to the cashier and he was like you're supposed to be on the other side like and then they he told the story and then everyone laughed at me yeah he just they just all could not hold it in not even for that <clears throat> all right anyway hi eric good morning thank you oh alex i hope your week gets better I will be here for a bit don't worry and tomorrow it is one for the books we'll just i mean everyone has like you know one of those right like if my worst thing if my drunk drunk ass story the worst thing is that i stood next to, next to a cashier at a grocery store that's honestly not that bad you know can you think of the amount of people that had had like fights with people at the bar or fucking like tried to beef police officers or some shit Hey, that's not so bad. Yeah, see, you guys, should not, it's not that, it's not that funny. Yeah, see. <laughs> it is the most adventurous supermarket kind of thing. Yeah. It was just troll. And I just, it's one of those things where I was like, I can't believe I'm, I did not notice that. Um, but anyway, then we had, we played some beer pong and then we had some cake. Uh, and the cake was so good. It was, I was just... I was not uh, not that i wasn't expecting it you know but i was just thinking like normally you just think like oh cake and then you start eating it and i'm like whoa this cake is like really fucking good and it's cold like the it was this cold berry chantilly cake or something and then my friend i was like where'd you where'd you get this cake it's like delicious and we're all like raving about it and then she kind of laughs and she's like whole foods because <laughs> she thought it was like gonna you know I be mean? like it was like troll but no this Whole Foods cake was delicious. And then later on, I'm just thinking like, okay, I'm not thinking about a wedding exactly, but I was just thinking like, dude, there's some wedding cakes out there that do not even taste like this good. And I'm thinking like, people must have had this hack. And I remember hearing it before when people like talk about their weddings or like, this is how I save money on my wedding and all that. And then uh, I remember people talking about like Whole Foods cakes or Costco cakes where like you just have, you say you can save some money there. And I I looked up this uh, because I want to know press price range. My brain goes from like I need to know like blah blah, blah just for like comparative pricing or whatever, just for curiosity's sake. Anyways, so I look on TikTok and apparently this cake is viral. It's been viral on TikTok. They call it this like berry chantilly viral like Whole Foods cake. And I'm just and how they have like different flavors according to the season so sometimes they'll have peach and sometimes they'll have whatever like whatever fruit is in season except for durian because we all know that 
Dorian would be too good for that cake. Anyway. Sergi, thank you so much for the 11 months. Welcome back. Thank you. Um, welcome back. Hello. I want to go to a ice cream, a wedding that's street that serves ice cream cake. Yeah, I mean, p people who typically don't like cake that much, they make the exception for ice cream cake because it's just mostly like ice cream. Um, I would not get a durian wedding cake for the sake of my guests, but just know that I would want to, and that I'd be doing it not for you guys. I wouldn't be doing it because of you guys. Um, but anyway. Yeah, so basically, Whole Foods Chant Berry Chantilly Cake TLDR, amazing. Go get it for whatever occasion. It tastes so good, especially when it's chilled. It's just delicious. They have so underrated. Like $30, you okay, I won't lie. It even, it tasted better than a lot of like other like typical cakes out there. Ewoks, Ace of Real Tier 3 for 15 months. Welcome back. Thank you. And Weezer, thank you so much for the 49 months. Welcome back. The award is tier three for the no, I'm just kidding. Thank you. He walks for the tier three. Um Did you hear Travis Kelsey got injured in his game? I hope he makes a swift recovery. <laughs> yeah, I keep him coming. My timeline has just been all like that. How do you describe durian taste? Yvonne, wanna take this one? Creamy, sweet, delicious, wonderfully smelling, so fragrant, you're gonna love it. Dang! Thank you for the tier three for 54 months. Welcome back to your three. Tier three is the word today. Tier three. No. Prime. No. Durian. <laughs> you, well, I don't know if you want to try durian. It's a very, like... Actually, you know what? You should try. Everyone at least should try durian once in their life. Yeah. Cyrus! Thank you so much for the 59 months. Welcome back. Prime was the word of the day. You're correct. I almost wanted to say welcome to the prices, right? But that's not correct at all. Um, some taste it say it tastes like custard. Uh it's like an equivalent of like fruit custard, probably, but it's still not like anywhere close to like what you think a custard would be. Like I think when people think custard, they think egg sweet delicious like the, most people can be can say they love custard in like boston cream type of donuts or like whatever the heck like um taiyaki people would not nearly say the same about durian i'll tell you that but it's to the people who like it they love it like it's really good you don't really have like a medium opinion towards it I would say for most people, they either think it's absolutely vile and disgusting or they think it's or when they see it, they get really excited and they fucking love that shit. Have you tried the cakes at Milk Bar? There's pop pumpkin coffee cake and Caesar. I have. I totally have. And the thing about trying a lot of cakes is we've had a lot of birthdays and I've ordered so many cakes for people. I've probably tried like not like a ton in L.A., but definitely tried Susie's. A milk bar, Porto's, um, Paris spaghetti, 85 degrees. Out of all of those so far, Porto's and the Whole Foods cake were probably the two best ones. Oh, um, the crepe cake place also really good. Lady M. Yeah. Other than that, not like. I'm trying to think of other ones. Neo, thanks for gifting a tier three. You gifted a tier three sub. Not even, not even for for themselves. Oh my god, that's so nice. Thank you, Neo. Oh, I've never tried Haru cake, but I saw the pricing for those cakes. It's insane. Haru cake they sell per slice is like fourteen dollars a slice. I've heard that it's not really worth it. I heard the drink is really good. Like they have this corn latte that's delicious, but not the other stuff. I know gifted to three is kind of crazy. I, I don't think I've ever seen that. I've always seen like the other ones. Unless maybe it was like in a cluster. All this cake talks makes me want to buy cake. <laughs> this cake talk just makes me want to rebuy the Whole Foods cake that I got, which I actually might. It was so good. Keone, thank you so much for gifting five subbies. Thank you, Keone. 
Let's freaking go. You didn't get enough mooncake this year? You had to make it. You had to make it. You have to make the snowy mooncake. Buy it and take a video reviewing it. I will. You think I won't? That just be that wouldn't even be work. That would just be me getting to eat cake. I'm gonna look this up right now. Whole foods cake. <laughs> Thanks, bird. You don't gotta tell me twice. Oh, we fine. You should review it. Oh, well, you know what? No worries. I'll review it just for you guys. Let me just see. All right, cause, oh my god, I know. Harvest custom cake art is so cute. They have such a they do such a good job. Let me I'll show you guys. You guys don't if you guys don't know what the Haru cake um looks like, I'll show you. I got you guys. I know you guys asked for this. All right. So typically, they have this. Oh my god, they're hiring? <gasps> Damn it. I have to be bilingual in English and Korean? I already I already got gapped. That's I, I didn't make it even past the basic requirements. God damn it. No. Oh. Oh, that's fine. You know, I low key like I low key kind of am down to work at a coffee shop just to like learn that shit. Wait, Annie Michelle, can we work there? Damn it, damn you guys! Hey, they get in, they get in and bring me in. Nepotism. I I I want to join, but do you think they'll make an exception? It. Okay, I'm bilingual, but just not Korean. But there's gonna be Chinese customers, right? I can speak Chinese. I know a little bit of Mandarin, and then I could do the Cantonese part and the English. Um, uh, je peux parler un peu de français. Yes. Uh, oui, oui. Omelette du fromage. I also know. I also know some French. Yeah, they're gonna fucking love having a quilingual person. Did you say I want cheese? I said omelette du fromage. Didn't I just say cheese omelette? Hmm. <laughs> Poubelle. Est-ce que je peux aller au toilette? Je ne sais pas. Huh? Pample mousse? What's that? She said cheese, egg, trash, and can I go to the bathroom? Yeah, and then I said, I don't know. Um, but yeah, they have this corn latte that I want to try. It looks hella good. But I just, they, I've just heard of them having like two hour lines, which is insane. Uh, but their cakes are very cute designed, but each one is kind of expensive. It's like $14 a slice. But, they have very, very cute, like, look at this. The style they go for, in a way, is very, or the art, yeah, is just very uh, simple, but, like, I think this one is so cute. Um, their, their focus was on cakes, and then they kind of popped off with the latte. It's very simple, yeah. I think it's kind of hard to do. I think it's very hard to do like simple but clean cake because you have to make sure the simple is very well done because it's the only type. It's like that's the. If there's minimal things on the cake, then you have to make sure the minimal things are well done because that's where all the attention is going to be going to. But even then, they've done kind of more like the writing is really cute. The font is cute. Yeah. Like this is so love it um yeah it's very neat i don't know i don't think so i don't think i'm that good at piping i haven't tried piping that much but piping you have to have like a very steady hand and you have to be like your your buttercream or whatever uh icing you use has to be like a good texture to make it easier too i don't know man it ain't the easiest for me i'll tell you that i tried before 
Um, even icing a cake is hard. I'll try it sometime, though. But yeah. Cake baking stream? Honestly, I'd be down. A cake decorating stream sounds fun as fuck. I would literally just bake cakes ahead of time and just be like, all right, guys, all we're doing, canvas baking, decorating today. But I would need, it's kind of like Minecraft where I would need kind of like an example to go off of to practice. Like I can't just create a Minecraft house on my own without it looking just a little scuffed. I want to actually do try to use a, something as an example so that I could like learn and have a guide to it. And then like afterwards you can kind of get a bit more creative. Yeah, I do. This is from my stream anniversary or Twitch anniversary. Yes, I could watch a YouTube video and you can practice on like wax paper or other things. Um... I don't remember where I got this shirt from, but it must be somewhere. Pipe, pipe, pipe blend? Somewhere, I don't remember. Okay, Treb? Um, thanks. Thanks, Loki. But, yeah, those, those are really, um, I want to try their cake, but I heard their cake is, it's sometimes just a little hard to justify the price, even though, obviously, for good reason, they can charge a lot. It's just, for special occasions. Um, no, I did not stream before Twitch. Twitch was like the first platform that I ever did anything on in terms of streaming. Um, but yeah, I got this delicious Whole Foods cakes, Whole Foods cake, and then we went to a club in K Town, and then we went to karaoke after. I love karaoke. Karaoke is just so fun. You get to cue all the songs that you like, and then the next day. Uh, was actually my actual birthday and then we went to or I went to um my friend's birthday with Andy and Michelle so on my birthday I went to a different birthday party because it was also that person's birthday um and they got a petting zoo and they had pickleball and a bunch of other things uh at, like activities and they had tacos catering and as a party favor you get to take home like soup dumplings or something which songs did i sing i remember driver's license say something taylor swift like blank space and love story um i got to, i was just saying a bunch like because we had a smaller group we probably we i think we had like one two three four five six people so when you have six people you can sing pretty often which i, I kind of do like having like a smaller group in terms of that you gotta cue all the songs that like everyone gets their song really quickly and you get to sing a lot uh so much more worth you took home the pork soup. it's actually good you did oh you're at the party yeah it's, it was it was i'm glad it was good it's just like um Yeah, I mean, any type of... Okay, also, like, his birthday, he had a ton of performers that were just, like, amazing. So many talented people. I'm just thinking, like, how the heck do you have so many people who can sing or dance or perform well, whatever the heck? They're just all there. Me, for the three of us, we just wanted to... We were really excited for the tacos and also the petting zoo <laughs> like they're really cute they're they had the same chickens that they had at tina's birthday it's kind of like the the interesting looking chickens and then there were there was a pig and then there's really cute rabbits there's like a baby rabbit that like a bunch of the big ones just literally saw this baby baby rabbit as like a speed bump they would just run over her or like sit on top of them and that's it like this small one got bullied by the big ones. Um, and there's a goat, and I gotta take a picture of the goat, but the goat kind of just like struggled and was kind of like, as I was taking the, the picture, it's like, let me go. I, I I want out. And I was like, okay. And the, and the goat just like, because the goat was following the mom. There's like a mama goat, and there's like a little baby goat. And every time the baby goat was like far enough from the mom, the baby goat just wanted to go back. Yeah. And then I came back home and then uh, hung out with Andy and Michelle for a little bit. And then they went home and then I played a couple league games with Andy because he's trying to get better at league. He's trying to get out of iron. Um, 
we lost the game because someone because topside entered so hard one of the games and then the second game we won we won in like less than 20 minutes hey <laughs> and then uh the roomies came in and sang happy birthday gave me a really nice cake as well it was really cute it was funny because they came in while i was in the league game and then sakuna was like you're playing league on your she's playing league on her birthday and i was like um listen guys um i'll be done after this game i'll go down right after like i can explain um listen i want to play because because andy wanted to play you know like it was just it was just and i had some time like what was i gonna do you know i was already home right anyways yeah played league um uh, chatted for a bit and then that's kind of the end of it yeah i didn't really have anything after that but if anything it felt quite eventful despite me saying that i despite it being technically i didn't plan anything other than like maybe the dinner into whatever the heck on on saturday with a smaller group of people and then uh like my friends that i typically go out with and stuff and then on sunday i didn't even plan anything other than going to to my friend's birthday which had a lot of events and i i just figured like honestly that sounds kind of lit like i don't mind doing that because i wouldn't have planned anything else what would i have done uh, stay home or like maybe I don't know. There's not. I I wasn't very creative in thinking about things. I just didn't even think in advance. I did win the league game. So the the game that they walked in on, we won in like tw what, twenty minutes. Saw me on YouTube. No way. Um. Coven skins. <gasps> Who has skins? I do like the the some of their skins in that. Was it LeBlanc and Zyra had like good skins of those? We need to win fast so I can eat cake. Yeah, we were. Nami? <gasps> Akali? Dude. Fuck yeah. Okay, we're playing. But I always have to wait. I always have to wait an extra day because LPP doesn't give you like the skins like exactly on release day. I think you have to, you, I think you have to wait a day. So I can't even use the skins right after. Which is fine. I, I just wait a little bit. I know I have prestige Akali. I should not complain. I have. I'll. I'll use both. I'll use both. Wait, it's a prestige one. What the fuck? I don't know. Oh, normal. What the fuck? Okay, I need to see this. But yeah, um, overall, my birthday was very pleasant. I felt, uh, just chill. Like, it, it just, it did not feel anything was forced. I kind of just went along with the flow for, like, whatever plans or whatever was going on. And it was just nice. Like, I just like that, honestly, that there wasn't, um, anything crazy that I did. Because I just did not have the energy, I think, to expend like that. But, Yeah. I will say I enjoyed it. I want to look at the at the skins. Um, let me see. Woods, death the light. Tell me, sisters, what moves both dead and death the like? It's there. Okay, this was not the what I thought it was, but I'll watch it. Dreaming. Shall ensure the rising tide, and your gods will drown beneath our waters. Dude, what the oh, hell? My sisters. There's Loki giving me shivers, I man. Oh. Oh my God. Oh, this is Nobby. Oh my god, Nami just looks straight like... Whoa. Mordekaiser has one. Okay, I just sorry. I'm skipping because I want to see Akali. 
Oh, the blades are cool here. Look at the Invis blades. Oh my god. She does look cool though. I kind of like that her spells are dark. It might be like a semi pay to win skin because it's like harder to see if she has her E on you and other things maybe. Oh, the prestige is a pretty color too. Wait, I kind of want it. It's sparkly. That's how they get you? Fine, how be got. I honestly just love playing League again. I was telling Andy we should get we should just five stack because I think he would enjoy it more. I mean, he he's probably going to still want to play solo queue and rank and stuff, but I think that he'll like being able to play like League is the most fun when you play with a group of friends. It is. It is cuz everything feels just more like if you lose it's like, "Oh, at least you lost with everyone." And you're kind of like, "Oh, well, like go again next time." Like it's way better than losing with randoms that you don't, I mean, and who have a chance to, of like flaming or doing whatever. I think your procedure calling one, you have to roll no matter what. You, not roll. You have points that you exchange for it and you would auto, you don't need to get the original. As long as you don't play top lane where you're on an island. Oh, like with friends or... <laughs> Hey, just just like hang out with your jungler and then it's almost like you are playing with other people or TP bot Yeah Nasus or Akali It's pretty fun. <laughs> oh god Drop the codes or when or when we play you can drop the codes when we play. Oh Or he's just doing it Yeah, we do have some codes for the month as well The LPP codes Woo! Play or learn with um when I first played league I played with like my friends from home 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 and then I actually met a bunch of people not through my I, I met a lot of people online it was just through adding people in games who I thought were nice who were pleasant to play with um and they were funny or had a good time like they weren't toxic and stuff so I literally just added random people from my games because you've had like a chill game with them you talk to them and that's a great way to honestly make some friends with people that you think seem kind of cool and then you actually just like invite each other to games and all that and that's actually just how i met a lot of people or became friends with people on league um it was just because because sometimes it's like a web once you meet one person you sometimes you'll join some of their games and you meet some of their friends and if this person is cool and their friends are kind of vetted by them in some ways like you just meet other people who are cool. Obviously, you do not. They're not always going to be cool, but you could you could uh, filter people or like kind of just. It's just a way to meet people, um, and I think having like a nice online community of people that you can game with, have fun like doing that kind of stuff because you all have a similar interest and you can play other games together and build more relationships that way. Like, I don't know. Um, the internet is awesome because you're not limited by vicinity you get to still hang out with people that you think are cool even if they're on like the other side of the world i swear kioni has been to one twitch con and never again I actually think you could too. We would all tell people to go to Keone's meet and greet. Um, or we would all go together. Uh, what do I want to listen to? Like, 
kind of feel like I listen to the same. You don't, do you guys feel like that way, where you just hear the same songs over and over on my stream alone? And you don't like it because I just listen to this one stream playlist all the time. Um, are you going to what TwitchCon? TwitchCon, I am. I have to I have um. I have three meet and greets with Ben Q, and then I have a Twitch meet and greet, which honestly I fucking love. Okay, I know I'm sponsored by them, but I love. Ben Q so much in terms of uh okay their products actually good which is obviously a plus but their team amazing I did that I did this one meet and greet um in OC with them and they were so accommodating so nice and they just get it like they're just not forceful of anything they try to make sure like like me working with them that I'm like okay with a lot of things and they also like have their uh expectations or boundaries that they set very healthy like in a very good way it's kind of like you just have a partner who's like so good at communicating and they also want the best for you and they will not like push you to do anything that you're uncomfortable with i nothing but, heard about nothing but positive comments from people who went to the first meet and greet with ben q they are like god tier because like that meet and greet i also got to like spend more time with and talk to people and have conversations with people and it was great oh yeah i have a lot of catchy songs but what playlist? Puri, hello. Puri. What is BenQ? Actually, they are like a um. They have a lot of monitors, uh, projectors. Uh, they kind of been in the space for a long time, especially for mo for gaming monitors. And I remember a lot of, some of my friends back then who played pro. They were just like, oh yeah, I liked BenQ monitors and stuff the most and all that because sometimes they would play with it on stage or they just had it at home um okay but something that i actually use really often is their projector and i think their projector is amazing so the first time i tried their projector was in was at the mean greet place and basically they wanted to promote like um like how you could play games on the projector and i just remember being like as I was doing it, whoa, I was like the quality. Okay, sorry. This is literally not required and this is not an ad. I mean, it is, I am sponsored by them, but like this part is not, this is like actual genuine like opinion on it. When I was playing it, I just thought the quality is so good because we were playing games on the Switch or other things. No, it is like, I don't have to say this shit. Um, we were playing like It Takes Two or we we're playing like some other stuff. Um, and there's no lag. There's no there there's no lag like from the projector to like the game that you're playing and all this kind of stuff and uh the quality was also really good like it looked really high def and the colors and picture was very vibrant and then they gave me one they maybe this is why they gave me one <laughs> like i'm just like so uh i feel so like convinced or strongly about it because i had such good experiences anyway um yeah their plan worked i basically have one um and it is so it was so easy to set up and it's so nice i didn't okay i won't lie before i had always like a kind of like i only i want a tv or i've always just had tvs any house i've been in if you guys have seen my house tours or anything or my room tours or anything like that i've always had tv like mounted somewhere whether it was at the apartment whether it was at the old otv houses whatever it was because i just always liked having tv which i do because uh usually when during the day i don't like that projectors you can't really watch during the day unless you like black out everything um even at the house exactly at the apartment with scar and toast like i i always had like a tv mountain mounted and everything um and i've moved so many times but the movers you know would help like take down the tv and all that kind of stuff um but the projector is so s space saving and when I used it, I was like, wow, I didn't have to lug around like a giant TV this whole time. I could have just used like a little projector and then just like got like a screen of some sort or just put it against the wall. And it's just it just feels so much more convenient. Like I could take the projector and just move it to the living room if I wanted to and just like watch something there. Um, and if you want to watch it during the day, you would have to get like a back screen for it that would make it so that it's a lot easier to watch. I have like specific projector ones for that, but I've just seen it on TikTok too, where people just like either use like a roll one and they're just like, it's just really easy. You just like install and it scrolls down on its own when you use like a remote or something. 
but i've been so swayed by the projectors like in terms of just how much space it is how much easier it is to move especially if you move around or whatever um and the quality of it was just so good i just i think i was worried about projectors being washed out in terms of color or washed out in terms of how high def it is but after using the projector i'm like oh this is not a problem at all uh yeah it's also just i'm just saying projectors in general like you could totally get like a day-to-day -day projector it doesn't have to be a gaming one it's just when i played on the gaming one on the benq gaming one like it was just it was great like playing on the switch just felt like it was just normal um there's no lag so yeah i i can't say compared to other projectors because i've only ever used this benq one since they gifted it to me um but it is good so i just like anyone anyone's ever says anyone i say i can only vouch for this one because i've only used this one um slimax thank you so much for the 50 months welcome back thank you thank you thank you yeah samsung has a great sweet gaming projector also adjusts the image based on the angle i think they all um have this thing where you could adjust like the angle um like there's a setting where you go depending on how you're laying down or where, how far you are or the angle of it you can adjust so that they kind of on the wall i don't know how they do it but the projector kind of can like turn towards you in a way yeah keystone yes keystone that's what that that's what it's called um i've been watching old league videos and it's so fun thank you for the content you want oh i love the old league videos they're so fun they're so nostalgic i miss that sorry i didn't mean to turn into an ad but it's because i had such a great experience with this that like i just love and have been convinced that i think from every house here on out or wherever i move to i'm gonna have a projector in my room instead of a tv because then fuck also the install of having to hire a task rabbit or someone in to drill and mount your tv and then demount it every time no I paid too much money for that yeah i've been convinced um thank you adrilius hi vicky it's it's kind of more specific to me in terms of like i really like the convenience of it because i do move around a lot and also i don't like some of the rooms that i've been in i don't have the biggest rooms so it's just like such a nice space saver where if i don't have a big room then like i sp save space and having a tiny thing instead yeah Oh yeah, Ben, sorry. <laughs> My birthday was on Sunday. It was like two days ago. Didn't your TV stop working because Scar broke it? Oh, there's one at the apartment that he broke. He like leaned back and didn't know the the uh TV was behind him. Does it I never noticed it warming the room a lot, but maybe it does. The thing I notice the most is my computer when I'm streaming that warms up the freaking room, which I'm glad that today it's finally colder so that it's hopefully not hot because it's been so hard to be in my room with all the freaking heat. Ugh. Dude, it was like 90 the other day when it's fall in LA and I want to die. I was just thinking usually in NorCal, that's when it gets hot up there, you know, like NorCal summer is usually around it is around like september and stuff like that but not in la bro thank you i had a very nice chill birthday i liked it a lot yeah it gets chilly during the day for halloween i mean like i hope it just stays chilly i'm kind of just down for okay normally i do really like warm weather i like um being able to wear like skirts or shorts in the summer again because i don't like wearing pants but honestly i'm kind of down for cold weather now i just want to be able to wear sweaters i feel like in la i have rarely ever been able to wear like a hoodie or sweater and i just what do i have all these things for yeah the pant like yeah pants suck yeah we're gonna play some league today some league and maybe some tft at the end i don't know i'll see but i really want to Start playing more League. It's been nice. I don't know if it's because of the world's effect or whatever it is, but... Calgary best weather, yeah. <laughs> I don't know about that, but... I am going to Calgary next week. I'm excited. 
I've been trying to look at um what I guess new places have opened because I haven't been in a while and like they keep opening up new food places and so yeah I'm gonna try some some stuff the world's in new jeans effect actually though every time worlds comes around people just start playing league and especially oh my god after the last worlds how hype it was I'm so excited Emerald is the worst. Dude, rank is bad everywhere. Whether you're in gold, whether you're in masters or anything, I just don't think there's a difference, man. People complain in... my. I've heard people complain in challenger, other things all the time, too. Everywhere. You're looking to visit Calgary next year? Dude, visit? I hope you visit in the summer. It gets freaking cold. Yeah, I don't... Okay, I, my expectations are not that it'll be, like, the same worlds as last year because I think that that type of thing only comes around once. But... I don't know. Oh yeah, I mean hockey season hockey season is already in, isn't it? Or coming up. It was considered cold for LA weather. Cold is like probably ten or eleven degrees Celsius in LA. I actually haven't played Valorant in a while. I've only played Valorant like Actually, the last time I played Valorant was with Michelle and Anita. We had like a, we had like a girls day or girls night sort of ish where we just played Valorant and ate snacks. Um, it was funny because Michelle called us and then she turned on her webcam and I was like, oh, we're just turning on our webcam, I guess. And we're just like all kind of hanging out while playing Valorant like that. That was the last time I played it. Um... Did they get to try my mooncakes? Also, do you recommend watching YouTube tutorials when making them? I okay. Uh, I put my mooncakes in the fridge for anyone who wants them. Some were missing. I don't know who ate them, but because they don't, <laughs> I don't know. But um, I don't think mooncakes are for everyone. I also didn't personally like it, so I didn't really try to sell it. I wasn't like, oh guys, there's mooncakes. I kind of just like left it, hoping maybe no one would eat it. Trash, but I didn't want to waste it at the same time, so I just left it there. Trash, but thank you so much for the three months. Welcome back. Thank you. Uh, and I do highly recommend watching the YouTube tutorials when making them so you can see how the texture or how like the How it should look as you're going progressing through the steps like it should it be this sticky should it be this consistency all that kind of stuff Yeah, it's hard to uh, If you don't it's really hard Ye the custard Is it trip for work? No, I, I'm just gonna have to visit my mom I haven't visited her in so long and I don't I kind of don't want to put off like visiting her I don't want to keep making excuses of like oh I'm just busy or now is not a good time like no I could if I want to fit it in even if it's busy like I should make time to see my family like it's like a good priority to put it's like the same type of priority you want to put to work or other things like I don't feel like I in actuality I think I I think I'm gonna think that I have a lot more time with family and my mom and stuff than I do um, in actuality because I think the years are just gonna go by really fast. I think things are just gonna go by so fast and I don't want to feel that at the end of it. So um, if I have a thought of, I kind of really want to go home or I kind of want to visit home, then I'll just do it. Yeah. Um, and flights home are never too expensive if I just plan like a little bit even in advance. It's around like $200, $300 round trip maybe yeah. um, if I plan a little bit better. And that's totally like, yeah, that's not bad at all. Like you freaking go out for like a weekend. You know how like sometimes you spend like stuff on gifts, party, whatever the heck, like 
karaoke, whatever it is. What practical gift are you going to buy for her? I'm just going to give her money. She just wants money so that she can invest in stocks or do whatever during the day. So I'll do that. <laughs> uh, or if she wants like a vac, like another vacuum cleaner or something. But she said she got a vacuum cleaner like last year. So she's not going to want it. And I bought her a bidet. Um... Yeah. Get her water sensors? What are water sensors? A towel warmer. Oh, you're right. Oh my God. I'm going to get her a towel warmer. I have to find that in Calgary. But maybe I'll just look at like the bay if they still have it or like Sears or something. Did you guys ever have Sears in the States? You did, right? That you guys just didn't have the bay. The bay is like a very Canadian like department store and stuff. Okay, Sears you had a long time ago. Like they're not there. Lowe's Canada should have it. Okay, that's right. Lowe's, some type of like a uh, Home Depot or development store. It's from the states. Okay. I remember we had Kmart too, and then and then that died. Hey, let's go. Yeah, Sears was kind of like the place where a lot of people shop and that was totally fine. It's like one of the more cheaper or other kind of like more discounts department stores. Yeah, Kmart. Canadian Tire we have, but and it's kind of misleading. You think Canadian Tire is kind of like a more just car place and that they sell tires which they do but they have a lot of other things that they have like a lot of household appliances they have candy they have snacks they have kitchen shit like a lot of other random shit oh zellers oh my god i totally forgot about zellers dude you just unlocked like a freaking old ass memory Oh my god. Zellers is such a throwback. Are they bringing back Zellers? No way. They are? Oh. Okay. Um... Oh my god. Tiani, are all the uh, reacts like added to the thing in terms of like, are they, do they, do we have all the offline TV and friends ones too? Oh yeah, okay. No worries. Apparently there are 11 years- Sears left in the US still. That's not a lot. Oh my god. Okay, I had a really weird out-of-body moment, but I thought for a second that I was back in Canada and I was thinking about how I won an ice cap. But that was because I was just- like, I felt so distorted. I thought I was already back in- for some reason I thought I was back in Calgary. That's crazy. Um, what's an ice cap? It's a, it's called like an ice cappuccino and they have it at Tim Hortons. It is delicious. Okay. It pretty much kind of looks like this. Um, except for they typically don't have the whipped cream unless you get kind of like a more supreme version of it, whatever it's called. Uh, so they have like kind of cookie ones or whatever ones kind of uh chocolate caramel but i personally think the best is the original um for a period of time though i did like the the oreo one type of one that they had they had like a or yeah the oreo one was good but no coffee whoa 
No, but the original ice cap with extra and you get it with a bit of extra cream. It's so good. This shit was like crack. Like back then, I would just whatever I, whenever I need to work or do anything during the day, I would just buy an ice cap, and it would it would make me feel like I'm wired. I kind of want one now, <laughs> but I. Okay, so the thing I maybe have to opt for is. The thing I have to opt for is just a blendy of some sort of. Um, like at Starbucks or somewhere else, like a frap. It's similar to a frap, but frap has have their own consistency. This one's like a little icier. If you guys have ever had basically frappes kind of at like other coffee shops, it's almost like, it's, excuse me, it's almost like that, but the, it just tastes better. Like usually I love frappe things. I don't know if it's like coffee or something, but something doesn't taste as good. The ice cap has a perfect amount of kind of like the coffee with milk in it or some type of cream that makes it delicious. Iced cappuccino. How do I find that here? It's just not gonna be here. It's just different, man. I, I'm, well, you know, what am I doing? I'm gonna go back to Calgary anyway and I'll see. I'll be able to have it, but it's kind of not the same. I've never had Dunkin' Donuts. You know, it's crazy because I've been here for so long and um, people say that Dunkin' Donuts is kind of like the ice cap of Canada. They have frozen coffee. Is the frozen coffee good or is it eh? It's pretty much Timmy's. But what if they're... Oh, it's eh? I was gonna say, what if their thing is also good? I just never tried it. No, it's not like popsicle. It's just pretty much like a frappe. It's like a frozen type of blended drink. And it melts a bit over time. This is really bad, but I kind of want dessert and I, I should be losing weight, especially for TwitchCon. But I really want banana cream, a uh, banana pudding. So basically I ordered banana pudding from this other dessert place and it wasn't as good. And now it makes me want the actual banana pudding from Magnolia Bakery. But then I also remember seeing all these TikTok recipes on how to make banana bread pudding. And like, apparently, so Magnolia is so giga chat, okay? That they released their recipe, their famous banana bread uh, pudding recipe to the whole world. They don't give a shit. They're like, we already earned a name for ourselves and we make it hella good. You guys can have the recipe, whatever the fuck you want. Like, it doesn't matter. So they released it and a lot of people on TikTok or other things have been making it too. So I could order it now, but I also kind of want to try to make it. Let me see. There's got to be a YouTube or like some type of tutorial on how to make the Magnolia bre banana pudding recipe. Oh yeah, they have it everywhere. Ooh. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Magnolia Bakery recently released their famous banana pudding. And if you've never... It's, it's, it's god tier. If you guys have never had it, it's so good. Oh, sorry. <laughs> it scared you. I found Meg down below. So what you want to do is take your sweetened condensed milk, open Ooh, it up. I have this condensed milk. so easy. I can't is believe it? that they just gave it to us for free. You want to just mix it with the ice cold water. I'm not really sure why it needs to be ice cold water. Well, just very cold water. So that's, <laughs> that's why all I put funny it looking. in the freezer for 20 minutes. I could make it, And yeah. then you mix it. And don't make the rookie mistake Ooh. I made. I switched out my measuring cup into a bigger bowl and I make a lot of instant yeah. pudding and the recipe did specifically say use the jello brand Ooh. add in the jello 
vanilla instant pudding to your condensed milk and cold water. Continue to mix for about Stop, one I minute. Make and it they now. did use a stand mixer, but I didn't want to take it out. So I just used a regular whisk and I transferred it back to my measuring cup, covered it and put it in the fridge for about four hours. Once your vanilla pudding has thickened up, you're gonna make the whipped cream. And I'm using three cups the of cream. the heavy whipping cream. And you start it off with your stand mixer at low and then you increase it to high until you get stiff peaks. This took me about five minutes to make sure it got to this consistency. Then you wanna take your instant pudding that we have put in the fridge for four hours and you mix it in with the whipped cream. Just mm. continue to transfer it back, mix it in, give one away. Assemble. Now I didn't use all you have left to do is to assemble. Yeah. Now I didn't use a nine no, by 13. So I used two trays because I want to give one away. You have your vanilla wafers and your vanilla wafer on the banana. Yeah, the, the, like putting it together honestly looks fun. You just add cookies, add the banana, layer it in, add the cookies, add the stuff, layer it again. And then the last layer will be your vanilla pudding again. No. And with this small tray, I only did two layers. Then you can crumble some of the vanilla wafers on top, decorate however you want. Mm. And then what you want to do is make sure you put a cover on top, then put it in the fridge for overnight. The recipe did say for at least 12 Banana hours. bread pudding, yes, so 12 hours. So the small hours. tray is for my sister. And then I did the remaining in a bread pan and I ended up getting four layers instead. Now you don't have to do two trays. I just did because I wanted to give one away to my sister and the bread pan gave me four layers. So it is a lot that this recipe will make. And I just crumbled in some vanilla wafers on top again. Yeah, and it looks I like it's a pretty it big recipe. For overnight. That's the first time I've seen. I'm so- Oh, that looks fucking good. All right, what do I need? <laughs> Bananas. All right, well. I know. I want. I would need sweetened condensed milk, bananas, heavy whipping cream. Yeah, maybe we could make it tomorrow. Uh, let me see. Bananas. I'm not sure, but it's making me really want it now. But the problem is, like, I can't even eat it. So even if I did make it and we got to, like, go through all the process of everything, like, I can't, um... Like, try it for you. You guys are gonna have to just trust that it ended up being good. Dude, they use hella bananas. They said five to six sliced. Yeah, I could vlog it. I think it might actually be better to vlog or make like a TikTok out of it versus streaming it because I think it's kind of too short to stream. And then milk. Yeah, that's a lot. It's gonna fill a lot. As fuck. I don't need myself at all. Okay, condensed milk. Uh, heavy whipping cream. And the instant vanilla pudding. And then these Nila cookies. Okay. All right. That's, that's a pretty short recipe list. Like, I know they'll be, uh, they'll be pretty easy to make. This doesn't seem very hard to make. Fuck. 
very doable. Just me and my girlfriend. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, maybe I don't need this. Vanilla Jello. Instant vanilla pudding. Oh yeah, it's this one. Alright, give me three of these boxes of them. I'll take it. Um... Ice cold water, whipping cream, banana. Okay. I feel like that's good. <laughs> uh, I don't know what else we need here, but get over you. Maybe I'll buy some Celsius to get a different flavor. Ooh, one of these ones. Mm -hmm. Alright. Okay, I'm sorry. I may not stream this, but I'll make a video out of it or something. Do you drink a Celsius every day? Not every day, but uh, I drink it pretty often. I love it. I was about to order the one from Magnolia, but I will hold back because I will make it instead. Hi, Bryce. Have you listened to Drink Songs, Yvonne? I only listen to the popular one. The soup you made, every texture is like, it's so good for like 10 minutes. Really? Yeah. She, oh my God. She's always been, I told, I said this before. She's a, like my biggest hype man for that salmon belly miso soup. It's so freaking good. I keep wanting to make it, but I don't want it to be like the only thing I eat or consume. But like, honestly, I'm still down for more of it. Celsius is like a, an energy drink. It's like a low calorie, almost like no calorie energy drink. I think maybe it might have like five. Oh, this is a sad song. I love Sasha Sloan. Yes, yeah, is a gone shirt. Oh no, not no, no sorry, kill the shirt. I don't have a gone shirt. Um Oh, I miss Ninja Milk too. I'm so sad. The ones that I had expired, like left over, like I just cause I didn't drink it for so long because I was kind of trying to save some of it, but it just didn't work out. They expired instead. I didn't look at it. It's so sad. Um Actually, maybe I should go to the fish market sometime, too. There's, like, a fish market, and that's where I get the pork belly from, and it's just so good. It Okay, so what I learned from pork belly, or, sorry, not pork belly, salmon belly soup, is salmon belly is easy to fat, but it adds a ton of flavor to the soup. So what you should do is use pork, or, sorry, I keep saying pork belly, salmon belly, in the soup for the flavor because it's typically really cheap i think pork uh pork belly salmon belly is so cheap do you add a little bit of that and then you just buy fillets like set for it could be frozen or other salmon fillets that you put in there and it will be the good salmon part of the soup that you can actually eat with it sounds like you should do a stream making the soup yes i already made um uh, certain parts of it is cheaper. So the ones I get from the store, from the market, it's $4 for a pack of it. And they come in strips. So it's not like the full salmon belly, because I think they, they cut like a part of it that's for sashimi. And then they have leftover side parts that are more of the fat. And so that thing, the, you get like so many slices of those or the chunks of those for four dollars or something pretty cheap so that's more for soup yeah because they took out like the sashimi part of it so yeah it's delicious 
Okay, I have to show you guys this like kind of new cooking channel type of thing I watched recently. It's a uh, pro chef versus home cook, and I love watching this. I think it's such a fun. Uh, it's such a fun way to to see how the difference in like skill level and also creativity and how they maximize ingredients. Yeah, it is from that. I'll show you guys my favorite episode. Um, I also want to learn this recipe, this uh, ramen one too. Okay, um, right, I'm gonna go to the bathroom. I'll be back and then we can watch it. Um, but I really, it's like a, I thought it was a really clever and smart series for them to do. Actually, maybe I could do the kudo board really quick. I'm going to do the kudo board like super quickly and then we can get to the episode. How about that? Um, the kudo board will be faster this year. I actually don't think there's as many entries, but so we'll be able to get through it. I kind of skimmed through it just to make sure that it wouldn't be like a two hour one. So because I was like, shit, one sec. I'm back. All right. Thank you. I am back. All right. We got this. Go through it. Nothing crazy. We're good. I'm telling myself that. <laughs> um, eh. What do you mean? Pleb Lord? Yeah, I saw it. Ari! Thanks to you, I've now become a challenger in League Valorant, Minecraft, and Bloons TD6. I haven't seen the League Grey skin in almost three years, all thanks to your incredible guidance. 
I love you, Ari. Thank you so much. It's so nice. I, every, all the messages are so nice. Sorry, I'm not going to read everything out loud, but I will get to the part. Like, I'll read, like, certain parts of it. Because I want, I don't want to make it too long or anything, but I do want to read it with you guys. So. I feel like I run into Lufa's, like, friends all the time. Like, not Lufa himself, but... But, like, all of their friends. Uh-huh. Old enough to be a great grandmother. Ha ha her her. Supposed to send nice messages. Yes. Aww. Arsh, I just know every time I see him, he's just always, like, super into League or about League. Even when, I, like, as soon as I start playing League in the chat, everything he knows he everything. He's up to date. My guy will be glued to League forever. <laughs> oh, Emily! Oh, I love it. This will be one of the stories you can tell the future generations. I'm so sorry for your kids for t th that they have to listen to that. Oh no, not the, not the memes, not the jokes. Oh, that is so cute. It's for the content, so me. Meow. She did do that. You already knew. TFT Mortal Kombat. Oh, so nice. Thank you. I see you've improved a lot in Valo, young grasshopper. Wow. You had so many things to say. And the most thing you say is, I'm so glad. How bad was I for you to say this? To choose that in your birthday message to me. I was not that terrible, right? I wasn't, right? Aww. Okay, Chica saying he's a VOD watcher, then I'm sorry, there's just no music there every time. I'm sorry. Miss you though, Pika. Aww, it's so cute, I can't. Aww. So nice. Aww. Thank you, Neo. That's a very sweet message. Phineas, thank you so much for the three months. Welcome back. Thank you. I'm grateful for you too. That weirdo. I didn't say that. He's yelled at himself. Okay. Um. Oh my god, the so me one on the screen too. Oh, Happy early birthday, Jillian. Riding in League Valor TFT2, working in HR too, and being a cat mom and changing. That's crazy. My soulmate in the Philippines. Aww, Cyrus was just waiting there in New York. <laughs> Aww. You and all of us, Cyrus, just in different ways that we feel stuck and oftentimes But I'm glad it's getting better, and I hope it continues to get better. You deserve the best. You've been there, and you've always been very pleasant, and you always know how to make people feel good, and the environment good, in the chat, and everything. So, know that you're very valued.
Listen, you this kind of this kind of stuff, getting a job and like whatever that you you like and what you want to do. It's so hard to tell someone like, oh, don't worry, like the time will come or eventually or like all these kind of things, because like as long as you're not there yet, you're never going to feel that good about it or that type of security. But. From. Uh, a lot of people, they don't necessarily find something until later but like if you keep trying i think i do think that there's a very good chance that if you keep trying you'll get to like a, do something that you really enjoy it's like some to some level you need the persistence there if you don't try anymore then it would be different but i think everyone has their own timeline and has their own pacing for it and i know that because so many people don't get to do what they love until later sometimes it's just later and some people have it earlier and the people who have it earlier make you feel like you're not at like a place in life where you could ever have it. But I mean, I just always felt back home. All my friends were ahead of me. They were all uh, in business. They all had internships and they all had all these full time jobs lined up for them after graduating. And I was having such a freaking hard time finding a job because I didn't do inter internships or there wasn't any that I felt very passionate or enjoyed and I felt so behind for the longest time and literally like I don't think I really found anything until I was in like my late 20s and that's like a that feels like a really long time when everyone graduates in like their early 20s and they're already looking for jobs it's it would have been already a couple of years years after graduation so and my friends were all buying like apartments or they were like getting engaged and all this stuff and I was just like still trying to figure out my life out it's probably not very comforting, but I think it takes uh, some people just take a very long time to pave out the type of career or something that they would want. But I think if you work towards it, there will be, if not something similar, even like it will get there in some way, some shape, way or form. Um, I think for me. Well, it was 2018 and even then I wasn't making a lot. But 2018 was when I joined OTV. So it was like, how old was I? I graduated in 20, 2015 or 2013. Okay, I graduated in 2013 and it had been five years since I graduated. And then I started working in California. And then even then I still, uh, I, I wasn't making like too much money. So it was hard to like stabilize in some way, but like I had a very great opportunity um so that's pretty late that was like when i was about 27 or so i think 2018 no turning 20 yeah 27 turning turning 28 was just kind of when i started in this space everyone has their own timeline and it feels very daunting until you get there yeah it is just not easy ever um Yeah, just know that anyone at any place like will always have their own struggles, their own problems that they're dealing with. And you're not so not alone in all that. Like I come and talk to you guys all the time when I'm having feeling really down or like not OK. And you guys are the ones telling me it's OK and all that. I don't know. I really hope it's mutual in terms of like you guys know that like it's OK that things are not OK momentarily. Sometimes they're like not OK for like a really long time. I just think it doesn't hurt to stick it out for like a little bit. Just take it a little bit day by day. And then like, hopefully, um, things just have to be get better. have to be better at some point, right? Like whether it's you meet someone who makes your life a lot better, whether you get a job that like makes you feel a lot more like purposeful and like have some more purpose in life or whatever it is. The likelihood of that happening could only go up. I feel at least because the longer you live, the more likely just by pure chance, by ch pure stats, you're likely to come across someone or something that could only improve it if you feel like it's at its worst or very bad right now.
That's probably not very comforting because it's like, oh, by sheer stats <laughs> or like by some type of chance. But it's true. I just don't even think you get to experience it yet. But I'm also kind of like an optimist. But things are still very hard. Yeah, I don't know how to describe it. But I just think I always turn on stream and I always end up feeling better once I do, even if I'm having a shitty day because I read something in chat that laughs or like I see something funny and I laugh. And any whatever that is for you guys, whether it's like some type of content, some type of like uh, video or some type of like activity that you do or some people that you talk to that makes it better or like a drink that you get or maybe some skill that you're trying to learn that makes you feel fulfilled and happier. Like all those things could. If you know something makes you happy, it's OK to let yourself like have that small thing as like a little uh spark of happiness for the day yeah like even when i was having a bad day or i'm going through bad times i just think it's it's on a very small scale it's like oh well like you know i'll get like a starbucks drink like something that i really like that like is really good and like even if i'm kind of still bummed about stuff at least while i'm drinking i'm kind of like mm, this tastes good and that's like my little happiness for a day getting like my little coffee in the morning um in the midst of like a mess and like tornado and disaster in my head or like my environment or whatever it is uh just don't overlook the small things that could make you happy that could literally make a difference in how the rest of how you feel about the rest of the day potentially or like whatever it is i get little hits of dopamine whenever i see you miss a cannon minion so thank you thank you for that i will not forget Food is such an easy mood changer. It is. It is. Like, if you like even some type of little thing, getting a drink is different. I did not... Or I ordered my groceries so I could make, like, a... I could make a banana bread pudding for the day after. Yeah. Mmm... The worst thing is not feeling like you belong, not what you own or earn, but you are always welcome in here. You have a place. It's true. Um, it's just depending on what it is, the world does not owe you anything. And a lot of things are not given to you. So there is a bit of thought into thinking like, what could you do that could set you up for like some better love, like a higher chance of having like more happiness in the future. That's a very hard thing to think of or to make. It's kind of like the people who know, like, you know, current pain equals future gain. And they, like, work really hard because they're like, I want to live, like, more stress-free later or, like, more whatever later. Yeah. It's very hard to, to do because it takes a lot of self-motivation in order to do so. Um... But sometimes there will be some type of like relief of stress if you feel like you're being productive, if you feel like you are doing something. I know that if there are times when I'm stressed about work and if I don't do anything and don't stream or do anything the whole day, I'm more stressed because, okay, so I don't stream because I'm stressed. But then it's because I didn't stream that I get stressed because I'm like feeling like I'm not doing something productive. And I have found that even when I'm sad or even whatever, I will not regret doing something productive. Um, even if my mood is down when it, once I do get starting in the groove of it, or like, sometimes you just have to start, um, it's kind of like, would you, would you ever regret not working out? Like once you're there and once you work out, you're like, oh, like you're not, you're glad that you went, or at least you feel productive. It's like showering too. I think like when you shower, you always feel good after you don't regret like, oh, I didn't shower or like I shouldn't have showered the getting to the part where you do it for whatever it is, is always the hard part. Um, I say that for working out and like other things. I still don't work out. But if you're productive in other ways, it can like lessen a lot of stress that you have. It's kind of like a cycle. You, you're stressed, so then you don't work. And then you don't, because you didn't work, then you're stressed. And it's just like a constant problem in its own. Um, there's a word for the term for that. I forgot what it was called. Bo Burnham said it. Uh, it's like <laughs> like you want to go to the gym because maybe you gain a lot of weight but then like because but then 
you're self-conscious and or like you're scared to go to the gym and because of that you don't go to the gym but then you're still you still need to work out because you're still like whatever and it's just a constant cycle what's that called again i don't remember um no i will never get sick of it <laughs> I love you, Cyrus. We're, var we're all very appreciative and we all love you very much. And I'm very glad you have been a pause of any everything, like all positives in this community. Just know. Extremely helpful and nice. Thanks, steak. <laughs> Oh, never act your age. Yes, I got that part down. <laughs> thank you, Scrub. Oh, thank you, Logan. He's been around for a hot minute. The good old days. Thank you, Jamie. Legit Jamie, too. The OG days. Yes, the best 5-2 person. Mm -hmm. Trust me, I almost did or I did. <laughs> but I'm just alive still. That's just it. You think there hasn't been anything, but we just made it out. And we're just all doing our best day at one day at a time. Um, but I appreciate it a lot. I hope I get to see you. Yeah. Oh my god, I can't wait. I can't wait to see everyone that I can. Hello, Fern. Thank you for checking in. Thank you for that. It's not your villain arc. You couldn't even if you tried. Let's be real. Like the wise one direction say, I won't act my age. Okay. Uh, what do you mean? Okay, I do have poor name memory. You're right. But say hi more often if you want. If you want. Yeah. I'll remember you, Stretch. I'll remember this. Um. Oh. It was so cute. The last TwitchCon mean greet stuff or the whatever during my birthday, it ended up being awesome and I didn't like it initially. Like I didn't like the idea of it. I was like, oh, I don't want to have TwitchCon like weekend on my birthday, but it ended up being great and it was like better than what I could have imagined. So you guys made that happen. I appreciate it a lot. <laughs> okay, I will. I already did. I already did add my fair share. <laughs> It was too much. I stood behind, right next to a cashier at the grocery store. It was, it was too embarrassing. I parked too hard, if anything. Oh, thank you, Shion. I gotcha, Lux. I'll do it. Thank you. So we will be very happy. Mm, thank you, Keeper. Thank you, Ava. 21st birthday. You're a real one. Now convince everyone else that. Aww. The best editor, Lucky. True. Aww. Thank you, Loki. So cute. Aww. <gasps> There's a... No, I believe it. You've literally been there for 10 billion years, too. I appreciate you so much. Oh. EFT has brought me back. <laughs> uh, I hate to the I'm hard stuck flat right now, man. It might take... It might, if anything, push you away again. <laughs> Watching my plays. Edge, uh, thank you. Uh... So cute. Lawrence! 
Thank you, Lawrence. Take your gummy pills and take them once in a while. Yeah, I got them. I finished the whole thing, actually, if, if anything. All right. One of my favorite parts of my birthday, if not my favorite, is our yearly Brian video. And I'm going to put this pressure on him because I'm just going to say... Like, he's just gonna be like, damn, she thinks she's gonna get it every year <laughs> after I've done it for so many years. I gotta keep up. But the plan is actually that I do pressure him so that I do get a video every year. You can't. It's just what I'm looking forward to now every single time. Hey, Yvonne. Happy birthday. Thank Hope you're you. having a good one. Uh, this time, I wanted to try something a little different. Yes. And so for the past few weeks, I've been working on an animation. An animation? Uh, Bro. Can you tell me how does he do this every year? Where he's like, I'm working on something. Last time it was, I'm learning guitar or something, blah, blah, blah. Like each year you're just like, oh, I learned this. I learned that. I'm doing that. I'm the same person you for 10 it. the Cross last however many years. Hoping you get the reference. I know. And yeah. Alrighty then. Happy birthday. Bye. See you later. Bye. See you later. What? It's the meme! It's the meme! I changed my mind. I don't expect any um, videos from Brian at any point moving on. It's, it's, I completely understand if you never make an animation video of me breakdancing ever again. Read the kudo board message after watching the video. I followed the rules. I'm just kidding. Thank you, Brian. Thank you so much. I always love anything that you put any. I know so much time and effort, all the stuff you put into things. And I appreciate it every time because it's always so goddamn meaningful. Even if it is me breakdancing while I am molding and pouting, I know there's a love behind it. Right? <laughs> You have all the assets again. Customize the animation shop for like, wait. Oh my god, 10 hour version, 10 minute version? Oh, thank you. Your first animation. And it was last week because it was harder than learning a new instrument. That is so. I am honored. I am honored to have been a project in your very first animation that you'll just always have and that could be the example that you show everyone when you become a crazy animator like dominic's i'll i'll be like you know what i was first i was the first uh like you know model that he did thank you brian i appreciate it so much and i look forward to this every year so i better get one next year Uh, okay. Aww, thank you, Justin. Thank you, Chase. That is so nice. Maybe you will slowly be not as shy of a lurker. And then maybe if you want, you know? You could just chill, have some fun. Next year. Yes, next year. I expect it. Everyone knows it's the yearly Brian videos. Lurking Lurker, thank you. All right. It's, it's Neil's time. Hmm...
I raised my half empty Coke can in cheers at 2 30 a.m. Hey, I I raised my energy drink for the midstream at 2 38 p.m. right now. We're almost the same 12 hours apart. Let's go. Thank you. I am gonna be on TwitchCon day one and day two. Please come to my meet and greets. So I'm not alone. Thank you. Is Brian here? Will he know? Hi, I'm Brian. <laughs> it's hello, I'm Brian. Hello, Brian. Dragon. Thank you. Oh. That's so nice. Thank you, Dragon. Thanks, Monty. Sir Edge. Thank you, Shinpaku. I rec I just rec just recognize so many names. It's always the OGs or like people who've been here. I see everything in my chat too. Thank you, Libram. Five years is such a I can't I can't fathom all the years. And then you have the people who are like Yvonne, I've been fall like we've been following you guys since we were like elementary or uh, since I was in like middle school. I'm just like middle school, huh? That's uh no, my memory's actually been really bad. I don't know if it's the age, but I feel like my memory's just been deteriorating, and I try so hard to focus and remember things. Oh, thank you, Ellie. It's so cute. Thank you. So nice. Happy birthday, Chef Shore. Okay, fuck you, Rick. Literally saw Rick at my meet and greet the other time, too. And then talk shit to me in person. Can you believe it? Hi, thank you, Bianca. This looks, this cat looks like Socko. Uh, four to five years, bro. Travis, thank you. Oh my God. Thank you, Murray. I always love seeing him in chat. After my three week long vacation. Yes. Guys, we gotta go Korea. Thank you, Ricky. We gotta go Korea and Japan. We all gotta go. And Vicky! Oh. But I have zero knowledge about League, but I will watch. I've seen that so much, and that is extremely... That's like, wow, you guys really do love me. Oh, thank you, Vicky. I want to say hi to you. Watching you absolutely dominating in TFT. So true. Happens all the time. Always helps me reset. Damn, he doesn't get to reset that often is all I'm saying. <laughs> Thank you. Thanks, Kuka. You're a real one. All right, the last one. Alyssa. Oh. I'm so glad. My favorite compliments ever. I love you, Alyssa. Thank you so much for me for coming that day. My favorites, which I keep all the time, literally to my favorites. I have a favorites tab of my uh, kudo boards now. All mine. 
thank you guys so much so people are rolling in even if you didn't get a chance to that's totally okay um just thanks for being here i appreciate it a lot very pleasant and happy birthday and i look forward to it every year i know and i know it's the same people because it's like a lot of times that it's to a lot of the people that have been here like throughout actually all these years and the kudo board message that they write goes from this to this every year not in like a bad way okay this is actually a very good way because you know why it because you guys have said the lot of things in the beginning and then you still there and you're still there and like you just because you've said it before you're just like oh like i've said it before i don't want to sound repetitive and like all this kind of stuff you still mean a lot to me but like you know what just you know how it is appreciate you and that's honestly how it goes for like a lot of the years when you like get to know or like been around people for so long you said a lot of that you've said but you still are like very you know you feel that like closest to her it's like very nice it's how i know that we're at like a point where like it's good like or like you don't even need to because you already know that like we know how it is and so that makes me happy to have that sense of like familiarity or like closeness too yeah yeah and there's nothing wrong with that i already know i'm pleb you know brian up top man <laughs> But I keep it every year so I can rewatch Brian's videos. The sword art one. Uh, there's all the ones that like the covers. He's like, oh, you like this song? And then guitar and everything too. I learned to really like electric guitar as well. No, they replaced my energy drink. Uh I need that break dance as a kid. <laughs> I just looked at it in utter shock. I was just like I'm molding while break dancing. Like what is that? And now I'm clicking through this and I'm again reminded that I need prestige Akali. Okay, Jen. Um, play meal you want, you guys. Play meal you want. All right, we're gonna watch this video now. See, you guys have to see the series that I've been recently obsessed with. Not have a grease fire. To Did a fried. One. It's really fun to watch. Okay, it's it's pro like yeah. Where the, where do you find this? So it's pro chef versus home cook, and the theme is, say for example, fried rice. The fried rice I was planning to make was very special. King crab is. She's really good. Okay, that that girl is like an amazing. She's like a very popular, well-known chef, and all these ingredients. As a home cook, I would be intimidated as, as fuck. Like, how am I supposed to even this Spot king crab fried, use it? How in the heck? Rice. It is quite pointy. Even I if you're given better ingredients, ingredients how do you use it? I had Chilean king crab, some spot prawns, and ikura, which is a red salmon roe from Japan. Pretty pointy. It looks like an alien. It was all going to be wok fried at a super high heat with some koshi hikari rice, which mm -hmm. is a short grain Japanese rice. I mean, you saw that crab. It was going to be freaking delicious. I'm going to... I'm gonna, I feel uh, like I left out on this end of the deal, but... <laughs> Snack while I watch. I'm sure that Esther can come up with something really, really nice. With Gabby's recipe, I have ingredients that you would most likely find in your pantry or your local grocery store. These ingredients may seem simple, but with a little technique, we can really amp it up. If I had to guess, these ingredients probably cost around $24. $13? Wow, okay. I also I don't think have this a would cost around. I'm gonna have to eat my $129. What the heck? charge. 242! Wow. Cannot mess this one up, that's for sure. So we have Chef Esther's recipe book right here. Only ingredients, no instructions. 
We have our work cut out for us. What's really important about fried rice is having everything ready so that when you're cooking it, it's super, oh, super yeah. fast Pop and everything's corners. ready to go. Unfortunately, King Crab is not in my oh, weekly grocery such a good budget. Chef. So Jay Cray, thank you so much for the two months. Welcome back. Me, thank so. you. Hi, Dr. Rose. Thank so you. good to see you. Good to see you too. What are you making today? King crab fried rice. Judging by the color, I'm I believe Jiggy it's recipe. Oh my god. The big thing She's I need so to smart. Do is figure out how to I'm you know, not get yet. out the good stuff. I'm getting so there. The nice thing. I'm flat, but I'm King getting there. Is it has a lot of joints. I'm doubling up, by the way. Basically, you're gonna just pull apart or crack apart. I'm, I would be so the intimidated by this. Oh, <laughs> little goop. And the key to taking it apart is just kind of wiggling the meat out of the joint. So kind of crack against the way that it normally would flow. And then you wanna just gently take the meat out and you'll see some like spikes of cartilage that should come out. It's not edible, but save it. You can use it in a stock later. Ooh, and you wanna make sure that you a stock use would be the great. meat as nice and whole as you possibly can. We have some beautiful claw meat, more or less intact. The crab's body, like what's the best way to make that into something spectacular? You're gonna just take the inside out and clean it really well and save it for that your looks display. so You're good. You're gonna put your fried rice right in there because that's gonna be a really I'm, beautiful dude, serving. Crab head, for your like fried rice. the I'll stuff in that picks. is delicious. Well, it was not <laughs> the cleanest process, but we have our crab meat and I didn't puncture my hand with the spine, so I would call that a success. Thanks, mm -hmm. Rose. So Gabby sent me these head-on shell on shrimp, which just, I'm very excited for. She gets the cheaper ingredients, but look at what she does with the cheaper ingredients. We're gonna use the entire shrimp. The shrimp head actually is one of the best parts. There's so much flavor and so many things that mm -hmm. you can do with it. Gabby was probably just gonna use the They're shrimp so good bodies in. as the meat to quickly saute into her rice. But you know, you're gonna be wasting a lot of the other she used parts like, of the shrimp. Esther okay, is so resourceful. She uses all parts of like where a protein so, most of the time. Live. And there we have it, our shrimp. Like, look at how she uses the shrimp, okay? She uses the head which is normally like the head, the shells too, and obviously the shrimp itself. Shrimp are prepped. We have our heads, our shells, and our bodies. Oh, Next but thank you for the 51 months. Welcome back. Spotted prawns. Oh, no. I can indeed confirm okay, yes. they have but it's fine. on them. So we're gonna rip their food. heads off. Our food ages, but We're gonna be making a shrimp stock that I'm gonna be cooking my rice in. I know, in. you gotta it's make dinner. Elevate you have the to rice. eat while you watch shit like nice this. Base seasoning. So Gabby gave me scallions and garlic to use in the recipe, and I'm just gonna use these scraps for the stock. Give Everyone's making dinner. To the garlic, and what this does is releases some aroma from the garlic and some water. High heat. She literally uses the garlic skin too. And let it cook for about 30 minutes. We're just extracting all the flavor from the shrimp shells and your vegetable scraps. I'm gonna just basically remove the heads from the shrimp. Ta-da, pretty easy. Mm -hmm. My heads are off and now I'm that just gonna looks go so ahead good, though. and peel these shrimp. So my shrimp stock has been going for about half looks an delicious. hour. We're just gonna press on the shrimp shells to extract as much flavor from it as possible. So now I'm gonna just- She's so good. It. We all know what that is. So I have my shrimp heads, which I'm gonna be doing two different things with it. I'm gonna be making a shrimp oil and a shrimp paste. We're gonna heat up some oil, and I'm just using regular vegetable oil. Thanks, Cross. You have to be super careful when adding I did. anything wet I'm a nice into th having a nice day as well. Oil. Thanks. All right, we're good. It's just all the moisture evaporating. I'm looking for a beautiful pink hue. So you can tell the bubbles have subsided a bit. My shrimp looks super like crispy. Look at that oil color. Look how beautifully orange mm. that cue is. You hear that? Okay, so my shrimp oil is ready. And these shrimp heads that are super crispy, we're gonna be making a beautiful shrimp paste. Okay, this I part blew my mind out. when she maximize, made the shrimp paste. Maximize, maximize, maximize. So last prawn is done and my prawns are cleaned. And Gabby, here's something really fun. You take the head of the spot prawns, deep fry it, and serve that on the side, and that will give a nice crunchy element to the fried rice. And that's like my favorite element of spot prawns. Her shrimp paste that she makes is like- fried prawn heads done.
done. Now it's time to make our shrimp paste. Most importantly, the mortar and pestle. I feel like it's very underutilized in the kitchen. It releases so much mm -hmm. flavor and it's so fun to use. We're She's gonna amazing. Add our shrimp heads and just grind it up to a you fine know. paste. What's cool about this shrimp paste? You can like crazy it in a jar turn in your fridge that into and a paste. Utilize it whenever you're cooking. You want to add a little bit of umami into you know your noodles or your fried rice. This is what you add. I'm gonna add two cloves of garlic for more flavor. All right. What? Getting a workout today. I don't need the a gym. A little bit of soy sauce in here. That shrimp oil we made earlier. I'm gonna add a little. No, bit they're of that. really good. Yeah. A little bit more soy sauce. Add a little bit more oil. Mix it together. It's becoming more like a loose paste. I do want to push it through a sieve so that it's more fine. I mean, I can't help myself right now. I have to taste it. It's just so like. Oh, that's wild. And there we have it. Look what we did with just simple shrimp. So much better than it just literally became a sauce. And calling it a day. This is what you call maximizing flavor. Now it's time to prep my aromatics. This is a finger chili, which. So yeah, efficient and crazy. So Gabby's gonna be making an aromatic oil for her fried That's rice. That's what I mean, like garlic. Never, I would have never. Ginger. I love fresh ginger. Red chili for a little heat. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Done. I'm gonna wash my hands, cause that's spicy, and I don't wanna touch my eye later and think, oh my God, what oh, happened? Go. So Gabby sent me mm, garlic. I feel like Birthday instead of party. just using garlic in the fried rice or in the stock or the oil, maybe making a garnish with it. So I'm gonna be making garlic chips. I'm just gonna slice it thin on a mandolin. Confidence is key when it comes to mandolin. I'm scared of using slow, a mandolin. Then you're gonna cut yourself. If you go too fast, you're gonna cut yourself. Then we're gonna turn That's on intimidating, man. You're too fast or your shirt's too It doesn't have to be completely hot. We can kind of bring it and up I together. I hate using it so too. I'm just gonna add our garlic at this point. Key here is definitely watch your garlic, babysit it, because once you turn around, you're gonna burn your garlic. It's ready. So at this point, we're gonna take it out because the color will oh, darken no. as it sits on the paper towel. I'm scared. And garlic chips. Never gonna use How it. Can I not? Mm. Perfect. I have my shrimp oil here because I'm gonna add the garlic oil to the shrimp oil. Now we have shrimp and garlic oil. Okay, so time for the rice, the most important part. Hence, it's fried rice. Chef Esther was kind enough to prepare the rice for me. Mm. So koshi hikari rice can be a little bit tricky to cook. So I gifted Gabby cooked koshi hikari rice that's a day old which is perfect for fried rice wow. because the textural element when you have day old rice works so perfectly. The oils and the vegetables and the aromatics mm -hmm. kind of rehydrate it and actually makes for the perfect texture. You're welcome, Gabby. Day old rice is best for fried rice anyway. Gabby sent me probably your most common rice that you'll find in your local supermarket. And yeah, jasmine case, rice is the most cups. normal, I would say. Normally I would wash my rice multiple times, but I think I'm just gonna give this one a rinse because it's not too starchy. Two cups of our shrimp broth that we made. So as Oh, before I always thought you'd wash your rice mostly for cleanliness, but that makes sense. That's also like dependent on how starchy it is. You want to wash out more of the starch. As soon that. as it comes to a boil, you're going to lower it to your lowest setting. Put your that makes lid a lot on of sense. and then let it I don't steep. cook rice that often. So package so. says 15 minutes, but I'm going to actually check it at 13 because I do want it to be slightly al dente since we're making fried rice. Ideally, I want to get this nice and dry and room temperature mm -hmm. for my wok. Okay, so we're gonna check on our rice, and I'm just gonna use a fork to gently fluff it. Oh yeah, potatoes, yeah. It has a slight bite, which is what I want, because I don't want it to be mushy, since we are gonna recook it when we fry the rice. And now potatoes this is my trick usually, when I do, do it at the restaurants, boil it once? and we need rice for fried rice, we will spread it out on a sheet tray and let it kind of dry out like that. Mm. One thing I really, really hate with fried rice is when it's mushy. This yeah. will really help prevent that. Time to prep my veggies. We have mm. some green peas. It's always really inviting when you open up the pod and you just see all little peas sitting there. They look really happy to see you. Some <laughs> rainbow carrots. Ooh, uh, and look at the middle. The home cool chefs vegetable. in this series, they're there for like, they, they make more jokes and they're there for the lighthearted commentary. A shallot. I love shallot. Shallot's it's like an onion on steroids. 
last but not least, some broccoli rub. I love the texture. Love for washer rice, cook it, chill it. Oh, I did not know that. that. Kind of balances all the delicate seafood notes. I've never had broccoli rub and fried rice, so this will be a first for me. Clearly, Gabby didn't send me much vegetables to work with, but it's okay. That almost sounds passive aggressive maximize. a little bit, but I know she doesn't mean it like that. In two different ways. So I'm gonna separate the whites and the greens. With the whites, I'm actually gonna use to kind of flavor the oil when I cook mm -hmm. the fried rice. This will act as more of like your crunchy onion veg. And the greens, I'm gonna use as a topping. A little milder in flavor. And can I love how like she herb. slices it at so an I'm angle like that. It's kind of satisfying seeing it, she does it so well. At the restaurant, we like to call nice it sexy skills. scallions. Oh. And I like but. to put it in cold water because it can get a little slimy and it also like perks it up. Mm. Now for the jalapeno, I don't want any of the seed scraps. And that's where a lot of the spice comes from. And I don't want to kind of ruin the fried rice <laughs> with too much spice. And our veggies are ready to go. I don't Time like peppers. Time to whip up my eggs. I think I can handle this part. There we go. Get them nice and whisked up. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Gabby, thank you so much for sending me eggs. I was very afraid that I wouldn't have eggs. I saw this on TikTok, actually. Thanks for the inspiration, TikTok. But it's something called golden fried rice. And Ooh, what it is, it's separating that sounds the egg good yolks already, from the yeah. white. And yeah. using the yolk, almost like a fat emulsifier, and coating TikTok. the rice with the egg yolk. It's almost like using a butter which I did not have, so this is why I'm using the oh. yolk for this. All right, our rice is ready to go. We got ourselves a wok. So Gabby's gonna be making her fried rice in a wok. I know that, that Chef Esther delicious. has a cool trick for fixing your stovetop so that it's good for a wok. Here's a tip for someone who wants to use a wok at home. You can actually turn the burner grate upside down oh. to create a cradle for your wok to rest in. Oh, what the? Exposure. Oh my Ooh. god. So now my flame can basically touch my wok. Whoa. But before you even start cooking in a wok, you have to season your wok. So seasoning your wok means that you're coating your wok with oil oh, so nothing sticks. God. There's a few ways that you can do this, but the way that I like to do it is get your wok screaming hot, add oil, swirl it around, and then you're gonna shock it in cold water. Here we go. Oh my God. Bring it back and do it all over again three times. And every time you season your wok, it's acting as a sealant. So you're creating layers. Cooking in a wok is not for the faint of heart. You're yeah. gonna have killer forearms though after this. Do not oh. skip this step. I've seen yeah, it so was, many times Akuma. people trying to use a wok and they yep. ask me, why is everything sticking? Then I've got to do one again. Every time you use your wok, you should season it. That was fun. That was different. My wok is seasoned now. All right, Gabby, get to see it's game it. time. Not, it's You're okay. ready to fry your rice. I had fun Everything though. Everything is squeezed out in front uh, of you. You're the ready cooking to stream go. was awesome. I actually just really love quickly. doing them so it's much. The beauty of fried rice, it's so like fun. a very, very quick cook. Add a quarter cup of oil. Get the oil super, super hot, and we're gonna add our eggs. Mm -hmm. Here we go. Yeah, I'm not. When you add your eggs, it's gonna fluff up and double you in like size. You like that idea, like the snowy so ones. Beautiful. Oh my gosh, I've ones. never seen an egg do this before. This is really cool. It's so cool, so it fluffs up. you wanna get that up. excess oil out of the eggs, but the egg itself should be very fluffy. That is so that satisfying, it looks so and nice. Done. I have not been gifted with a wok, so I'm gonna be using the second best thing. It's a cast iron skillet. I love the cast iron because it retains a lot of heat, and also I can get the, the best crispy. part of rice that I love and is crispy, crispy rice. Yes, bar. I knew it. First thing, knew fried it. eggs. Beautiful shrimp oil we need. Just add our eggs. While that cooks, let's get our cast iron hot. Let's add some I love that, the mochi skin durian ice cream. Those are so good, white. that's like my so favorite. So we're making this like beautiful Absolute scallion favorite. oil in the shrimp oil. Okay, first thing, my aromatics. You're adding a quarter cup of oil. Then you're gonna start with your aromatics, your scallions, your ginger, your garlic, your red chili, Ooh. your shallots. Oh, that all looks so, so good. good. Call them aromatics for a reason. These eggs look great. I'm actually gonna turn it off the heat and set it aside. And that add looks my delicious. Jalapenos. Saute that slightly. Add our shrimp. Slightly season it. It's important to season every layer. We're cooking mm. the shrimp about 80% of the way. 
and we'll take it out. Then we got Yeah, because it usually cooks the rest nice. when you add it all in. If you're doing a walk, you have to, like, you know, you got to own it. So that's what I'm doing right now, just showing his boss, you know? Let's see if I can get a little flipping action. Yeah. That's okay. an air time. Toss it in. So excited about the broccoli, Rob. The Chef Esther special. I never like used a walk man, before, but I thought it'd be a vibe. I don't want but I'm sure it's, like, very heavy. And I'm going to take everything out. Let's see, what do I got? My prawns, and they're gonna be the last thing I put in before I start adding in my rice. When the mm. prawns get slightly pink, 80 to 90% cooked, then Her you prawns add your rice. prawns look so good. I'm only gonna use about half this rice, because the one this thing that one. I do know about woks is that you don't want to crowd a wok. And I also have to consider how much I can fit in my very special crab bowl. Oh yeah. You add your rice, make sure every granule is coated. More. Tossing the pan as much as you can, along with using your spatula to toss everything together. And you have to work quick. My friend from school, uh, Thug Hunter, thank you so much for the seven months. Welcome back. Thank you. And back home in Calgary, she had thought that how fried rice gets the color is from after it's been in the pan long enough that the, it would just start browning. And I remember I was making fried rice at home one time and I added the soy sauce and all that. And she was like, oh, that's how it gets the color. And I was like, what? And she was like, yeah, I always just thought that, like, you just toss in the pan, like, it's there long enough, and it'll just change color. And I was just thinking, like... And she's, she's like, Asian. She has, like, you know, she's grown up with... And so, I, it's not, it's, it's... That was That's the part that was weird. At this point, I was we are like, gonna huh? fry our golden rice. And the reason why golden I took out the rice. shrimp... Golden rice! Because I don't want anything to Looks steam. so good. If your pan is too crowded, chances are your rice is gonna steam, which mm. I don't want. I think I'm gonna add a bit more oil here. You see yeah. how all the granules are separated? There's I no did. clumps. Really important. Rinsing rice, rice was not so obvious. So I'm cooking the egg whites in the center. I didn't want to just pour it over because I want it to slightly cook Ooh. before I fold it in. Because we you don't want to use the right soy sauce. I don't You're like using the egg dark whites, soy sauce because so it's, it's always such heavy flavor. All there, it's like and then heavy we'll flavor. incorporate it into the rice. How beautiful does that look? We're going to take it home now. So I'm adding in all of my extra garnishes. I'm going to turn this heat a little bit lower. Not really looking to cook anything at this point. So I'm going to add a nice little knob of butter. A little knob. I'm gonna add in my peas. My egg, I guess, just kind of gets thrown in there. I'm just gonna kind of rip it Rinse into some water. shreds. I don't know if that's how we're gonna do it, but why not? Give that a stir. We're gonna add our shrimp and our aromatics back in there. Give that mm. a Remember this beautiful paste? This is basically our MSG. Start with half. We don't want it to be too salty. Taste it for seasoning. Uh, yeah, the important thing about cooking through is always taste as you go. And especially when it comes to like salt or anything that has a stronger flavor and seasoning, you always just want to put like a little bit first and then you add as you go. Cause then there's a lot of like, you just, there's some things once you put in, you can't take back out or it's like very, very hard. So a lot of it is like, especially salt, uh, or something like that. Super, super important that you taste as you go. Yeah, super easy. <laughs> put the crab in. Got a little ahead of myself. Can't forget the crabs. Whoa, this is nuts. I'm having a blast right now. One last thing that I'm gonna do here, some oil on the side, because what we're gonna do is make crispy rice. Flatten this out like mm. so. Lower the heat to a medium and kind of just let the bottom get super crispy. But at this point, it's done. Seasoning, white pepper, fish sauce. I know. You. And with the seasoning, most it's importantly, super therapeutic. Dashi, which is a type of MSG. And that's gonna make this even better. Toss it all together, and then you're gonna finish with your greens and some sesame oil. That looks so all good. All right, perfect. I got this delightful crispiness. I'm done. We are done. Okay, time to plate. I have the body of the crab that will basically serve as the plate itself. So very full circle. Some nice scoops of my fried rice and just wow. go ahead and dump it right in. Get a little egg in there. Dude, I ate earlier, there. but I'm gonna get hungry again so watching this. Thanks, Beastin, thank oh, you. So That's good. so nice. I'm gonna go ahead and garnish with some of this scallion. Just add some nice- I had a very lovely we'll birthday. A couple Uncle, more chunks Uncle of this Roger crab. Approved. What a beautiful dish, truly. 
Okay, last but not least, I'm going to finish my garnishing with the ikora. Oh, pho sounds this fucking good too. This is gonna add some nice saltiness. I feel pretty good about this, this plating. I think with the prawns and the prawn head. Joey, thanks for the five so subs. Way, Thank so. you. Here is my take thanks, on Joey. Chef Esther's fried rice recipe. What a cool Thank dish. God. Michelin star. I hope she really likes it. I I think she will. I hope she does. Now we're just gonna garnish with our fried egg. Remember our beautiful like scallion greens that we. If you guys got subs from Joey, really please thank them. And then our garlic. I'm chips. gonna eat some now. I would serve this because it's really hard. Is. That I'll looks so good. Table, sizzling like this, and it always makes a beautiful presentation. And then you just serve table side. Finally, you guys. I'm really nervous about this. I'm impressed. And this is my take I'm on Gabby's impressed. fried rice. That really looks too Gabby good with her for ingredient. like a really cheap ingredient list. Like what? Thirteen dollars. Ingredients. Hi. Hi. Oh my gosh, how was it? Everything goes. Chocolate okay, lava so mooncake? I'm so excited to see what you did. What, Mickey, with my what? Dish. I'm really excited. Are you judging <laughs> I'm me? I'm nervous. <gasps> I need to see if there's oh this durian mooncake still. Beautiful. Wow, this smells amazing. It just like hit me. <laughs> this looks like it belongs in a gourmet restaurant. Smells Definitely good. smells like very aromatic with like all the seafood. Mm. Just a little, you know, it's not too much, so. Big. We like. Oh my gosh. Mm. And the rice, the texture of the rice. Yeah. You did a great job with the, Oh, thank you. With yeah. buying it. The mm. seafood had so much flavor. It perfumes It's okay, Lorelix. This is I have so many mean greet days Thank if you're you. there for longer. Yes. I have Aww, a mean greet every you. single day. Okay. We're having so much fun, but... Now you gotta try my humble yeah. fried rice. Oh, I'm so impressed. Like, this is not what it looks like when I make this, <laughs> that's for sure. Mmm. Mmm. I still think it was I'm bad to add MSG. Garlic. I'm and it could still be, but like, it adds so much flavor. It feels really well-rounded, and the garlic really adds a nice little touch. So good. I'm gonna get so another good. big bite now. I don't feel like it's no secret, oh. but I'm at the oh my Ben Q booth every You're day from two to three p.m. Well, thank yeah, you. Yeah, I mean, hello. I that love was, you now. That's you man, made this. Stay made, seriously. Yes. Oh, thank you. I now mean, you can cook for me properly. Okay. Yeah. Sounds good. Yes. Oh shoot. Okay, wait. Slight schedule conflict or a thing. If I have my meet and greet on Sunday at three, and then my Mingri ends at three on Sunday too at the other one. Help! Uh oh. Can we? Uh oh. Thirty minutes earlier for Sunday. Oops. The time I just realized. 3 p.m. both start. Oh. Uh. Row. Row. Uh oh. Don't worry, guys. I'll book it there. If anything, I'll just be like a See tiny bit late, but I'm gonna try to I'm see good. if I can rearrange <laughs> the time for that. I totally did not realize <laughs> my overlap. <laughs> okay. But I love this series. It's just so... This is such a clever game. I love watching Esther, but I almost kind of want to watch someone else to see too. An omelet? Either I am doing this very wrong, or I'm doing <laughs> okay, this, this already correctly looks, and everyone can be... This already looks like... There's nothing wrong with it, but I want to see. Oh my God. How do they do Whoever this thing? Whoever is going to eat this, congratulations. I know I'm going to eat okay. it. Pro chef and noob chef for steak. That's pretty useful. Congratulations. Hi, I'm Frank. I'm a professional chef, and this is a $500 steak dinner. Hi, I'm Lorenzo. I'm a home cook, and this is gonna be a $16 steak that dinner. That looks like my steak dinner stuff. I wouldn't even know how to use the expensive ingredients. Even if you gave me, like, really high-end shit. Okay. 
Coca-Cola, huh? I mean, this is just somebody went out in the forest and went nuts. Those mushrooms look so good. This is, it is Frank's. And I have to tell you, first off, poor handwriting, Frank. <laughs> So for my meal, I was planning on a more high-end restaurant. Trying to get all that he can because I thought the handwriting was fine. Butter-based ribeye steak. Holy smokes! Look at that. I don't mm. think I've even ordered that before. I had fondant potatoes. Fondant potatoes. What does that mean? With caviar and creme fraiche. Uh, oh my uh, god! And caviar. Oh, caviar. Ooh, caviar. Some bordelaise sauce with black truffles. What is this bordelaise? And lace? truffle. What? what is a border? What is that? And some broccolini with yeah, wild mushrooms. Yeah, I got base of steak and, and butter. This yeah, is something you. I wore at prom. <laughs> what the fudge, you guys? <laughs> He's there for comedic relief. I feel slightly evil. It's like we broke into a five-star Michelin restaurant, it's and true. I just grabbed everything. The ingredients I are so good. And said, "Let's have some fun." With Lorenzo's recipe. Um, I have a little more simpler ingredients and maybe something that's a little more commonplace in your kitchen. Flank soy steak, sauce and Coca Cola, oh. low sodium soy sauce, garlic, ginger, broccoli, some chili flake, russet potatoes, scallions, sour cream, and cheddar. So these ingredients might be a little simpler, Wagyu but I think that I can help them make them a little better. I had a that. guess this would probably cost about $25 to $30. Oh, $16. Really? $16. Well, it's cheaper than I thought. It's a little. Well, the steak looks really bad. Like the steak that he got looks so like intimidating because it's, it's super really small and flat. Schmancy, schmancy. I mean, it's a few hundred bucks that I don't have. Four hundred and potatoes I plant in five hundred dollars um, sound really fancy, and I hope Lorenzo doesn't get scared off by that. Why? Why? Salt, pepper, butter. And welcome potatoes. to the four Simple. months. Welcome back. What's Thank you. you. I like how I'm looking at. I'm just scared to cook a four hundred dollar ribeye. It's actually just ingredients. It doesn't tell me step by step stuff. I'm like, I think I'm just uh, looking for some <laughs> some help. And it's Rosemary kind of just garlic. That next step. The two very good things that go together for a steak like this. Up from just roasting potatoes in a pan. I love rosemary. I'm a little clueless on a couple of things. Is there a chance that I could? Maybe ask somebody for a little help. Rosemary! <laughs> how are you? How am I? Um, I'm panicking a little bit, actually. Yeah, I, I, I feel like I'm on an island and I just drew help in the sand. Can you? <laughs> Fondant potatoes. Oh, they're delicious. His laugh? What you're gonna he do. sounds like he could. He should actually. Um, he should do voice acting. I feel like his laugh is so good for like evil villains or like TV shows you're and gonna stuff. Trim off the very edges and you're going to cut them in half and okay. peel them. They're going to look kind of like scallops. And yeah, it's like, it feels like it's like a really good, and unique then voice you're for going that. To take them and flip them, sear the other side. Okay. And then you're going to add a stock, like a chicken stock or a vegetable stock. Okay. And finish Thank you so much, Rosemary. I appreciate it. Wait, a vegetable and chicken stock first? It just sounds oh, more complicated. Oh, for the mashed potatoes. It's potatoes. You know, I can do it. Bing. Ooh, I thought Lord for the steak. Mercy. I was okay. like, wait, you need so a stock I've like that for the steak? I've got all my lovely russet potatoes, pretty much like little stools. And I'm going to see Actually, yeah. Sides. I would like to learn Originally, how to make potatoes better. For this to be I think I make potatoes potato. very basic. Like, either mashed potatoes that you just add milk and butter to with a bit of seasoning. Or like bacon. So what we're gonna do is twice baked um, potatoes. A little more fat, sometimes. a little more flavor, just a little more deliciousness, okay? Baked potato butter is great. Twice baked potato with cream cheese and cheddar is even better. Oh, All right, let's twice so baked potato, bake it twice. I'm just gonna crush it. I have the ingredients and I know, it just doesn't tell me how to put it together. <laughs> That's the mystery. First thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bake it. I'm gonna poke a few holes in it just to let steam escape. Oh. So my skin doesn't rupture. I'm gonna wrap it in foil. Oh. Stab your potato. I'm gonna bake this potato about 350, 45 minutes to an hour. I already hear Rosemary saying that's not long enough. It has to be darker, and you didn't sear it long enough. Oh. And this is a gigantosaurus tongs. What the heck? You're searing so this potato the baked potato for about 50 instead. Minutes. When you squeeze, you can see there's a little bit of give. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the potato. Are you not slice making mashed potatoes? And very carefully, with not trying to break the skin, I'm going to take the center of the potato out. I want to leave a little bit of a wall there so it's not just skin, oh. just so that it holds together. And I'm just going to kind of like mash this up a little, just so I don't have that any big sense. chunks. Yeah, I, oh, 
See, I should have turned it up. Potatoes all the way. are so fucking good. That's more like it. Oh, there you go. Hello. That is all right. Rosemary would be happy. I'm upset at how okay. good it looks. Okay. Okie dokie for dokie. I'm gonna add all my flavorings to this. A little bit of sour cream. Well, maybe not a little bit. When maybe I see this stuff, it just so makes me want to cook. Definitely. We're gonna I want to try making cheese. stuff I got some like nice this. cheddar here. Don't be skimpy with the cheese. It's gonna add some richness, a little bit of sharpness mm. to this. I'm gonna use scallions as a flavoring for this. This is one of those ingredients that people will do this. They'll cut the root end off. Yeah. They'll either use all the white and throw away the green, or use all the green and throw away the white. I, I use the green and most of the time throw away the white. I think I feel slightly called out. I use the whole thing. All of it's good. Oh, We're gonna okay. mix it really well. <laughs> okay, Always noted. taste your food. All of it is good. Delicious. At this point, you can probably just scoop it in with a spoon. I'm gonna use a pastry bag, okay? It gives me a little more direction. I can make it exactly the way I want it. It doesn't look like you didn't care. Well, I just don't kind like of onion. Oh it on there. my god. The pastry god. bag gives a little more of Wait, what the fuck? That looks so good. I'm gonna use a pastry bag, okay? What do you do? What do you do? Did he use? Okay, it was sour cream, the cheddar, scallion. Oh my god, that looks delicious when he puts it. Really well. Always taste your food. Oh my god. Delicious. At this point, you can probably just scoop it in with a spoon. I'm gonna use a pastry bag, okay? It gives me a little more direction. I can make it exactly the way I want it. It doesn't look like you didn't care. It looks just so good, yeah. It on there. The pastry bag gives it a little fancy. more of an elegant feel to it. Yeah, so at this point, it does. we're gonna put them in the oven and we're gonna let the top get a little brown, let them warm through, and then we'll garnish later. I need to turn this down because I don't want to burn my butter. I'm not sure how much butter is in here, but I would imagine, yeah, of course, you add the butter first. Um, I'm guessing that's one tablespoon, two tablespoons, three I tablespoons. I love devil's more. eggs. Oh, I, I'm going for it. It's like, it's like a stick of butter, I think. That's a that's whole lot of butter. Oh, oh my God. Stick. Yeah. Well, that's happening. Oh, the rosemary. Potatoes and butter. <laughs> <laughs> rosemary gives it you such <laughs> like a nice rosemary. flavor. I think I underestimated or wasn't even sure how much flavor like rosemary actually gives, but it's like the, I almost feel like it's a perfect herb for a lot of well maybe just for like the steak and other things that we make for mostly because it doesn't have such a distinct herb taste but like gives us the seasoning like sometimes i think thyme has more of a distinct herby taste Hugs. we are moving on to the sauce that i have no idea how to pronounce Bordelais sauce. <laughs> Thank you, Frank. In Lorenzo's I'm recipe, bar. he marinates the steak. He needs to smell time sauce. again. I'm not going to do that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the marinade stuff and make a glaze out of it. So if you want to dip into it later, you can dip into it. If you want to just taste a nice piece of meat, taste a nice piece of meat. Hopefully no yeah. one shook this up. What? So in places that I've seen cooking, I remember a lot of um, baking, uh, chicken wing dishes. Sometimes the they use there was oh. sugar rationing during World War II. So I'm gonna cook this down, basically just dumping everything the, to the pot and letting the it reduce down. Wing. And I'm gonna look for this. Right now the bubble's gonna be really small and kind of fluttery. And then once this starts to get a little thicker, you're gonna see bigger bubbles that take a little longer to burst. You wanna just reduce it until it starts to thicken rather than till it's dry. If it, it gets dry, ginger it's gonna burn. Usually All right, too. now I'm gonna do the red wine reduction. So I need to reduce yeah, this about wings. a cup. Frank says it's about a like cup. Cola ginger a wings a usually. I'm going to add my shallots, fresh thyme, and what, 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 Easy peasy. So far, it's so, so good. hard <laughs> for people. Like, how the fuck do you have knife skills where you dice everything so nicely? Ow, no, just kidding. Let's put a couple of these in. Oh, we can also makes me nervous. That looks like a very rich sauce. The color is fantastic. I'm not quite sure how thick it's supposed to do. Years the of practice, yeah. Earth calling Rosemary. <laughs> Come in, Rosemary. What did she say? Can I ask you one more thing if you have time? Okay. Sauce. I have sauce that he wants me to make. I'm telling you what, uh, Frank is not getting the Christmas card this year. I'm telling you. It calls for one cup of wine. How much do I reduce that? So stick a spoon in and then run your finger down the back. And oh. You dip it. Okay. If not, worst, come, oh. worst case scenario, just drink the wine. You get good at back. cutting. <laughs> yeah, I always feel that I have to do it really slow, and even when I do it slow, test. it's still and not if that it nice. It's a nice, clean line. I know my sauce is thick enough. Totally coated this spoon. Oh. Thanks, Rosemary. Turn this off, and all I have Gee. to do now Ooh, I did is not know that. That's shave a trick. some 
black truffle. Uh, oh, wow. I'm like Never silver had. and bellow. One of these guys yeah. in my presence. <laughs> or gold, it's I don't gold. remember. It's earthy. With truffles, for the most part, they're best when they're freshly sliced on top of things. Let's see uh, how much does he want us to do? Oh, the whole thing? Wow. That looks so good. There's truffle products that have kind of those truffle flavorings in them, but when you get a fresh truffle, it should be sliced at the table in front of your guests. It's not just for the flavor, it's for the show as well. I kind of like more truffle infused things it tastes expensive. than truffle <laughs> on its own. All right, guys. Borderly sauce. His laugh is truffles. crazy. He has to the use next it. next step is to do our steak. This steak is enormous. <laughs> I mean, you guys. Now with the ribeye that I had planned, the high-end ribeye, mm -hmm. uh, I had planned on sauteing it in a cast iron pan. That's getting hot in my room again, I can't. Steak is similar to the ribeye. I really just want to get a nice kind of caramelized coating on it. So I'm going to season the steak first. Room always gets a fair so amount hot. of salt and it's black just, pepper. Ugh. With the salt, we go fairly heavy. Liberally. Well, I feel like I can't Liberally, it liberally. Have... So I need this hot like super hot you guys this is the nicest skillet i've ever seen in my life i like this oh. christmas presents please the key to this is that you don't want the oil to splash on you so i'm just going to drop it in the pan away from me so here we go guys <laughs> i'm going to let it stay yeah. there leave it alone let it go indeed this is going to take a few minutes send these smoke signals dinner's almost ready people Come and get it. I'm gonna flip it Good away morning, from Chris. me. Good morning. Thank you for the two months. Welcome back. Swirl it around so I have a nice amount of fat. If you look at the steak, mm. it has a beautiful crust on it now. It's gonna add a ton of flavor to this steak. It's going to add some texture as well. You're gonna get a little crunchy bits. Let's just throw Do these in. Cast iron. You smashed it. Oh my God. <laughs> What I'm gonna do to check temperatures, I'm not necessarily oh gonna use a, a That's thermometer. already gonna be good. If I push on this piece of meat and it gives me some spring back, that means that it's cooking. If I push on this piece of meat and it leaves a dent, that means it's pretty much raw in the center. Oh. But this I know is still pretty rare here, and here it's kind of cooking up. Guys, you guys, you guys, Wait, you guys. really? I think I'm teary-eyed a little bit. It's so beautiful. <laughs> I think I'd have to use a thermometer. So Lorenzo's issue is gonna be that's a really thick cut of steak. Uh, and usually with those, find, getting... You ever hear people, like, give you instruction? Like, yeah, if it feels this way, then it should be, like, X, Y, and Z. But the thing is, a lot of times I think I'll feel something. I'll be like, I don't know if that's what they're describing. And I have to be, like, is it this? Or what if it's like this? I don't know for sure, so I have to use a thermometer anyways. Getting the right temperature is a little more of guesswork. So Lorenzo might want to use a thermometer for that. Ooh, medium rare. Perfect. So I'm gonna let this exactly. steak rest for about 10 minutes. I really want to dig in and eat this right now, but you need to let it rest. If I slice it now, all the juice is gonna flow out. Be patient, it'll be worth it. Let's move on to the broccolini. The expensive version, I was gonna use broccolini. We have a rich steak, a really rich uh, potato dish, and the broccolini is gonna have just a little bit of bitterness to cut that. Broccolini tastes really great by itself, needs a little salt, pepper, maybe a little garlic, but everyday broccoli is delicious if you treat it right. So normally people take the broccoli, cut the head off, and everything else gets thrown in the garbage. Mm -hmm. What I like to do is I save the stems. So if you're gonna serve the stems, you have to peel them, because otherwise it's a little on the tough side, and it mm -hmm. sometimes needs a little help. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get some garlic and a little bit of ginger. A lot of times people will boil broccoli, and boiled broccoli, I mean, there's nothing worse than that, right? It smells bad, it tastes bad, it gets too soft. I like to roast broccoli, it adds a little bit more depth of flavor to it. And I'm gonna use some of Lorenzo's ingredients here to make that just a little bit better. A little bit of chili flake, just to let him know it was there. I'm gonna use a little bit of soy sauce, I'm gonna use mm. a little bit of salt. Both of them have salt in them, but salt kinda gives a pure, plain flavor, where soy sauce kinda gives a richness. I'm gonna throw this into an oven about 350, for about 15 minutes. You'll see the broccoli starts to break down. It'll start to get a little bit of a caramelization or, or charring on top, and that's what I, I like want. Barkley. I want to take it out of the oven broccoli. when it's just a broccoli little bit Broccoli when it's like I'm really steamed or really it soft. Out, stopping uh, the cooking process by submerging it into ice water. Next, mushrooms. I just have to start 
Barkley. Lorenzo Bar <laughs> should make the fuck sure is that oh, he gets those those mushrooms so nice and caramelized. Any mushrooms that kind of go in a pan and they just kind of sit there and boil, not good. The texture's not really, really great. You want those mushrooms to be oh just slightly crispy when you put them on the plate. Delicious. These are very thin, delicate mushrooms, so I think it's okay to add whatever I need to add to finish this off. My broccolini. Looks good to me. Let's try it. I actually don't like broccolini that much. I just like regular broccoli. Wow! This is lovely. <laughs> this guy's lovely, a character, lovely, dude. Jubbly, is all I have to say. Wow! He's a character. And oh wow. my god, that looks so good. <laughs> it's heavy. It hurt my wrist. It's so heavy. <laughs> the most important thing for this piece of steak is to cut against you the grain. You look animated. That's because if you cut it with the grain, it's just going to be super chewy. It looks so mm. good. Does it look good? When I'm plating a dish, I'm usually looking for a little yeah, textual difference, a little height difference, just to make it interesting. If you just throw everything on a plate flat, it's kind of boring. So I'm gonna kind of just prop things up a little, oh, do a little chef wizardry, and try and make it just look a little bit nicer than what kind of grandma would have put on the plate. Crow fresh mm. caviar. Ooh, it's the green caviar. Let's put a little bit of chives on this nice. Whoa, oh, he did make that presentation look nice with the sides. fresh Parmesan. So we have our beautiful steak propped up on our broccoli stems. I got a little bit of that soy and Coca-Cola glaze, and that's my take on Mr. Lorenzo's dish. There's okay. a little piece left on my board. That's elevated. the chef's secret. We eat all the ends. We make staff meal out of it sometimes, but that's my snack, okay? Oh. <laughs> and, uh... <laughs> <laughs> that's it. That looks good, man. Yeah, it does. If I do say so myself. <laughs> Dude, this steak this is not real. Hey, Frank, how you doing? It is an honor and a pleasure. I feel so nice. Right oh, look at that. <laughs> it looks good. Oh, that is my potato. Wow. Oh, so it's a twice. Yeah. Between. So that's the difference, I guess. The cheap dinner and the expensive dinner. Honestly, the expensive dinner still does look more expensive because of how the potatoes are made. Like the way the potatoes are made and kind of also how the sauce is like over the steak like that. Good. Oh, that is my potato. Yeah, they both oh, look it's good. a yeah. twice. Yeah. Between. So, you know, we took I a little chef's so. I don't think you can for yes. the show. Uh, Even for the uh, sake of the like show. We made like a little glaze with the coke and the uh, soy sauce. Oh, um, very good. Very the broccoli good. we roasted with some ginger and soy. And then we did a twice baked potato. So I'm going to give it a taste with this sauce. And a little scared? bit of mushroom on there. Mm, I don't mushroom. even know what kind of mushroom that is. I think it's a chanterelle. Delicious. Your seasoning is wonderful. Oh, thank you. Oh, man. Great. Really? Sauce is on point. I never had a sauce like this before. It's one of those classic French sauces. Mm. You know, you would think it'd be too rich, but it actually is a good foil it to the steak. It looks mm. like it would be so, so no, rich. Because the color, look at the color. It's, it's a great color. It's different. That is good. Let's taste yours. Oh, now. my God. Okay. Let us get a little bit of this and your I'm I would feel too. so intimidated <laughs> if he was like, what is this yours now? I'd be like, this, oh, like this is the soy sauce, Coca-Cola, uh, ginger garlic. This tastes like mama, <laughs> what my mama made. The ginger and soy sauce are so nice together. And we roasted the broccoli with the ginger and, uh, and garlic. Mm. And a little bit of chili flake. Baked in the oven. Baked in the oven, yeah. Pop tart. Oh my God. And it's a different texture because you do it in the oven. Nice, I'm, I'm going nice. In. I'm yeah, 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 Frank. Oh my gosh. See how we did. Ah, uh, delicious. It's yummy. The sauce is really delicious. It really compliments. It almost tastes a little smoky, believe it or not. You know, I was I was a little nervous about Coca-Cola. I saw Coca-Cola. <laughs> and now, like, I might, I'm going to add that to my yeah. kind of tool belt. You know, you don't think of Coca-Cola as a ingredient that you use in, in really sure. good cooking. Oh, but that's I like delicious. cherry. Thanks, Frank. Yeah. I do. Thanks, <laughs> I like cherries, and also I kind of oh, do like cherry flavored fun. things. Not that all was things, really but really fun and delicious. Eat up, you guys. Yeah. Oh, for pop tarts. Uh, for pop tarts, the only flavor that I really liked slash got often was the, and it wasn't because of taste. It was just because of aesthetic. I love the strawberry one because it looked really confetti like, and then when you open it or when you bite into it, it's like a nice. Uh, let me see, strawberry pop tart. Pop tart. Uh, it just looked prettier. Like I like the not this color. I like this color of the oh, which one was it? I guess that was more like this. 
So where is it? It's kind of more just like rainbow colored and then you have like the nice gooey in the middle. Uh, but it, I actually don't think pop tarts are that good. I think I only liked it because it was such a normal breakfast food or like food for people to, to eat. I'm not a hater. I just think your, my taste as a kid, I loved it or I liked it. Um, but now they're a little dry. Um, it's a little too sweet for some parts and it's just not it anymore. Did not no longer eat it as an adult. Nope, nope, nope. I know it's just not the same it's same as Lunchables sometimes like Lunchables are not the same but yeah I love this series the series of like pro chef versus home cook is such a great idea and great series I'm so glad they did it That's so crazy. Mm. One sec. Okay, Bur burgers video. What's burgers video? Sorry, I was just doing that. All right, I am down to also. Uh, what was I gonna do? Whoa, it's Naruto's birthday today. Naruto's birthday is two days after me? I didn't know that. Believe it. Alright, um... I'm gonna... Okay, wait. Mm, okay. We're gonna watch one...
Hey, sorry. I did like. Uh. God, I'm so. Ugh, my brain is so me. I just. I'm not. I'm not present. I'm not there. Hey. All right. Yeah. Okay. Good. 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 I'm gonna. Um. My brain turned into complete mush. And it's just bad, and I don't know what to do. But I'm going to play some games to hopefully help with that. So let's get started with some League. What's up? Panamika, hello. But solo queue? I actually have not been minding solo queue lately. Maybe I just have high endurance built up for that. Um, Adeline, sorry, I was just uh doing some TwitchCon scheduling things, but I'm gonna go pee, I'll be back, and then we can queue it up. All right, one second.
Oh, almost forgot to mute my mic. But I'm not. I'm not pleb anymore. <laughs> Big dabs. Thank you so much for the 38 months. Welcome back. Thank you. It is one of those days. Lion of Wakanda, thank you so much for the four months. Welcome back. Thank you. Welcome, welcome back. Do, 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 do. Stand tonight. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I like this headband. I just got it from, like, I just got it from Korea. It was so cheap and it's so cute. It just has like little bows and stuff on it. Or little like, not bows, like little flower looking specks on it. Yep. Yippee. You song, you play wow. yeah the map cover it's not my merch it's a uh, it's something else it's oh what am i banning siri i think it's from hypeland i think that's what the brand's called i'm not sure i could be wrong correct me if i'm wrong Ooh. What the fuck? They banned Kaisa? Damn it. I was gonna say Kaisa would have been good with Leona. Uh, sometimes I just want to play other ADs. But I don't know what others to play that are good right now. I would like to practice Samira sometime. Or some other one, let's see. Not Draven. Do you guys know what other 80s? Yeah, the thing is like, I just don't like Ash that much. She's... Like, my enjoyment with her is maybe like a 5 or a 6. And I just feel like I'd rather play a champion that like, I think is really fun to play. Um, but I also think she's good and stuff, especially when I play against her. She's really annoying and she's really strong. She has like, you're able to see a lot of the map and her arrows are very strong. It's just, you know, you know. Mm, Trist. Yeah, it's just boring. Let me see. So, like, the type of 80s I think I would like. Um, Samira could be cool, or Zaya, but I'm not- I'm just really not good Zaya. All the references? I don't think I caught all the references. I only got, like, the obvious ones. I'm not really good at catching those. I've tried Nyla in Aram, and I've tried her in Summoner's Rift, like, maybe once. She was okay, in terms of fun. I like Vayne, and I like Lucian, um, MF is alright, Jin is fun. Light more variety, I'm not sure. Ergot?
Where can I buy or download Mortal Kombat? Is it 11? Or is it 2? What is it? Like, what's like the Mortal Kombat one before the one that I played? Oh, it's, is it Mortal Kombat 1? Is it called Mortal Kombat Legacy? It was 11. Is it on Steam? Welcome to Summoner's Rift. Not the new new one, because that's the one I just played. Um, but I want to play the one that has the storyline or the story before the most recent one. Whoa. Hey guys, chill. Um, oh, damn. Almost got out ish. MK11 is on Steam? Okay. How come I don't see it? Minions have spawned. I search Mortal Kombat and it only shows Legacy or Legacy 2. I just want to play the one with the storyline from before that you guys said was like kind of similar. Look through I made a video on it. They used all the champs in the exact order and spells that they cast for deaths and eliminations and stuff. That's crazy. Well, that's actually pretty good attention to detail. Yeah, so, uh... I want to play the other one. Really? There's something wrong with my Steam. Can you link it to me? Or does someone have the link? Please, thank you so much for the seven months. Welcome back. Thank you. Please. We're not going to hit two first. Oh, there it is. Holy oh, shit. I had a feeling someone was here. kind of playing like it a little bit but yeah word there Oh, I got executed. <laughs> Dude, I'm so... I was there as bait! Hey. Wait, I think I'm... I think it's fine. Oh, well, it's pushing now. I think. Actually, you know, just leave it. I think it's just gonna... Hey, you can get the last hand back, I guess. I think she should base. Ooh, better than that. Yes. 
I mean, it would have been fine if you based the same time I died. I mean, like, staying staying for the lane did not do a lot, and then if we base, like, it would have been the same time as them coming back. Bunbell? I forgot what that is. What is what is Bunbell again? Oh yeah, it's just like timing with face. The faces. Um, unless you're like going to gank mid or like other things. You usually want to like line up the face timings. Together like that. Yeah, well, the early gank was lame. <laughs> Gonna hold this here. Rek'Sai is mid L. Got it. Um, we're not really doing anything for now. We're just kind of chilling. Whoa! Whoa! What the fuck? They have no fear. Oh, they're trying to bait for this? Wait, what the... Oh, and we get away scot-free! Think. Oh my god, the war distracted her. Nice. That was my back to get cancelled. Maybe hell is sad. Actually, it's better. Heck yeah. Uh, okay. They're missing. Good be doing drag. Fuck! Are you serious? Hate it here. So low. I pinged it, man. Like, of course, the support could roam. Under. Mm. 
pay people. No shot, I literally ping two before she even gets there. She's non lane, careful mid. Yeah, it's uh, ranked. Pain and suffering begin. Tell me about it. Guys, like, it's really not that hard to just see, like... Exhausted and what? They just wasted an exhaust. Oh, what the fuck? Ah, uh, what the fuck? How does he come back? Oh my god. I did not know that range on that. God, guys, the use of language, we gotta, hey, relax. Oh God, what am I watching? Jeez. We're all in shambles, man. Actually, classic. We not? That's kind of greedy, but she flashed, I guess. And fucking Rek'Sai's bot again. Uh, I, huh? What's the vein? Oh, I mean... just like she literally i mean it makes sense for her to be fed if anything we could have probably maybe prevented some of the death star gangs which is usually what you want to do so waste their time and for resources but they've been getting the gangs and stuff so luck. haven't been playing around it better. Yeah. It's fine, like...
<laughs> God. Just can't win. Hi, Lindry. It's the blind game. You think we're playing League of Legends? Dude, like it's not even that many minutes in. Oh shit, I should already hear. Oh my god, and fucking here yeah it's kind of not it i mean she does almost have turret guys chill I mean, like, we just don't play around it, too. Like, if you know they can roam and stuff, there's stuff that you could do. Like, we caught- we probably could have just held the lane. Try not to push that much. And then Cat could still push, and then they could waste time bot and not get kills. Like, that's also possible. So you can't blame everyone for things, unless you got killed. Some people are straight up inking. Like, the first death of the Rex side was pretty obvious, or like, very potential that he was there, and Leona went in. Yeah, true. Leona and Tamorg too, not the greatest. Sure. Ooh. I like guys don't really know a soul still a bit, like range and stuff. Plus, uh Rek'Sai does like kinda of fall off. Like I mean it's not completely over. Dude, people throw in League all the time. Like, all the fucking time. The one that would be annoying would be Aesol, though. Yeah, it's kinda hard. Not much you could do there. What happens to people who drink soda? Yeah. The same thing has happened- probably happens to the people who drink boba. Bad things. All bad things. Oh my god, as long as I get the cannon. Holy shit. I died for that instead, bro! Get here. Everyone just flames each other. You guys think you're all different? Y'all are bad. No one here is exempt from it. Your team has destroyed a turret. Your turret has been destroyed. <laughs> yeah, it's time. I may as well fucking join it. I don't know. Let me play next. God damn. 
Holy fuck. Two of them fuck your shit. What the fuck is this? I still don't know what this is. Oh my god. Holy shit. What a comeback. Dude, I got that 1k shutdown though. Holy shit. I'll fucking take that. Uh, fuck. Okay, I'll get this, but I I think I really need RFC to for fucking this guy. Other shit. But this will be good because they're building armor. Morg is also gonna build arm guard. Yeah. This may be good to get Lord Dom first, maybe. Oh god. Mm. I'm gonna take this red before him. Dude, stop fucking just pinging like what we do. Uh, I think we give it, dude. Oh, they're doing Baron? Oh my god, it's Baron. I totally thought it was fucking Harold. is here the fuck else oh god not the fucking guy nah I grief there I actually thought it was Harold for some reason <laughs> they actually almost got it what the fuck I'm not good at doing stuff Base, fuck. I'm gonna be late. Uh, okay. Yeah, we go. Come on. What the fuck? Why is he basing? Oh my god, we can't do it. No, just get out, get out, get out. Oh jeez. Really can't step up when we don't have our team. And Talon just base, so... Yeah... Honestly, I'm enlightened. I've achieved the art of not really tilting so hard. Unless I really lose that many ridiculous games in a row. But prior to that, it's not that bad. Okay. Yikes, bro. They're just really in the. Uh, shouldn't have been there. Well, Rek'Sai flashed on me. Oof. Can he get out? Stall! Damn it. That was really bad. We should have just backed off. Everyone is dying. Just get this. That's the only thing we can do. That stop. Dude, why do you literally follow me butt and mid? I hate it here. Hey. 
what's the point? You just go bot, take the farm, run mid two, take the farm. Get here. Hey! Holy shit, I'm out. Oh, fuck that. Holy fuck. Not me. Almost died. Holy crap. Alright, I feel like I kind of did the most I could there. Without dying. Fucking go. Enters, get them. They overstayed. Dude, I swear to god, I don't fucking kill this guy. Your turret has been destroyed. Red. I still don't know what he does in terms of like how does he stun? What's his ult for that? New um Oh my god. What the fuck? Like what is that? Is that ulti? What's the meteor that comes from, like... That comes to fucking murder me? That just says Q? Yes, that's alt? Which one is it? Alt, okay. Yeah, because it only shakes once in a while, right? That was the only logical one answer I felt. Middle stuns. When he has enough stats, stacks and knocks up. Okay, and how does he get his stacks? Does he have to... Is it like something he builds up through just like using on minions or anything? Or... Because you have to hit champions with it. By killing minions and hitting champs with E, basically? Okay, so both champs are minions. That's their... Um... Oh shit. Did they kill him? An ally has been slain. Oh. Guess they just get it. No, dude, you're fucking... You can't just ping for help on that. Because they're all there. <laughs> you know what you do? You just don't walk there, because they can walk there. <laughs> Garson dies. You see the difference between the people who have a lot of deaths? If you don't. Yes. Ogre. Yeah, I know they all kind of are in some ways. Unfortunate. But up, but up. Yeah. <laughs> Taking the time to write that, yeah. That's wild, dude. It's 
slight team gap there. Alright, I'll go pee. I'll go back and then re queue it up. Beer be. Xiaomi is just. Why, wow, what's the break dance? Huh? Oh, did you add it as a thing? I don't, I didn't, it didn't refresh for me. Keon, thank you so much for the 45 months. Welcome back. Thank you. Wait, really? Dude, I can't wait. I'm going to fucking refresh this shit. All right, what do I want to do, guys? I, I think I need to... It's the new mopping emo. <laughs> it's so cute. Should be to Um, I really type league into the search. I was trying to ban someone and it's like me. I fucking done this so many times where I type. I type Uber Eats into Uber Eats. Or some shit like that, bro. Get it together. I've typed Yelp into Yelp. When I'm searching for something. What's wrong with me? Fix it. Fuck you, Max. Maybe it is.
Maybe it is. It was good. I had a great chill weekend. Um, full of celebrations. So it was great. Oh. Yeah. That was really nice. I very much enjoyed it. Got to have some good food. Um... Maybe a little more dessert. <laughs> I keep thinking about that Whole Foods cake. It's delicious. I shouldn't order it. But I really want to. Do you see loud penta? Is there literally a world's day one penta? What? What was he playing? Fuck. I see this magnolia bakery thing. What? Kaisa? Oh shit. <gasps> loud gets a penta on Kaisa? Dude. And if you can get a world, I can go, I can get a penta on Kaisa. This is my game. How did, how did balls get into my game? I have a rumble support. The last time I had a rumble support. Hmm. Trust? What do I trust though? He's stream sniffing? Yeah, Z. Welcome to Summoner's Rift. Hmm. Bada bada bada. Yeah, you could toggle her helmet. Especially, I think Bullet Angel, you could see, like, she has a like, hardcore helmet. Hi, Patty! Thank you! Thanks, man. Okay, let me just look to see if they have the Whole Foods cake. What if they don't? They're gonna have it. Is, is Whole Foods delivery only on Amazon? Oh my god, there's Amazon Prime deals today. But I can't tell if Amazon Prime deals are legit or if they just like purposely bump down the price. Do you guys know what I mean? There's like some, some, I feel like I've sworn that some of my Amazon pricing might have been like, it's like, oh, I don't remember it being that expensive, but they said that there's like a, See price changes like the real price changes you mean that's what i mean because i was like it was, i was looking at the same stuff i was looking at before and i was thinking like Wait, I feel like this was roughly same, similar pricing. Or that it's not discounted by that much. 
and then they'll say like oh the listed price is like a hundred dollars but it was actually eighty dollars before so i'm confused because i'm like i don't remember it being like a hundred dollars but it says right now it's like on sale for like 75 or 80 from before i was like i swore it's like 80 dollars originally yeah it doesn't make sense because i no, because I was looking at it earlier. I don't know if it's the tax. Oh, shit. I didn't know we were fighting though. That was the thing. I would have been down. I just didn't know. I thought we could back out of it, so I was like backing out. An ally has been slain. Like I think you just have to ping beforehand, but it's kinda hard at the same time. Like I get it. Always check MSRP. Is that how you determine it? Oh, fuck. He does so much damage to her. Literally just got back to lane. And they will match the sale price. Um... JC Penny and Macy's are known for that. Mmm. Okay. Yeah, I'll make note of it. I'll try to. Thanks, Lore. Hi, Fats. Yeah, because I've been trying to buy some stuff off Amazon. And I'm like, what? That's when Sean. Oh, nice flash. They don't have heal, they only have exhaust. Damn. Damage kind of nutty. Oh. I got it. 
Hmm. Not here, right? I have I heal, so I want to bait it. Hey, I'm leaving. I'm sorry. That rumble skin? No, no, the rumble. Okay, it's not the best skin. Oh, yeah, he's doing. He's doing fine. Yeah, which one is your friend? This is a very interesting. I mean, kind of like it, but. Ow, bro. I missed that. Thanks, Twitch. Dude, imagine. I know people wanted like a Star Guardian Rumble skin. Didn't they? Or Urgot? I think it was Urgot actually. Fine. It's just so obnoxious. What the fuck? He's not even sick yet. Oh, okay. Never mind. That's uh, kind of. He does a lot, but he also dies in like two hits. Kha'Zix's kind of going off. <gasps> I'm rich! Holy shit, that's so... That was delicious. And Q Evolve? What the fuck? Oh, fuck. Wait, what the heck? Definitely just gonna. Yeah, I should say. Yeah, that's a nice counter gank.
Love that for us when we have more team. That was great. Woo! Oh, thank God. Wow, I really got that. Let's go. Just set up already. She has no stun. An enemy has been slain. Oh, he's dead. Okay. Thanks, Udibu. Thank you. Happy birthday as well. Happy four. Troll. Your team has destroyed a turret. God like. Oh, we're really just making this a thing now, dude. The jungle death or what? Dude, Ozic's not joking around. Oh, my God! Damn, team is kind of broken. I know that it is like night and day. You guys saw my last game, right? That's kind of crazy. How do we handle it? Honestly, me face checking here is kind of spoopy, but I'll do it. Your team has destroyed a turret. Oh my god, I want to ult on that so bad. In case you stun me, and then Samira could just throw me there with like knockouts. Yeah, that's like Q damage is a lot. 
especially with this like burst. Yeah, the FF. Dude, Kaisei does so much damage. I mean, she's fed to, she, and she's like such a great solo queue AD. I just love uh, picking her because she just like... Can fend for herself, does a lot of damage, can be at other places of the map to help turn fights and stuff. <laughs> use it, use it. It's Brian's creation. We have to make use of it. Woo! Back to plat two. Let's go. <laughs> Went off. Perfect KDA. What did I have? I don't remember what it had. Did I die? I died, right? I don't remember, man. All the games are kind of a blur. I don't remember games distinctly anymore like I used to. Da, na, 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 na. I had zero deaths? Fuck yeah, I did. Barry, get out of here. Damn, our mid is Giga Chad. He's like, I don't need a fucking ban. None. Oh, 602. Nice, nice, nice. I knew that. Excellent, excellent. What are my order things? I got bit um at the petting zoo thing. I'm like so itchy on my legs. It's so bad. I keep scratching when I try not to scratch and I just can't do it, man. The self-control there is just really it hurts. Okay, well. Nice, I got the bananas and everything. Okay, cool. All that stuff came, I think. Is this still mosquito season? Am I, it might have also been where we were. We drove to an area where there, the, it was also hotter in the day. Like the temperature felt hotter in the area that we were in. Which makes sense if there's more mosquitoes or other things there. Yeah, how are they so rampant? Irvin. I'm jealous, Ari. You have a ribbon AD? Dude, you guys won. Yeah, actual League of Legends. In spirit of worlds. And faker and deft and all League heroes combined. What am I doing? Damn, I really don't love it here. I was thinking about Ezreal too, but... I don't like picking... I don't really like picking Ezreal into Draven. But I did think about it. I totally could have because of that. Yeah. But then I thought maybe I could also play Kate. Kate, I feel it's easier for me into Draven. Can you net out of his ult? Uh, Draven? 
Oh, oh, yeah, for for G four, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, like Illenium. I do. I went to an Illenium show like when he initially only had one uh I think his one remix out at the time was Don't Let Me Down by Chainsmokers. And I went to one of his shows. That was pretty good. He didn't even have a lot of like original music yet. Mm-hmm. I remember it was at this place in SF called it starts with a B, I think. Bill Graham? They feels Bill Graham. It was your first festival, DJ. My first one, I don't know if it counts. The, I went to uh, clubs that had like DJs that I like. Like back in the day, it was these super old school ones. And it's probably gonna show my age. But as Dash Berlin, um, Sky Tunnel, Above and Beyond. And I think that's all I can remember off the top of my head. But they were like the first couple ones, yeah. Except it was Zed. Damn, Zed is a good one too. Yeah. I remember back in the day, it was always like bringing friends to like their first rave and you get to see how they like experience everything for the first time. That was fun. Cause they're like, whoa, this music. These people, they're all so nice. Thanks! Hope you're having a good day slash night as well. We're going into the night soon. We're approaching 5 p.m. And I don't know what that means when it comes to our games. Reverse people in school, more off school. Everyone's back to school now. Ba da ba ba. Ba da ba 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 da. Ba da ba ba. But when we're together. Go here. Oh no, he's starting. We did good. Hook them down enough. Just flash. Oh. Hey, but he can push the landed. And space enough, I guess. But still worth. Honestly, not bad. And he misses all this. Oh my god, that's disgusting. That was a really good gink. Yeah, I totally agreed to keep that. Because it's like, eh. <laughs> Shit. My F button's broken, bro. 
Mati shabana pot pot program. What is a super space tuna? I would like to know. F is for flash in other ways. Come to one of us, men. Got it, nice. Oh my god. Oh, oh. shots there were pretty bad. Uh, uh, wow. Talia died. Oh, EF was bought and he doesn't have ulti. TP? I feel like you should know maybe that they're coming. That makes me want to rank. Try to rank again. I don't know if I really want to commit to that, but I totally could. It's not, um, it's kind of too late to try for this season. Uh, maybe for the next. just hate when they don't look at the fucking minions, man. My cannon! Oh, fuck. Oh, God. Oh my god, I didn't get one Q off even? Oh fuck. Damn, I went to get my Q off, I thought. Okay. Ouch. Oh, so ahead. Oh, hurts. 
Oh, no. I thought I would live through maybe to get a queue off, but I guess not. Mm-hmm. He's all fed. Welcome home, Emily. It's time to kick back, relax, grab a nice beverage. Not us. Top. Top. <laughs> no, I know because that's one of my favorite things too. Do I get home? I just want to drink. It feels so nice. So my like it's honestly one of the most uh, the enjoy enjoyable parts. Dude, I feel like they could just die of us and fucking do ten billion damage of us. But this guy is just like so many people for him, and he so hard for him to die. The tanky, bro. Yeah, it worked out. Bless. Oh my- Oh my god, I didn't have mana! Holy shit, I almost griefed that so hard. Oh my god. But I guess if I ulted, Mumu would have stayed, but holy shit, I griefed that. I don't know. I don't know why. Thank god he griefed, because I griefed. That was crazy. See, bitch, <laughs> I just got here. Ooh, good. You didn't see what happened earlier. Mm. We're safe. No clippers. What happened? Amnesia. Nobody saw what happened in the last two... 20 seconds. 30 seconds? I already forgot how long ago it was, man. Shut down. All right, TF did very much multi-bot. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean it. What the fuck? Bitch, you're fucking crazy. No, he's not crazy. He totally almost killed me there. But all calculated, he didn't. That's right. He's upsetty. You gotta count the minions. What the fuck? Hey, hey. Oh. My guy is strong. What the fuck? I should have just backed off there. Yeah, because I'm totally gonna do it. Oh no, not our turret. You got a burrito? What the 
fuck? I get burrito. Ooh, you got it. What the fuck? Uh -huh. I got him. <laughs> Fucking worth any flash. Yeah, take that. Hate it here, man. It's perma people I can't see it hurts my soul. Ooh, but it looks like we can get them. Get them. Okay, we can't get him. Damn. The fuck? I can get this guy. Thank you. But can we do something against him? I don't know. Your turret has been oh, I can hear. I got one auto. Oh my god. It's so low. Okay, Talia definitely entered into that. Should I play League? Uh, well, see, if you saw my last game, yes. But if you see this game, maybe. I'll see it top side upside difference right now but um still winnable Jana, thank you so much for the 30 months welcome back thank you thank you thank you the attempts to get the kills were there Already walking months. Thank you. Oh, welcome back. Oh my goodness. Awesome. Thought I was gonna walk past. An ally has been slain. Uh huh. Please, dude. I had to flash out of it. But... You have been slain. An ally has been slain. Ooh. Ooh. Nice. Get out. 
guys. Just run. Yep. That's about right, yep. Triple ulti on. Ah, uh, yeah, it's my life, man. I get it. I freaking get it. That's just, I'll accept that that's my life. Ooh. Just want one more. Oh. <laughs> Any flash. Oh. I can't chase. I don't have the... Oh. Happening here, guys? Holy shit, team. But I feel like they're gonna die. We take the bounty thingies and we run! Gaskadat. Enemy killing Oh lord. How oh, it is, man. It's bad. It's spoopy. I do it. Not in drag. Why are they not? Oh, I did. Uh, actually. Well, no. I already got it. Oh. oh, what the? Oh! Oh, fuck! I didn't see his. Oh, my. To be fair, Draven would have cancelled me, but like, still. Damn. I wish I went to the lower part. Oh god, what the fuck, my guy. No. Ah, uh, yeah, assist for a vision. Oh, epic. Yeah, I think we can. YOLO, fuck it. We die, we die. 
You don't have a ward, huh? Any ward here? No. It's not. Oh my god, I still die. Hmm. I definitely need more bomb. Uh, shit. Oh. You weren't winning that, man. <laughs> hey. Our Aatrox with the bear and buff for one. Because your ADC ribbon went. To oh, shit. I'm so sorry. I mean, honestly, it doesn't make sense. For what it was, for what it was. I'm getting kind of strong, honestly. I think. Nice, yeah. Got it, yo. Dude, like my frame, something lag, other shit there. Like, what the hell is that, man? Ooh, what is going on here? Oh, you want to run? Yeah, that was not. Mm. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, they got it already. Yeah. Uber. Oh, what the fuck? Ah! Oh my god. Fucking flash. Oh. GTF flash? X, bro. Uh, no, same hair. I just had darker hair, I think. Or, like, not darker hair, but I, um... Use dark colored conditioner. Uh, not the team gap in this, this game. Rough out here, man. rough I mean I did semi the best I could Again. Oh, I only lost them good at four. Let's go. Yeah, they got ahead pretty fast. Okay, we can win next one. Birthday weekend. It was good. It was great. I love that it was just very chill. I'm gonna pee first. I'll be back. I talked about it earlier on stream, but it was just like a very
low key but also had like activities like some even though it's someone else's birthday party but it's like i love the nice activities in terms of like there's a petting zoo and there's a taco truck and got to like just hang out or whatever very fun i go pb or me We are back. Tommy, you're really not helping with pulling your weight over here. I feel like so many people should just have petting zoos for their uh, birthdays. It's just too cute. It's wholesome. The animals are so wholesome. I watched a uh, baby rabbit get bullied by his brother or sister and then also saw the rabbits just go cleaning their face all the time they go like this and it's so cute it's like whenever I see Somi go and then rabbits do this I see you I don't condone bullying. I said I just watched it. I couldn't do anything. What am I supposed to do? Oh my god, that's what people say about bullying. It's crazy. Alright. I'm gonna be smart. And I'm gonna order food in advance before I get too hungry. Usually when I get hungry, I feel it. And then I, and then I want to eat right away and it's just terrible. 
I literally typed Uber Eats into Uber Eats again. Why do I keep doing this? What's wrong with me? I'm a terrible person. <laughs> I keep fucking up like this, man. It don't be making no sense. Um, new old brain that I'm working with? Yeah. And it... I don't like it. Ooh. Ugh. Okay, just play something new. Not very new, but just different from the last two games. <laughs> oh, goddamn. No! Fuck you! Pick Lucian after. Alright. I'm gonna... Order some sushi. Oh wait, but tacos? I actually like going to the taco trucks. They're so good. So I don't think I'm gonna order tacos. Mm. Might just get sushi so I can eat it two days in a row. Some of it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yummy. Seconds until minions spawn. Oh no, I gotta buy. Minions have spawned. Okay. Woo! My food should be here s not soon, but within a game ish. Let's go. Dark Ruler, thank you for the 62 months. Welcome back. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Are you yay or nay for cilantro? <gasps> oh my god. I probably got first blood too. Um, I don't like cilantro that much personally. I don't mind if it's there for like seasoning. I'm not like super picky in terms of that, but I prefer things without it. They're confused how they die, they say. Hmm. I'm confused how we did not hit first I have my Zyra here too oh I guess I'm not completely confused can I not auto all the creep
Hi Nancy! Good, how are you? Get that CEO, what up? What up? I just I can't with my farm. Can I use look at my farm before using spells? Uh, the games have been okay. We did we uh win two or did we lose? I already forgot. Sorry, it's the age. It was just my birthday, so... Oh, this guy really... Got a gank, kills them, and says you suck ass. League of Legends. Are so passive aggressive, or just straight up aggressive in this case. Oh, dude! So sad. I hate it here, bro. With this game. Guess what fire is gonna jump to? I am da -da -da -da. Just right click minions, man. My nine to five job, I'm doing it. I'm doing it. You can't just like do nothing. Literally, don't help me CS at tower and don't push the wave. Like, what? <laughs> you gotta do something, man. Yo, what up? Hey, Stretch! I saw your birthday message. I said I remember because you said you lurk and you've said hi a couple times. But for the most part, you lurk. I'm always gonna remember. I did. 
With my grandma ask me ass memory, I remembered. Kind of crazy, honestly. Especially after what's been happening today. I've been forgetting everything. Fuck. Like Sarah, you literally what do you what do you Honestly, sometimes it's better not hit the wave for me, but like, literally, don't even try to help CS, man. Please, it hurts. Oh, nice. There you go. You hit one. I stop fucking like being in like a straight line with that man. Oh, she get. Oh my god, she's smurfing there. You did it. Never doubt you ever again. Why do I feel like I'm slower? No, I'm just walking the wave in. Or else he's gonna freeze it. Which you would know if you just did something. If you just did anything. Oh, actually you did. In that team fight, I lied. <laughs> Sorry, my short-term memory. Again. Uh, Renee, thank you so much for the 51 months. Welcome back. Thank you. Ah, uh, hope you have a great day to as well, Stretch. Strawberry, thank you so much for the nine months. Welcome back. Thank you. Oh, I am actually. I might. Okay. I'm trying to convince people to go to Worlds per slops. But I think, like, I don't know. I want to go to Japan in, like, December or something. I really want to go. I've been seeing too many Japan TikToks. Gotta go. Please! What the fuck? Like, leave them alone, you bitch! It's backline, bro. That was a nice snare. You have slain an enemy. Oh, we flash into it too. Nice. That was a great team effort there. Oh, nice. She put that pink cord down. Good pink. Ah, oh, the bush. Please don't. I'm sorry. Voice. No, I don't think I'm going to escape. It's, uh... It, it's a nos and I just... I get lazy to go out there too. I'd be down if people really want to go, but if there's no uh, concrete plan for it, I kind of just a little, a wee little lazy. Or just kind of like, you know, just do something here. Go here. Boys. An enemy has been 
Yeah, we're owning. He's dead. On to ult. Holy. Problem here, dude. Turret plating will soon fall. Oh my god, you scared me. I actually got jump scared. Give them slight hope so they don't FS. That's just the rules. I know, we're winning and... Dude, I actually like jump. I don't know if you guys saw, but I fucking... That Lucian scared the fuck out of me, man. It's not Halloween yet, dude. <laughs> Toxic masculinity. Bro, this isn't an anime. Grow up. Oh yeah, Malphite ult. Sometimes when Lee Sin fucking pops out of nowhere too. Like Jolt or some shit. Okay, and there are more events in Long Beach. I heard people didn't like the... Is that new... Oh, oh, USC or something? Like, where was uh, the last event at? Something like that. Oh. You're playing a Kali who is one of the harder champions to play. Because that guy is the one who's not. An enemy has been slain. Makes too much sense. Oh, Lucian's top. Shit. I shouldn't have ulted like I'm playing view. Fuck. Olaf is cringe, dude. That's he he died. One v one to the Akali, and then his jungler comes to gank for him. He kills the Akali. He shit talks. He died solo to him. Yasuo here. Hey, so salty. League of Legends, yeah. Ooh. Nice. 
Dude, Akali is doing work. Oh. An ally has been slain. An ally has been slain. She's fighting for her life. Like, I'm watching mid and like... Yeah, I had to, cause they're all four mid. Um, I'm just gonna get this. We can do here. Your turret has been destroyed. I didn't want to base with everyone there about to fight, but I had way too much gold on me, I feel. I know. Yeah, that's fine. Oh, he's mad. Oh fuck. Ah! Oh my god. I'm griefing. Bro. Dude, stop pinging, man. It hurts. Dude. Can you guys chill? Pings, man. Thanks for 28 months. Welcome back. Thank you. Can't count. She died, that was my fault. I fucking into that. Yeah, shut down. Fuck yeah. Eight hundred.
I'm strong. My three item. Big shit down. Thanks, CVR. Thanks. Yeah. That was fun. It was great. Stomach hurts a bit. Pineapple. Ooh, oh my god. Dude. The Cali Dude, Akali is actually a fucking smurf. That was Fuck. The Baron. Please. Guys, why are we chasing him? Dude, I... I hate it here. Like, what the fuck? Okay, well, I don't think we can anymore. That was just like... It's so late. Yeah. Dude, why do we care to chase a fucking... He was bot side, man. Just leave him. not be a dirty inter and then flame everyone else the way he lin ints like that and gets a flame holly Guy is so cringe. There's no way he literally ints and then types that. Why you thought E, the bro? I thought I'd right after, but maybe there's a second where I was stunned so I couldn't. I don't know. Hi, Marky! Oh, damn you. That's so good. An enemy has been slain. Is it? I don't I didn't get it. I didn't really watch much Scooby Doo though.
Mm-hmm. Yeah. I also don't really like going Hydra, but sometimes I think it's- <gasps> ah! Team! I flashed so far back. I like GA sometimes, depending on what it is. I can get another... Uh, if you just want to go more damage too, if you don't really need as much defense. Sometimes, depending, you can get, like, extra trinker. Oh! Damn, you missed the hugging. So sad. Oh my god, fuck! Yeah, he missed uh, the... R2. Damn. <gasps> That's warded. Oh my god. What the fuck? How did he still get me after that? Dude. I'm sorry. Uh, I did that. Everyone here, man. It hurts. Honestly, just heavy. Ooh. I think I switch. A hoppy hop. Oh no. I'm on top. math God, mean it. Oh, I always knew I liked the Sakali. there at least she's been she's been passing the vibe check it's like our team that hasn't been our team literally flamed her for no reason if anyone like literally was seeing what she was doing she's like literally 1v9 the whole game like we're not helping Laner. Yeah, I'll play another. I 
can't even report these people, man. They're so crazy. System muted. <laughs> hey, add another one on top of that. This guy also don't like uh negative attitude. Oh, this guy's also fucking crazy. Hi, Maga. Uh, I don't know. But we were literally doing fine if our team just like did not go fucking crazy. Everyone's mental just went kaboom. Ah, uh, my stomach hurts a bit. I wonder if it's because of this pineapple. Is it too citrusy? Uh, oh fuck. What'd I do? What'd I do? Oh no. How did I leave this? Huh? What happened? Alright, BRB guys. I'm sorry. I got a BRB. I'll be right back. Or I'll be back. Yeah, I'm still... I'm not hungry yet, but... Or I'm actually starting to get there. One sec, though.
I got my food and a report went through. And I just strategically just started feeling hungry now. <gasps> Dude, the timing is kind of crazy, man. Honestly, big W all around. Whoa. Wait, that's kind of awesome. What the heck? I got the delicious tofu again. I did watch Hunter Hunter. I watched all of it actually. I'm just not as hyped or liked it as much as like everyone else, but look. Thanks, Jack. It's because I, I liked um Killua as like a character, but I didn't like Gone as much. Sorry, don't hate me. I just don't think he had as much, like, uh, character development. Gone for me was kind of the same from, like, the beginning until the end. But Killua had so much, like, felt m way more interesting. And usually that's not an issue. There's not, like, a comparison thing. But I kind of just don't like it when a main character feels like they're the same from beginning to end. I kind of like seeing either different sides of them or like character development. Um, they don't even have to have character development. Like they could show like evil sides of them or other things that make it more interesting. Like dimension, character dimension. Yeah, I've seen uh, Shield Hero. Kirito. Okay, maybe it was the early days of me watching more anime, but I like Kirito. I stopped watching Shield Hero past a certain point though. Huh? Wait, they gave me three tofu things. Huh? Did I order three tofu things? <gasps> oh no, I have to pick a champion. Uh, fuck. Shit. Maybe I should pick Ezreal. Ezreal's kind of... Oh, okay, so it's fine too. Dude, I've been kind of crazy lately. I double order things on accident. Oh, I totally did. I say it's fine though. I fucking love this tofu. I'll eat it all. So just troll. No, I heard cold gias was good, but. I'm really good at eating leftovers. Like I will eat food for tomorrow all the time. Oh, Karapika? Mm. I don't think I liked Karapika as like a... As a character a lot. Yeah, no, I didn't see. Retsuko, who are you? In the last game? It's okay. I don't care about win or lose games that much. I don't care if people are like toxic or not. Hot chili oil? Dude, that sounds good. Um, I'm calling you. Mm -mm. You did not end. We ended you. I kept telling everyone they're freaking trolling. Like, why would they blame you for it? You're smurfing. I said the whole game. I was like, dude, this guy like solo kills the Olaf. The Olaf gets back to Link, has his jungler come up to kill you, and then shit talks to you right after. I was like, mm, makes sense. Haikyuu, no, I don't like Haikyuu because, uh, uh, sorry. I didn't really give it much of a chance, but it's hard for me to get into it because it feels a little bit too slice of life for me. Wait, how were you toxic? Weren't you a collie? You weren't. I don't think you were toxic at all. I I thought the other people were just being toxic to you. 
Unless you weren't the collie. Yeah, no. Yeah. I, I thought that they were being super unfair. Like, they... You were playing, like, pretty well. I thought you did everything. I thought they were the enters. I even think, dude, like, even if you int, like, that's totally fine. But why do you have to be in? Why do you have to int and be toxic? That's the worst combo. I don't think people go serpent fang. I'm not sure because I haven't played um League in a while, so I don't actually don't know itemization that well. Or like the new items, like I don't know. They added Sojin. Um, and they add some other things. It says like on Neo GG, like you could maybe get Sojin too, and I don't know why or when you go that either. Yeah. This guy like. I hit two here. Oh no. Oh, we're missing one minion. How did we not hit two first? Did I get in the lane first? I'm half paying attention. They not leash. Whoa, what the fuck? Why am I igniting me, bro? Oh. What the fuck? The hell, that's so random. Ooh, the guardian. Double shield. Let's go. Yeah, I dodged this right there. I wasn't even looking. Like being bad is i know being bad and anything is just like at least like if you're if you're caring people might feel like they could tolerate you a little bit more but damn it's still okay yeah either way you should not be toxic but the combination of being bad and being toxic is just way worse like what is that man i just want to push this in actually So, some people have trouble with like, or I mean, I probably still would, but, um, like with Swain bot, I think his, uh, snare is the one where like if it hits minions or other things too, like the hitbox is more if it's through minions or it's like bigger. If it's still the same. Hi Spicy, what up? Just standing away from um the wave helps a lot. Like less likely to get hit. My stomach hurts again. Oh, yeah, I know. I agree. I know what you mean by that. Some people do feel like they play chaps are like quite 
like Draven players or like Ringer players sometimes. Again, I ah, see, like that just Very interesting story. Just like kind of willy nilly throws the shit. He gets hit like that. Yeah, like he just tosses his E just like that. You lose so much pressure in lane. Alan, that's his name. We're up hella farm right now. Mm, actually, I could have gone for this. Hey, hey, hey. Lol, we go because I watch your videos. Very funny, by the way. Now I have an addiction. Ah, uh, shit. You know, being addicted to League. It's not like the worst thing. Like you could be addicted to like drugs. Or like glue or something. At least this one you're kind of at home. And unless you got a problem, like you don't even need to spend that much money on like skins or other things. I say that because I'm projecting like I have a problem. Yeah, time fucking flies. I just remember waking up at like 7 p.m. at night because I had issues with playing so late and I played so late to the point where like I wouldn't sleep until like, I don't know, 6 a.m. So, or maybe sometimes even 8 a.m. back in the day. Then the sleep schedule is fucked. I would only eat like one meal a day because I would forget to because I'd be busy playing League all the time. That's actually how I lost like some weight. There's a point in time where I gained some weight again. And then I lost it because of League. Or like banana sauce? That. that doesn't sound right. Missing too much mana, man.
Oh my god, I keep- Ah, I keep missing farm. I'm trolling. Okay, I just saw my farm for the first time because I thought I missed so much farm, but like... Actually farming fine, but I missed a lot still. It's just fight. Damn you. Yeah, I meant what I said. Why is there four bot? Hey, chill. I need y'all to chill. What the fuck? Oh. Hey. Hey. Please. Oh, I probably could have gone away actually. Are they still staying? I don't. I get my Q of all. Uh, zero zero one right now. Yeah. It does feel but I mean, I personally like it. I love the damage it has. I like this build. Yes, this. Whatever, man. I don't care, it's fine. Didn't need to just... Is she okay? Ooh, she's the one who's not gonna be okay, damn. Oh, I would tilt. I would tilt. Teamwork! Wow. Great team. Shut down. Lost weight, you forget. Yeah, it's either too because you either gain a lot of weight from sitting there doing nothing, or you just forget to eat. But yeah, they could have... You could uh, develop unhealthy habits either way. Um, not the best, but... The isolate. Okay. 
I ran between them. Much getting your team has destroyed a turret. Fuck, I just really want to go in, but I don't know where to go. <sighs> the one minion didn't die. Oh my god, me by spot side. Mostly just right clicking minions all day. I'm doing so well. Have I died to five? Uh, maybe I'll look mid. Like, at all. Uh, Your team has destroyed guess not. Turret. I don't do anything. I don't worry, man. Uh, I got it. I'll get mid. My team is actually just too good to kill everyone. Don't need me. What am I? What are we even doing here? Sorry. Ah! Uh, ah! Uh, fair! Oh, thank God. Everything from the Annie. Oh, so many things I baited. Got him. Uh, honestly, you know what? You got it. Objects. It doesn't, but just know that I have credit for it. <gasps> My stomach, I just want to not hurt. <sighs> I want to eat my tofu, man, but I feel uncomfortable doing so. Thanks, help me. Thanks, guys. Oh my god. I was thinking about ulting, but I would have fucking ulted into an Annie. So hard. Stomach. 
I'm uncomfortable. Dude, whoa. What Ori skin is that? It's all pretty. Star oh, Star Guardian? No, they had a Star Guardian one. Get the fuck back. You have flash? Yo, I'm scared. She's gonna get me this time. <laughs> oh. Oh. It's my it was my birthday uh two days ago, so no. <laughs> But it was my first time streaming since, so that's why everyone's saying happy birthday. Damn. You just stood still, man. <gasps> but it hit Annie? Just too much, man. Too much waiting around. I just want to fight or do something. Hmm. Dude, these guys are so tanky. What the heck? My Q doesn't kill them like that. Damn. I have to do more work. Oh, shit. Huh. What am I getting pinged for? Sorry, I'm like losing it. It's because... Actually, yeah, that's okay. Because... I'm getting distracted by my pain. I know it was cute. Lord probably did the OTB Twitter post one. Well, cute is a loose term for it. It was kind of a little threatening, but you know. Whoa, 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 whoa. Come on, guys, you got it. Oh, fuck. Really? I died from that? I'm the one who fucking dies? Yeah, I right clicked really well. Well, glad my team could win for us, man. Uh, thanks. Oh, can't even win yet. Yeah, my farm kind of do be popping off. Me, I'm the jungler. I want Jax to get the red so that he could... Oh.
Maybe it doesn't matter. Okay, it's less damage, so it's harder to kill them now, but why? Do that, man. KS's. It's really just not fair. I've been in and out of flat the flat two the whole day today. Hello. Damn. We did Ori just did that much damage and we did that little. Alright. I'm gonna go bathroom real quick. I'm sorry. It hurts me. I'll be back.
I'm so sorry. That took 10 billion years. But I just... It just kept hurting. I couldn't do anything about it. Willis, thank you so much for gifting five subbies. 403. I'm going to Calgary next week. Or this week, actually. This weekend. Uh, I'm so sorry. It's just bad. My stomach is just really not having it today. It feels terrible. I'll try to eat or something. I don't know. I don't know if I should. I want to, though. Ugh. Hey, drink some water. You know I said water? And then drink Coke, but I'm gonna get water. Me is sitting right in front of the food bowl, and I thought that there's no more food, but she's just chilling in front of there. I checked the thing. Oh, thanks, Ori. Thank you. GG's. Our team smurfed. Everyone smurfed. Good jobs all around. High fives all around. Good luck in your next game, too, if you're playing more. It was fun. Huh? Hmm. So what happens when your jungler and your support both want Shaco? Is it is that the time? Is Rise like the the wave right now or maybe more during worlds oh you ban shaco that's right well by default it looks like support wins here it looks like they get it first just by sheer pick order bye jack damn he did not give a fuck I guess he asked. Sure, they did ask. Wow, a non toxic game. Where people actually seem like they're civil. That's kind of crazy. No, actually, our game was like that last game. Yeah, the fairy skin. Um, it's actually pretty smooth. And Lady Spoon, thank you so much for the seven months. Welcome back. Thank you. Jin Kate, what do you mean? Oh, what the? They literally picked Jin Kate, huh? What's going on? Are they okay? GG's. Who'd you play? Or did you- were you in the game? Kate mid? Oh, like the lethality Kate. Oh, Rakan! Nice! Jeez, was fun. That's nice laning with ya. I always like... People saying hi after. Oh, fuck. <laughs> um hmm. so um <laughs> I hope no one notices. Hmm. Well uh at least I got one tree, right? Fuck! 
fuck? I was busy talking. Rift Osama? What the fuck? God damn it. I was talking and eating. Uh, I got some sushi for dinner. Delicious sushi. Penguin, thank you so much for three months. Welcome back. Thank you. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Okay, but what if it's. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. It could be worse. Yeah, you get people like me who forget to change their runes. You know what? I'm not gonna need it. They need the handicap, not me. Hmm. Welcome to Summoner's Rift. I'm trying to unwash myself. You know when people say they're washed? I'm trying to undo that. Dayton, <laughs> thanks for getting five subs. Thank you. If you guys got subbies today from the people, please thank them. Is she going lethality? Maybe she is because of that. Oh, she's going. Oh, I see. Yeah. Hmm. Jago left the box for her for leash and said, My job here is done. Is it? Is it really that OP? between these minions a new home we somehow hit two first wow ow He took his top side. Hmm. Eh. He missed on purpose or what? Hey. hey. You. We didn't need right ruins. Alright. 
I don't have enough for this shit, so... Mm. Oh, pink. I saw some people, like, talk about their stats on Lethality K. I don't know how good it is, though. Good. Please. I could have made it. Let it proc the box. Save the box. Alright, one plate. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. See? I knew this whole time. I'm an innovator. I'm an innovator. Hey, hey, your guy is getting chased. Stop staying here. Ow. <gasps> Thanks, Napalm. Willis, are you in school right now? <gasps> what the fuck? I'll do it. I have no ulti yet. Uh, kind of inted. Much health. Oh. All right. I thought nobody we were gonna go the whole stream without someone making that joke, but no, I knew it. An ally has been I knew it was too good to be true. It had to happen. Hmm. Me, I'm the joke. Ooh, and she's just too swift. No! I oh, tried to help, but. Wait, it have been funny.
whoa, 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 whoa. Ah, damn it. They saw us OP. That's all, does it? You know. Oh my god, arm there. Oh wow. What the fuck? I'm watching. Huh. I also used teal earlier, so. Hey, with that. Enemy double kill. Whoa. Damn, that cled is a little fed. Because I'm so close to item too. I'm not. I got that shit. Fuck. Gosh darn it. Holy shit! That was fucking got me, dude. Get the hair up my chitty chin chin. Oh my god. Fuck you. Oh, okay. Falcos got it. What the? Oh, this hurts me. That was god awful. Hmm. Yeah. I don't think we commit there, but I think we have ended up committing. Oh, okay, you got her. I got him. Shut down. <sighs> Doing okay. Just, you know, <clears throat> hanging in there. <laughs> no, it's fine. We'll do fine. What the fuck? Turret plating will soon fall. Holy shit. <gasps> nope. Nope. 
Why? Out of here. Nothing. We do not stay for those because we are very much likely to die there. Oh, see they try doing it. Honestly, yeah. Oh, oh my God, that headshot damage, bro. Yikes. Shut down. Enemy rampage. An enemy has been slain. Honestly, though, it's kind of nice that Velkaz got all the kills. Damage. And lethality, Kate. Guys, please. <laughs> the support. It's a fucking support lane. All the supports have the kills on the <laughs> bot. What are we doing here? What? What's the point of our existence? Nothing! We're just the baits. Bro, oh. your team has destroyed her. What the fuck that hit me? Shouldn't that have ulti? Why is this guy never ult? Okay, good night, Ari. Thanks for stopping by. Good night. Have uh, Sam. Goodbye, world. Oh. Just practicing last hitting. Yeah. Um. You wanna practice like uh. So what my friends would do is they would just log into a custom game and they would just practice farming. Like they would they would ha uh, practice having perfect farm 
for the first like three waves maybe or something or more one sec and then after that you kind of like also during laning phase uh you just practice kind of kind of want to focus a bit on the farm like don't neglect farm just to harass but you kind of learn the balance of harassing in between farming I see the Hecarim was fucking back there as much. Let's also focus on that. Thanks, ah. bro. Yeah, while trading. Because you can't really neglect it too much. It's all about like weaving in autos or spells in between farm. It's not very easy to do. Flash. No shot, dude. That is... What the fuck is that? Oh my god, please. How was I there? Not really sure what to do here. Um. <laughs> Dude, me and Jin both don't have kills. gonna kill this guy I don't wanna go weak or what girl I thank you for the 17 months welcome back thank you
up soon. Oh, I can do though, but... Uh, I honestly don't think we do much other than give. Because... Not soul. Also down a person. Unless I can get there on time. Oh, okay. Well, they didn't start exactly yet. They're just gonna be a bit scary. Okay. Oh, they already got it. Oh, yeah, that's the next one. Oh. Bussin. Like, that shit bussin? Have a bus in or other type of bus in? Your team has destroyed a turret. What the? This, uh. Ally K is really on here. Your turret has been destroyed. Look, look at that fucking. My HP, dude. I don't want to get hit by even one shit there. Camille needs to go bot. Oh, uh, alt out. You block it. Because it's kind of big if we kill this person here. Kind of huge. I think we just turn, try to turn and not fight. Oh, but we have to. Does he have TP? My. I think we turn. Jesus. 
Get him. Damn it. Oh. Uh, that was rough. Through. We're just a win lose win lose win lose gamer today. I didn't ex like I don't mind it so much because with the wins you know with the losses, uh more wins would be nice, but you know it is what it is. Negative three. Why is it so little? Did I win the last game? Yeah, I mean, that was also an issue, but it's fine. Can I do? Yeah, we just had to do the... Uh, we had to test it out. Yeah, no worries, bad anytime. Tommy just loves her little thingy. Little tree. Um. Really? Not true. We're on the R team? Not the opposite team? I didn't see. Change my runes now. <laughs> I'll fucking forget. Oh shit. Is the office okay, you say? What about DRX? They're both blue. And we should play the deft one in honor of worlds. Yeah? Hmm. Actually. Okay, okay whatever. Mm -hmm. I love the fried tofu, it's so good. The fried tofu has like this nice chewiness to the skin. Like the fried part is chewy and it tastes good. Oh no. If you need to sleep, the correct safe answer is always sleep. But you know? We're all degenerate, so... Is that what we always typically do? Are we responsible? I don't know what's going on here. Uh, 
I also want Faker to win one more time. Minions have spawned. Does Faker want to retire? Thanks, Storm. Have a good night. Be responsible. It's okay. Thanks for watching anyway. Yeah, they have, but you don't think I'll retire? Damn. That's what I would want. I mean, not want him to retire necessarily, but like for him to win once before retiring. No, Baker got exempt from military service, didn't he? Oh, really? Thought it was. That's so That's so triggering. I mostly only play rank. to push us in but uh, yep oh yeah he's here that uh, out of here dude whoa oh what the fuck yo chill guys what the fuck you griefers watching fresh or not fresh <laughs> fresh which is gonna come back yeah oh god
All I want is to push us in. how to rank up um i like watching videos on what i mean this is old me i have not done this in <laughs> for ever since but back then when i tried to climb i watched a lot of streams and uh videos on how people play the lane or the game and how they explain everything so try to watch the most recent i don't know up to date maybe laning things um, I think I mentioned before, like, Arrow has really good videos if he still makes them. Uh, learned how to play, like, champions in lane and stuff, and, like, throughout early, mid, late game. And also positioning and all that, like, you know, it's very interesting. Please just die. What the fuck? Does this guy not die? Dude, that Warwick is literally... What the fuck? He just doesn't die. I hit him the entire time. Oh my god, I guess I go for Yoni because like, fuck that shit. What the hell? That's absolutely wild. Like, what is that? Makes me want to throw up. Whoa, what the fuck? There's no flash. Okay. <laughs> okay. That's sad. <sighs> it hurts. this game it hurts my soul killing spree mm, at least top is winning they're all AD Hi, Vincenny. Thank ya. Thank you. It's not having fun.
Pinky though. Thank you for the prime. Oh. oh god, please. What the fuck? My three man bot is wild, bro. Bot side losing is a little rough right now. Mid bot. Oh, you got shut down. Nice, like, comeback. If it's not Yone, it's... Or it... It's never peaceful down here, man. I literally walk to lane and I die. Why? This perma bot, bro. Mm -hmm. What the fuck? Oh. Get him? Oh. Hmm. I don't know if camping is the move. If we can get kills, yeah, but I don't mind trying to play weak side, you know? Unless it's really just not better. Nice. <laughs> yeah, go fuming. Dude, honestly? Haha, <laughs> he's mad. <laughs> Fucking outscaled, bitch. I press my R button. Rampage. Oh my god, is it fucking Warwick? Straight up just caught up there. I was like... 10 billion kills. That, that was actually... They chain into... 
So hard. What the fuck? Shut down. Uh, just earlier. Not like they didn't try to tell me. Holy shit! Blood bear is massive, but. Oh my god, how does he not die? Oh. Fucking bloodbath, dude. Mid game strong? Yeah, are we? We're looking kind of weak right now. Jared, I don't want to walk up a Twitch. I think he could two shot me right now. Let me play around Twitch more. Oh my god, dude, they're so strong. Side gap. Oh, uh, but then there might be a fucking picture. I'm scared. There's Twitch. Hey. So. there. What the heck? Really? The thing is like the lethality Kate build takes away from what I like about Kate. I like autoing a lot more. I don't like being so like spell reliant or like... I don't know. My headshot would do a fuckload though I guess. It's kind of spooky. It also kind of sucks though, because if you're if you're um behind, then you can't go. You have to go. You you can go lethality, Kate. When oh my god, I should just got turret or some shit. No, everyone's gonna die. Well, 
ass up. Right now. Killing spree. God, I was caught. That's someone. Mm, fine. Are you looking to alt somewhere? Frozen. Okay, he needs to buy. Like, the concern is definitely- oh, fuck. Oh, wait. Oh, wait. Oh, wait. Oh, Twitch is dead! Oh, fuck. Okay, the other people are kind of fucking strong, though. Oh, fuck. Look how that should not stay. Shut down now, huh? Buddy. Uh not go top. Oh, like that skin. Side lane. Mm. What the fuck? Oh my god. Oh, he hurts. Ow. Oh. Ow. Oh. Somewhere here. Oh, he's there. Nice. Get him. As long as Twitch dies, like, way easier to kill everyone else. It's Yone. What's wrong with that? I'm just talking to you guys in like a... Mm. You guys just understand me. You get it. What's wrong with that, huh? Great. Understanding to me.
Azix does a fuckload. He's hella fed. so much farm And fodder, I guess. Oh, oh, fuck. They got the kite, this is dead. Warwick just alts me, man. Uh, I didn't even go in right away until I waited. But at least I can't do Baron, I guess. I think we keep stalling a bit. Mm. Of course, honestly. Yeah. Mm. Rat is pretty strong. Can't man, like, can't farm. Uh, I got a lot. <clears throat> Seconds up soon. My other, other yeah, Zed taking it. I'm fucking. I just need to fucking wait even longer. I just want to get fucking QSS. Fuck this shit. I don't even know if I'll live, but at this point, like, really, why? Someone... I guess someone to tank this Warwick art. Oh, that's not me. Maybe 
Maybe I just need I need space better too. Ooh, oh my god, this guy's just fucking good. I hate playing this role. Yeah, one tap by everyone, man. <sighs> if it's not. Warwick ulti, it's fucking... Thing. I don't know if G is good. They're gonna kill me once and it's just gonna be kind of useless. Like, it will help for one fight, like one crucial fight. Um, I just have fucking ragtag kind of items, but I think I. Try to live um, as long as possible. Just a Yone LP, man. One Yone LP. Oh, I don't think you just try to. Oh, okay. That's actually not bad. Use this thing. I don't know if it's. Ooh. Kinda rough though. so gross okay i played bad get that game too but it was just it felt so relentless and they're bought so much no the the game in general is just like if not warwick yone bought like 24 7 I want to die, man. Mm -mm. Mm, actually, yeah, I play Briar in, a, in an ARAM.
No, they're not bot, but they just saying like they were bot a lot. They're playing mid jungle. No. No, I agree. I think I just still needed more distance. No. It just felt tilting. I came bought so much. Yeah, I think buy it. I wish I was just better at Zaya. I'm just so bad at her. I mean, typically Warwick is fine because he like falls off or it's like, eh, like... First off, Mai didn't distance so well that game. Um... He also like just... I remember just going in like sort of halfway in a fight and he still had all like he just like saves his all and just waits for me so like look at it. I just gotta wait forever until he gets maybe more impatient and uses it but then I'm kind of not doing anything to help my team so then it feels bad. Mm. I'm also just trolling though. I am also kind of just trolling. Yeah. yeah. How do you have the mental capacity? I don't know. I kind of don't mind playing make it worth my time damn evelyn's just whoa dark cosmic gin Oh, purple, I know. Uh, we'll go now. I don't think. Double check. Oh, dark harvest. Ah. Uh, Gathering storm and clarity. Everything else is kind of the same. I want to go to coup. I go coup de gras here. Oh. Uh. Oh yeah, Keone. Did you know? Did you ask about the PO box thing? Is the OTB one not on anymore? Oh, it's still open. Oh, wow. Okay. I did not know that. All right, it's still open. No, no worries at all. I'm glad because I was worried that if anyone, for whatever reason. That's what I thought, but I guess the peel box is still there in case people still happen to send things there. But I don't think there's just, there's just no, um, there's probably just no more videos. Maybe that's why I was confused. The only Colossus! Thank you so much for the 10 subbies! Thank you! If you guys got subs, please thank them. Any interest in Worlds 2023? I do want to go. I'll go if there's people to go with, maybe. I want to go. Thanks! Thank you! No, you're not late. I don't think I was late. I was the one who didn't stream on my birthday, so... I appreciate, guys.
Very nice to even, like, you know, belated gifted subbies. That's so nice. Thanks. It already even, it already passed. Thirty seconds until minions spawn. Yeah, I always just like picking Jin to Kate too. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Da, 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 da. Da, 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 da. Minions have spawned. Oh, that's awesome! Can't wait to see you guys there. I'm so excited. Oh, I didn't see that it was Kmark, but ooh, maybe I should have got buns. That's fine. Is it Lethality Jin? Uh, not late anyway. But then you go Dark Harvest, you don't go... Uh... Fleet. And I went Fleet. Okay. Yeah, but you're not gonna... Play. Damn, they really burned that. Honestly, Jin would be the one that I would like to try Lethal on because he doesn't really... You don't really do a typical attack speed build on him, like, a lot in terms of that. Or I mean, not that you don't, but he seems like more... Oh, what the fuck? Yeah, I don't think I will. Yeah. Ooh. Did they still get your name spelled at Starbucks? Or are you still in Vancouver? I was never in Vancouver. Like, I haven't been to Vancouver in 10 billion years, but yes, they still smell my name wrong at Starbucks all the time. But, is it just me? I feel like recently they started spelling it right more often, at least. 
Retsuka, thank you so much for the Prime. Thank you. I hope you won your games. If you, if you played anymore after that. I've gotten one or two Akalis in my game, but it's not the same. Not the same. Stop. Stop. Tired of you. Please. He's there at the end. <sighs> An enemy has been slain. An ally has been slain. An enemy has been slain. Damn it. I died though. But isn't the point of Starbucks to sell them, sell them wrong? Yeah. Uh, Ed Sheeran played uh, or worked at Starbucks. The one in Seattle. He's been doing this thing where on TikTok you see him like working at other things. Oh my god. Or other shops he's just like an employee somewhere or like he's in a random box where if people press this gold button then he comes out and sings i still get fucking... Toxic Yoshi 7. Your Starbucks name is Carlos? Maybe I need, but I kind of like the random, like not knowing if they're going to spell my name right. It kind of gives me a dopamine rush. For the day, it kind of like sets the tone. If they remember, oh my god, best day ever. If they don't, I already know what type of day it's going to be. Really? Dude, everyone in the Philippines knew my name. And then it's because they said it's actually a common thing here, or a name there, or more common. Hey, stop hitting me. Hey, hey you. I can just see someone tapping me from the... Just, just... 
Knock it on my back, hey. You knock that out. Knock it off. Knock it off. Why did I say knock it out? That's not how it goes. Yo, I got problems, man. Hell yeah! I kind of a. S mm. Yeah, but my farm is bad. I mean, honestly, it's on par with my team, but it's not the best farm. I missed a lot of farm. Yeah, follow me. Yeah. Ooh, oh my god. Ah. Killing spree. Nice. Morg shield. I'm overstaying for sure. Shit. You're right. I'm irresponsible. Heck yeah. I think if I just wait a bit, then it's better. A lot of times I'm just hella impatient. <laughs> I just fucking go. Just fire all my shots at once. I'm like, ah, oh, I missed them all. Okay, lay off! Enough. Thought you guys were just having a little skirmish. I didn't know it was like that. Hey. Hey. Oh, fuck. Uh oh. Oh, she flashed. Wow, both flashed. Those. Aram, like, he's one of the most fun Aram champs because I don't know, he's very prone to like hitting his spells, just he's really strong. Aram. Oh. Hmm. 
You know what? I might just take this. I need the extra gold. Your team has destroyed So speedy. Fast. Uh, I don't need this one pot. I'm a team player. If you guys don't buy pink wards for your team. An ally has been slain. An enemy disappointed. has been slain. I mauled at the people who don't help ward and buy pinks for the team. No matter what role you are. You? If I catch you not buying pinks. Alright, any of you guys. Lord God, don't make me do it. Better watch yourself at night. Shut your blinds. Coming for you. Don't say they're too expensive. You fucking save lives. You know what's more expensive? Your life! blue yeah I don't get it, man. I just don't get it. Uh -huh. Why? I blocked every. I only meant to block one thing, okay? Yeah, I wasn't trying to block both those things. trying to be a hero to that degree where I died too! I was trying to be like half a hero. Not die a hero, I wanted to live a hero. Bro. No, I haven't tried Lethality Kate yet. I wanna go, but I don't know if I... Uh, I'll go if there's people going but if it's if i i do not want to do korea um but not that many people or maybe no uh, a little bit of people is fine as long as there's some maybe uh i don't know oh I would also... Fast. Oh, zoom, zoom here. I kinda just wanna win, guys. I'm tired of us just walking around. What do we Oh, 
off A B. That's true. It sounds kind of crazy if you could build lethality in both Jin, Kate, and Isa. Like what? I mean, I think he could play, honestly, as a team cap, but, um, in solo queue, sometimes whether or not a champion, how good they are typically, is not, like, the most important. There's, like, one tricks all the time that play champions, even when their champion isn't in meta, but they make it work. Yeah, I did almost, I did pretty much nothing that game. Just hung out with my team. Da, 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 da. Actually, okay, sorry. I want a small break. I want just like one one break of just like watching a video or something because I played like a billion games in a row. So I'm gonna I'm gonna make an executive decision and say let's watch like a time like one or two videos of React and then we'll go back. Let's see. React. I'm so behind in OTB and friends, but I'll slowly get there. Using a bunch of random, really fast, abrupt hand symbols. I okay, one sec, sorry. Command you to pop. Okay, for a second, I thought that was mine because I queued the YouTube whole time. Video. Yeah, I'm the whole cage. Wow! And they made it! Oh, this cave is... There's a lot of blood in this cave. Wait. A giant boulder? What is this? Indiana Jones? Oh! <laughs> is that why they call okay, it? Actually, this oh, door is supposed cave. to be open. No, we, we can open it with Nasty the... Nasty Bader! Thank no, you so much for the 22 months. Time. Welcome back. Thank you. Oh, high five, five. Let me high five you real quick, just for fun, Saikuno. Well, we're not, we're not cheaters. I mean, like, no, we're not, this would be but, like, just high cheating five here. Me, you know, like high five me. Like, like I just wanna. Just well, if we did this people. and you like pushed E up on, yeah. like that would be cheating, and you'd glitch through the door. Yeah, you. But you wouldn't would want to do that. Really, you wouldn't want to do that, <laughs> Saikuno. What is that? Saikuno, you don't want to do that, Saikuno. La Fadi, La Fadi. Oh get, man, that's get. oh high five damn it. Back. Okay, okay, yeah, yeah, I got it. High five, high five. You guys huh. have to. Oh. Oh. Are you out? You're back. <laughs> no. Wait, what? It's not a you issue, it's me. I know it's a you issue. There's nothing. I'm perfect. Damn, this guy's hot. Hey. Oh, <laughs> so sad. Wow. He just. He really was just like, peace. I'm out. <laughs> so oh, no. Come back. That is, Listen, um. Man. 
I ride my own broomstick now. You can actually so IRL so go someone that well. <laughs> like, I don't know if that was intentional, but like... That timing was fuck. crazy. <laughs> you do what the Hi everyone, my name is Hannah and I play Sentinel for DSG. Woohoo! Go Hannah! Controller and oh, what she brings to the team Hannah is, is cute. she has that young talent and a really fresh vision of the game. Hi, my name is Disguise Toast and I am the CEO of <clears throat> uh, disguise. No, I'm just kidding. Hi, I'm Misu, and I play controller for DSG. I think <laughs> I bring a level of energy to the team. You know, it'd be fun if I listed all of my friends' red flags. Uh, I feel like I'm close to everyone to list their red flags. Uh, Lily's red flag. Um, Fucking head okay, embarrassment. This is fine because I understand here, but sometimes you can send Lily like an essay and she'll just respond with like five emotes. And people don't understand that every single one of these emotes have a lot of meaning, but people don't know that. People are just so it just looks like five random emotes. I definitely Maybe have the flag. five random emotes. <laughs> I think that's why her and Michael are good because I feel like Michael like prefers that. <clears throat> Yeah, she plays Pictionary. It almost makes too much sense stickers. now. Yes. Oh, Ooh. Hey. Yo, yo, yo. Those are headsets, sir. <laughs> right on time. Yo, I made it for the best part. Sorry, I was stuck outside. The, the guy out there was like, do you have a ticket? Oh, I was yeah, like, you need the code, right? I, didn't, I never got a ticket. Oh. And I was like, your name was on the list. It is, but they, they're like, I need a ticket. Like, they're like, the, ticket only. And I, uh, okay. I was just like, oh, sh my bad. I didn't want to do the, do you know who I am? Because that's weird. <laughs> so I was like, okay, well. I was yeah, but in, in this context, is, it kind of makes well, sense. You're at LCS. It's like, do you know who I am? I'm Scara. That sounds wild out of context. You know what I mean? <laughs> Anyone want to try these nuts? My friends don't have many red flags. Oh, well, let me think. Jamie's red flag, sometimes you'll buy something for the kitchen, right? Aesthetic. It's, and you think you think you bought her something really good, and then she'll look at it and she'll go, Why did you buy red? It doesn't match the fridge. And you're like, I didn't... I didn't know. And you're like, well, the fridge is white, and all our kitchen utensils, like, appliances are white. This is so I'm true. not sure why you picked her. <laughs> are we, are we like, okay, oh, see, that's so funny. Yeah, friends. we could talk about. Juicy. Yeah, we could talk yeah. shit about our friends. Uh, yeah, let's talk shit. My I, biggest yeah, red Michael flag? Has no red flags. I'm not oh, self-aware enough. My red flag is that he might like just die one day, like <laughs> doing something really dangerous. <laughs> like, yeah. like I no, I would be so scared. Like he's like dealing with knives and like. <laughs> Like his own like engines and stuff like that. I'm like, oh my god, it's so no. scary. No, you're right. It's yeah, not the Starbucks red flag. addiction. He does dangerous things. Yeah, He's I good. feel like I actually think the girls in our group have more red flags than the guys. Oh, spicy. <laughs> But okay, it doesn't matter because okay. everyone's so hot. Okay, that doesn't <laughs> what count. The fuck? Oh, what the... do you mean by that? It's just gonna be me and Abe. He literally came That's into my room shirtless with probably Shonda accurate and take pushups. Dude, it's so funny. I read the house chat and it's just Abe going like, Yo, wanna do push-ups? Yo, Dude, anybody wanna do push-ups? I'm <laughs> not even kidding. He is so, so strong right now for his, like, he is it's... freakishly strong. He is Scarra? motivated. Scar doesn't have a red flag. Scar's red flag is he's too nice. <laughs> Arya's red flag. She's never on time. Is Stream this 20 hours straight. Here? You're not gonna get your good morning, good night message. Actually, That's Janet true. might be like the most green flag. Like Janet's nice. Janet is uh, like, I don't think she has any red flags. So mean. You know the girl in that anime where, who like doesn't know that the guy likes her and like refuses to admit it or like see ah. it. That's literally Celine. Jamie's red flag, yeah, aesthetics. Sometimes she yells at me because the emotes I'm sending her are, are so not cute. Ugly. Like she'll They're say like so my emotes are ugly. ugly. Dude, guys, look at her emotes. They're so freaking ugly. And you see this? Cause... She always uses okay, this Okay, yeah, one, that one's pretty so ugly. ugly. Wait, what foot one? There's no foot. That's valid, oh, honestly. Oh, she's scratching that's, her tummy. That's a freaking yeah. ugly oh, gosh, one. Oh my her foot. Can you do Pokey's red flag so you can be on LSF? Pokey's red flag is that she could buy everything you own 
She could buy you. She could like own you. But is, sorry, is that really a red flag though? I guess like, it's not a red flag. Yeah, I'm just thinking. Me, I was like, dude. I don't, I don't think that's a red that's flag. I'd love for her to buy me. Yeah, what the fuck? <laughs> Path is interrupted. You can't jump from here. Found these boots that gives me feather fall. Feather fall? Oh, that's awesome. Oh, wait, wait, wait. I haven't yet. More. Stay right there. Mm. Oh, me too, me too, me too. Hey, you didn't take damage. All right. <laughs> Get to the edge. What? Um, <laughs> All right, your turn, Frank. What? Are they? Wait, if I just stand here, I won't die. Wee! Oh. Oh, Wee! Oh. <laughs> A little heavy. I died. <laughs> Wait, how oh, did you he... went around when we cast the feather fall. You didn't oh. cast feather fall. Oh. Who's Lee's red flag? She doesn't respond. <laughs> That's it. This is true. So she when does I get a not response, respond. From, mm -hmm. when I get a response from Leslie, it's like, oh my god, he Dude, replied like, to me. <laughs> like, I, like when Leslie responds to me, I know I have her attention span for the next two point five seconds, so I respond immediately. That's actually so accurate. <laughs> and I'll still <laughs> miss her. Yeah, Leslie's red flag is that she doesn't respond, and then when she does respond, it like melts your heart, and then you wait for the next response, and then she doesn't respond. <laughs> I feel like Leslie's low key like a heartbreaker. Like she could be, but yeah. she's not. But I'm no, telling she's you, for like, sure I feel like Leslie back in the day, definitely a heartbreaker. Yeah. She's also like does what she wants, you know, like whatever it feels good to her. I think if anything, people just don't try because they don't even think there's a chance. Is how it goes. Like they think there's like fine, zero fine. percent chance. Do. Uh, what's the next one? What? Is, uh, oh, there's my thing. Do I want to watch one more? Or am I calmed down enough from League of Legends? All right, I'll watch one more. I don't know if this is in order. Today we'll be exploring anime impulse. This is my new super model. Oh, this was hey, sick. To make it. Yeah. Hello? Okay. Yeah. Yeah. There was a there was a slight should... flaw though. Was that like you couldn't hear him from yeah. this? That's it. It's very quiet. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh. I broke my glasses. Yeah, that's within like the first two seconds on, into the stream. Okay, that place was kind of lit though. There was like a really nice um, artist alley thingy. And they had both artist alley for the anime convention yes, and for the K-pop convention. Very hyper. It's anime impulse. But it was anime impulse combined with like a sneaker convention and a K-pop convention all at the same time. Of being the it was like a three combo. <laughs> oh, this was so cute. I just went and danced with everyone. Everyone's dancing with them too. This was wholesome as heck. Oh my god! Wait, this is so good. Literally impossible for mm -hmm. someone to snipe us right now. No! Wait, Pokey. No! Pokey. Okay, this oh, is it's uh, yeah. Oh, God. That was rank, huh? I just got a text from John's dad, and it's a group chat of me, John, and John's dad, and he referred to us as John D. Wanted okay, to share the reply? corn what's crop pick the farmers grew with green beans. John that man is a treasure. I know. I know. Treasure. There's so many emojis that, in this text. That's actually so cute how he combined their <laughs> names. If I let go of space, what happens? Like, oh can't. god! Oh god! Guys, no. it's so clear. No. It's so clear up here. Or I mean mods. <gasps> the glowstone oh, no, 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 is so no, 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 pretty. No, no, no. It makes. It... Oh, this is not good. Oh, this is not good. Oh, this is not good. Oh, is not good. He's on. He's on. What is? Oh, what that's the. the... What? Oh. Then there's a second thing. Is Abe alive? Riding a sand 
Dude, I'm so... I'm so lost? Where am I? <laughs> Guys, where are we? Falling and screaming. Oh it's a creeper. Get inside. Get inside. Okay. I'm gonna oh, put I down. I saw this on oh, TikTok. This is yours. Here, I put oak planks inside your chest. <gasps> and I was Janet. not surprised. <laughs> Janet, I'm so sorry. I just. <laughs> I, I just like that couldn't be more accurate. I live. Ah! Oh god, I've already oh master ball. This is the master ball one. Oh oh it's god. Purple. Oh god, what is Wait, it? Wait, is it Gengar? What is it? No way, no way, it's Gengar. Wait, that looks fucking it's sick. Gengar, what? Oh what? God. Shiny oh my god. so sick. Wait, can, I, can I uh? I got a wait, master wait. ball. Oh my god, Master Ball Gengar! Uh, I, I know, I, I need to keep have. moving my cam. You can have it. Guys, I guys, know. guys, do you Dude. guys know how much this is? This is worth like over $200 ungraded. No, they're this sick. Is what it kind of looked like. I also like. didn't know day that one, the Japanese ones were better, better quality and more expensive days. until they told um, me the other day. Dude, they were just in the now. kitchen talking about Except, uh, Pokemon for like. Too long. Drum Almost roll, for like a good 30 minutes plus. I waited plus. six months for this fruit to come in. And then we well, saw not gonna, like, not the it, shiny you know folder I mean? of the cards. <laughs> Ew, what is that? So my plan is I'm going to eat the bottom part. I don't know what happened here. What is that? that? So Ew. ours used to look like that. It looked gorgeous. All right. Let's test this puppy out. All right, plan of action. Wait, I don't get it. Are you supposed weird. to eat? Because, oh, it has a spot. That's the spot. It looks like a cock. What are you, a fucking dragon? What are you? Is that I do like smell the strawberry. good to eat? Like poison? No, it smells like strawberry. The color in the picture is very different than that. That looks like it went bad. After taking that first bite, the streamer Masayoshi never went live again. <laughs> it tastes like pineapple, coconut. I taste a strawberry now. And <laughs> so right, it decomposed. <laughs> he looked at me, I was like, I was like, oh, That's soju, funny. Man. Good shit. And then I, I went to go make a reservation for a Korean barbecue. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was so good. Hey. <laughs> Shut up, what's Brody Dude, kissing you okay, okay, on okay, fire? Okay, okay. That was fire. Wait, Brody, I thought that you was fire. <laughs> hmm. I thought that was John. <laughs> Hello. Ah! Well, I'm 26. I'm having a quarter life crisis. I'm actually having a quarter life or a. Uh, that yeah. timing. Wait. Yeah. yeah. No, quarter. it's real. Yeah. It no, it's, real. it's so it's real. real. I literally, yeah. I, I told Sean today in the car, I was like, I'm having a quarter life crisis. I'm like extremely ordinary. I'm bored of myself. I'm sad. I don't know what to do. I was like, I think I'm going to get a motorcycle. And he was like, hey, you know what? I'm going to just say this. Do what you want. But I think riding a motorcycle is a lot harder than riding a skateboard. Because <laughs> <laughs> the typical <laughs> shit is dying your hair or getting a tattoo. But I already do that. So now. What? I'm oh shaving my, my head. That's oh, a I good look, line. Be so real with you right now. Let's shave our heads. Hey guys, Myung brought me coffee. But what's more is now she's going to see the kelp farm. I'll tell oh no, no! God, I just knocked. Uh, hold on, hold on. I proceeded to immediately spill all of the coffee two seconds after putting it on my table. Guys, I'm going to clean up this coffee, but by some miracle, uh, she got. Apparently two of them. I don't know if she expected this, but <sighs> Okay, you really had to add the fucking toilet flushing sound effect you bastards. I'm not even next to the fucking toilet <laughs> Are you shitting? What? <laughs> I don't know what I did. I'm gonna be honest. What did I do? I'm so sorry. Did I did I say something? I just need to know who do I need to talk to? Who do I need to pay off? What have I done 
to deserve this. I don't see anyone else getting these types of edits, bro. Oh, really? Who's responsible for this, you son of a bitch? <laughs> you know, I would just say that all of us had had our extreme fair share you of certain dick. edits. <laughs> if you understand by the name of Stevo, some worse Bye, than others, yeah. Yeah, some much worse than others. All right. Now I don't know if I want to go back to League. <laughs> I was like, I'm going to take a break because so many League games in a row. And then now that I'm out, I'm like, I don't know if I want to go back. I have seen the Slander video. It was disgusting. I did want to play TFT. It's true. It's true. But do we all want to date? I was about to say, but do we all want to date TFT? My brain is missing so many brain cells. It's crazy. <laughs> so crazy. How does it end up being like this? What did I do to lose so many brain cells and focus for my brain? Is it the, is it aging? No, but can I be friends with benefits of TFT? Huh. I, I don't know what to do. Am I having a crisis right now? Like a mini crisis? Am I? The one with... How many issues do I have? Is it league brain? It feels like it's kind of lagging or that it is on standby. Your favorite legend is pretty good in the meta right away right now, by the way. Really? TF? Pandora's? I have actual brain fog somehow. Some I, I got it again or something. I don't know. You want me to get a motorcycle when I had bare- I don't even know how to ride a bike yet. I have yet to even ride a bike. Alright, you know what? At my age? If I never learned to ride a bike before, it's the same thing at any age. I just don't know how to ride a bike. Does it sound like it? Can I play piano or violin? Oh, I could do neither. That's... That's... Uh, ask me more things that I... Can't do because I'm so not talented! Um... I can... What can I do? If you are my employer and I want to get a job with you, oh, um, I'm a really good, uh, listener and I can make some side dish things or some food a little bit, you know, um, I can be a great like bottom fragger. Like if you need a bottom fragger person, like I would probably be the best one there is you can find out there oh and i learned how to make the starbucks vanilla sweet cream that's kind of a plus
So I support, I support what? Salmon miso soup. Yes, salmon miso soup is very easy to make. All right. No, it's not a 24 hour stream. Yes, psycho. Suica game on, Ninten on Nintendo. No, what is that? I want to play the new Mortal Kombat, but I can't find it on Steam. Okay, Mortal Kombat 11. How do I find that? I just see Mortal Kombat Legacy and Mortal Kombat 2 or Legacy 2. There's a melon game that people suck at. I, I did search Mortal Kombat and I definitely suck and guess to see if I spelt it right just now. Wait, what are the new changes to the world's format? Do not play Suica. Oh my god. Weezer, you're the best. Sick. Alright. I'm gonna play Mortal Kombat 11. Not today, but I definitely want to play one... Uh, one of these days. 11 came out in 2019? Yeah. And then people were saying that there's like, uh... No, not, not, uh, it's not Legacy. All right, hold on. You know what? I'm going to play some music. I don't know why I said I was going to when I already did. I'm going to go pee, actually. I'm going to go pee. I'm going to come back and we're going to queue up another league game. I decided. All right. I do want to play a Kali, but I would have to go on my other account. Because my top lane is very bad. All right, BRB, I'm going to It's been decided. Who's winning worlds this year? LPL or LCK? LCK. It's either fake or deft.
I forgot I had a drink. Oh my god, I'm so excited. Dude, I've been rejuvenated. I could go another 10 more hours. No, I'm just kidding. No, it's not the legacy one, um, but you sent the right one, Wazer. You sent the right one. I got a mango green tea with lychee jelly. It sounds delicious. Oh my god, that's so fucking good. I just love drinks. Like, I like drinks so much more than food sometimes. I would... Uh, okay, so I remember back then when I would try a diet, I would skimp out on, like, meals. I would eat less meals. Um, like, I would eat less of my dinner or whatever so that I could drink more of, like, a uh, boba or something else. Yeah, I know. It's kind of weird, like, dieting. Hmm. It was more like a willingly, like a willing water diet, but not, it's not water. It's other things. Aurelia or Cassiopeia? Are you playing top or mid? The mustard is from an unboxing. Oh, I'm not back here. Mid? Uh, Cass. Well, also depends who you're playing against. Do you know who you're playing against yet? Exactly. Thank you, Murray. It is. I'm reallocating the calories and I'm trying to find a way where I can maximize enjoyment. So if I like drinks more, then I should save my calories for that and eat less food. Okay, we're gonna try this again. We're gonna try this Kate Zera thing again and hopefully not fucking get diffed. Out here. Versing Anivia. Oh. Hmm. Yeah, I think so. It's hard because I also don't play mid, so I don't know the matchups as well. Yeah, we're back in league. I don't know, man. It's kind of like a it's kind of a vibe right now. I think league is the way. I'm fine. Wait, I used to spam league solo queue like hours a day. Like, okay, like I need to work more than the average person to do anything in terms of like ranking or whatever. So like. Back then when I was grinding ranked, uh, like what it would take, say it would take like the average person, maybe like, oh, 200 games to like get masters. I had to grind like a billion. So my endurance for solo queue is really high. For TFT instead? I spam TFT for like 10 billion years a day. I'm back on the league ground because of worlds too. We gotta know the meta and stuff. Yvonne, I don't know if I ever told you, but while I was watching your stream in season 9, I got plot for the first time with Kate. Really? Are you serious? Wait, that's fucking awesome. Ruler is the meta? Ash. Bad ruler Ash. That's fucking sick. I know you're not lying because I think season 8 and 9 were the only two... Uh... Um... Seasons that I grinded rank. A lot more. I think it was season 8 and 9. I know it's season 9 for sure. I just don't remember if the other one was season 8 or if it was season 10, but I think it was season 8. That's wild. I'm honored. There's a, there's a troll here. 
I watched you play CFT and I think that got worse at Sorx. I'm not lying either. See this guy making excuses for being bad at a game and pinning it on me? Disgusting. I only accept the comments of people getting better because of me, not that they got worse because of me. That's impossible. Completely impossible. Absolutely no freaking way that could happen. <laughs> okay, how, how, how did you get worse at Sork? Tell me. Did you see what I did? What did I do? Dude, mustard's all good. I think, uh, I think your taste buds are not um refined enough to appreciate it. Sounds like a you problem. This is just so troll, I can't. Okay, explain to me why I have both m two of us, like Miserath, okay? Miserath. How the heck did we hit level two afterwards? Like, and if I've been hitting minions almost the whole time. Um, that's a me problem. I hit it the whole time. Yes, I, I think I did. My short-term memory. Maybe I didn't. <gasps> hey, I tired of you. Fuck you. Oh, fuck you, ghost. Why? What the hell? All calculated. <laughs> guys, that guy is so bad. Dude, there's no way he's like, that's how I die? I'm never gonna push this in, man. Ten years later, I will still be here. No worries, man. Anytime now, I'll be able to go back and buy. Chill day title, but playing League. Hey. The two cannot coexist. Okay, maybe not. No so flash. Okay, this is going better than before. Eh <laughs>
Ooh, thanks. Yeah, I like it too. It was a great character. Whoa. into that. Oh, what the fuck? Um, oh my god, please. Wow, I'm surprised I did not die there. What the fuck? He just like watched. He just walked through the. Huh? <laughs> just walk through a turret? Where did he come from? Yeah, the experience. My league face, my like focus and kind of like... Skill shots, man. Rip my soul. Oh, true. Maybe that's why my eyes get dry. Yeah, I've thought of that. It makes a lot of sense now. Blocking each other. Oh my god, I got solo turret goals for that? Fuck yeah. Love it here, man. This is great. Whoa. That is really. frames drop while I did that. Bad. It was all choppy. Hmm. I'm same, I think. The fuck? What the? Plot two, you know. Also, might be down to try ranking like next season. Oh fuck! Oh, that's fine. 
Okay, Zareth, like, did you have to one-shot my whole... Bro! What the fuck? Is he proud of it? Swear to God. You want to carry? Yeah. You want to? Yeah, <laughs> fucking pulls. Oh my god. I know. Fucking block that shit. Oh! Yeah. Nice, he hit the last ulti. I thought he didn't have another charge. Two or something. I'm good to play two. An ally has been slain. I'm in. Mm. Awesome. mid or top. Hi, Maddie. The counting skills are lost too. Are they? What the fuck happened? What'd I do? What'd I say? Oh my god, that's Eric That's Eric's shit his pants. That was good. Oh! Everyone get the fuck out! Oh, just me, I guess. Oh, the Zareth one? No, it's because... Dude. Oh, not even close. That's so worth. Um, yeah, the Zareth ulti, because you get. I fucking die like that. I play Max. But Zareth ulti, you get more the more you level it. I think. Those are from like three charges to like four, whatever the fuck. That's why I didn't know if he had three charges. He fired three. Yeah, that's what I thought. Fuck you.
Frack this fucking fiddle six, man. <laughs> Somebody calls an FFO. Why? You're one in five. You don't have rights to FF. Anyone who is getting carried by the people who are like, if the, if, for example, okay, rights to forfeiting, okay? Kha'Zix has a right to FF, all right? Because he's like, dude, fuck this shit. I don't want to carry your asses. Like, you guys are inting. But if you're the dirty inter, okay? You have no rights to be like, dude, fuck this. Game sucks, like, blah, blah. No, that's just not how it works. You suck it up. If the people who are... Who are wanting to play out the game, who are doing well, want to play, you play it. Shit. I should really put my traps down for this. No! I don't want to die! The Q range is just so far for... I fucking just... Oh, we're all so bad. Um, you, I wanted that cannon. You... It's almost more understandable if you can hit your spells or if you're good for you to take the farm. But if you miss, like, 60% of your spells, like... Or that, or more, like, why? Oh Top and mid really just their mentals are gone. Like, I've had enough. Now, but Ezreal's not even the problem here. He calls it, and the Triss is just like, nah. Dude, like, you're so triggering.
Don't make me go bot to farm because you keep taking my farm. Like. I'm soft inting this game because of this. There, if that's the case. Literally making me a soft inter. For the 20 subs thank you whoa all preemptive ults here lauren thank you Subbies. If you guys got subbies, please thank them. Thanks, Lawrence. Dude, I honestly did not. Like, I didn't, I didn't even, like, think... To, I guess, like, my birthday's... My birthday's passed, but it's been two days. But everyone's been so nice still. Thank you. I appreciate it. Who would have thought? I could try. I don't know if I can, but I'll try. Me and Balls are gonna try to play some more tomorrow. And I, I still want to play because then I could just like kind of... Warm up again. Oh my god. Got it. Objective bounty too, let's fucking go. What's pork bell? Thank you, Crown. Yeah. Um, so I should try to get unwashed if that's possible. We don't want to be washed fruit, we want to be unwashed fruit. Holy shit! Fuck. I'm from that side, dude. Oh, wait, I thought I said that he DC'd. God. Positioning is crazy. actually insane. What? Mm -hmm. Dude, fuck your shit. This Zareth makes me want to end. More than I already am. Do 
He's trying typing what is in his fridge. Fucking troll. This fiddle is so fed, dude. We never track the fiddle, man. miracle that I still have some farm despite fighting through people for farm. I don't mind Zara support, I just don't like this guy. Losing it. My, my mental slowly withering away. Plank is fucking strong. Literally just
No, I haven't tried first try strike cake yet. Not the lethality one. Oh my god, we only lost three LP. Fuck yeah. Yeah, he is petty. Hmm? What do you mean? There's good loss. I take those. It's like going 8th at 5 LP. It is. Except for it feels worse when you go 8th in TFD because you lose like a billion versus in league you kind of lose less yeah i only did i didn't i didn't have a lot it's because i had like i, I yeah i went up the tier Rue. You guys don't need care about me, man. Pick order for me? Nah. Don't matter. Ben. Ben. That's how I feel. I feel like TFC, when you get like negative 30 plus LP, it feels so much worse. Versus League, like when you lose like a normal game, it's maybe 15 or something. Oh, <laughs> sorry, Nate. The baits ya. Ooh, a collie. Oh my god, a Teemo top. Love that. I say Teemo's pretty fun to play. You feel like kind of like a little shit disturber. You W and you're like weaving through things. Just throw darts at people and then you back up and then you back up and you wiggle back up And sometimes you toss a shroom. Sometimes you toss a shroom in it. So it bounces to twice Take that bitch. Oh You fucking pick Zaya and you ban Kaisa you bitch I want to play fucking Kaisa Damn you. No, be not because of decisions. True. There is some RNG involved. But there are the, like, the really good... The thing about TFT, though, is, like... You can only blame RNG to, like, a degree. Because there are people who, like, consistently get first and, ever, like, or who are really fucking good. Their decision making or how they set up the best chances of them getting something or whatever it is is just like next level. The the unlucky or sad parts though feel more like the roll downs sometimes, especially usually if no one else is, has your units and then you roll down, you're like, why the fuck did I not get any of them even? Like that's the sad one. Um, but usually when I roll down and I find out later that other people had my units and I'm just like fuck I just should have like how do I play around it so that I do or I get them before them or like all this kind of stuff I don't know man yeah I think that's like the worst like RNG type of feeling but otherwise I think people who are really good have there's like a way that they Kind of end up winning or have like an ideal setup for themselves. You are matching skins bot. Me and Seraphine both have the fairy court one. But like maintaining a win or loss streak. Oh, yeah. 
No, trust me. Like, okay, if I ever blame RNG most of the time for TFT, it's more of a meme because I, because there's a reason why some people are just so good, or like they win most of their games or like all the stuff. Blah blah. blah. They just play well. They have more knowledge of the game. They good augments, whatever for the team they're going with. They can pivot well. So many things. It's like any game. Like the small differences that people are good at will make the difference. Um. Minions have spawned. Hmm. Through. I'll see if I can work. Oh, I shouldn't say that. Our dog is awesome. He says, good leash. Okay, sir, would you like us to tank for you? Like... Oh, ow! How much time? Tank to hit, too. Seraphine, please hit the wave. Driving crazy, man. Why I have to give people a pep talk beforehand? Please help hit the wave so we can hit too sometimes, you psychos. Does heal. What the fuck? Oh shit. Oh, no, I, the turret. Oh my god, I ran back because of the pathing at the turret. Ugh, I should. If I kept running, I was fine. Damn it, I griefed. Lost me. Oh, I grief so hard. Has been slain. Seraphine? Dude! It's just like, are you serious? <laughs> you flash into me with a stare, bro. Why?
Jack sounds like a nice guy, but in less messages. That's funny. I'm a fucking great ass bait, dude. <laughs> I have two horses. I know. I know. Trust me. I think of that all the time when I'm playing these games. I just don't say it sometimes. My triggers as an AD. In case someone wants to be... I think playing AD helps you understand how to be a better support and vice versa. Like when you play support, you understand like what you want your ADs to do and stuff. Um, or if you like. One is paying attention to when to your ADCSing and making sure you don't mess up the farm when they are farming. Um, also, like, it's not focusing so much on poke where you again mess up the farm or put yourself in danger. Like, kind of have to always be looking out to where jungler is and stuff too and ward. If I don't ward, you to tell me to ward too, that's my fault. I should also know to ward. And not spamming spells all the time so that your mana is you're just out of mana. A lot of things is like, if you have a CC too or something that like gives you pressure in lane and you just spam it and you use it, like it, you lose so much. It's like a blitz who just walks up and he doesn't pull has so much more threat than like if he pulled and he missed and then of course you're gonna have to pull but it's just gotta be like when you like, you'll know that you should know the times for that not spammy spam Dude, yes, the mana issues are the triggering ones. Like, you could be anyone. You'd be like Sona, and you just like spam your. And you know, like, how much your spells cost. Like, if they cost a lot, and you're just spamming them, and then we can't do anything in lane because they can see that you have no mana. It's like. Really fucking annoying. Oh, we should got him. Holy oh, shit, they don't do it. I was gonna ult from. We got him. Oh fuck. What the fuck? Hey. Out of here.
and I can go mid. Okay, should I push that in? Hmm. I think we're fine. Wait, we're like super ahead bot. And like... Hmm. An enemy has been slain. Like, Teemo is farming well. Yeah, do that. Oh, and if you don't buy pinks, that's all annoying too. Wait, when they don't buy it. Oh yeah, that can help. I think she's fine too, but you know, people like get behind a bit and then they just baby rage a little, or not baby rage, but they just like feel like, oh, like I'm I'm losing, so it's bad. I mean, yeah, but you just like still do your part as like a teammate, and it's fine. Turret plating will fall soon. Yeah, you players. Minions, please. Mercy. Oh my god, finally. Some kills. Oh. Oh, fuck. Hmm. 
Hmm. Oh. Okay. What is he here for, man? <sighs> I. An enemy has been slain. Ooh, okay. You go mid. Dude, it's fine. Like, you're one in four. Not even the like the worst thing ever, dude. TV raging. Hey, like other people are doing fine, so like chill the fuck out. No, he's about you. Yeah, that's what I mean! One K and he flashed. Fuck yeah. Your turret has been destroyed. So oh, I'm excited. Holy shit. I almost hit- I almost fucking griefed it. Hell yeah, not even close! You're fine, you're literally there. Yeah, I'm still alive somehow. Somehow, some way. We're still going. But at what cost? Yeah, my fucking mental. Losing it. The higher the hours, the more it's costing me. Oh, 
shit! Wait, he does so much damage. on this side. I mean, usually with E, like... I feel like you just... Yeah. You just CC him. If you have Seraphine CC for him, I feel like that's fine. Okay, that was uh, heal and Quinn flash. Whoa, what the fuck? Hey. Hey. Nice. gonna fucking get a quad right here if we don't okay yeah flat two All AD. Not super helpful because we um really have tanks, but I mean you can get other things. Armed guard and other stuff, not bad too. Dude, he's not even there. They're going for Baron. Oh, they got it so fast. With this. Okay. Let's see. Serious? Go low. Oh, get him. Oh, there you call. Damn it. Damn it. You're so low. Unstoppable. See, like, what is this? And now they say this, dude, you're just too, like, I can't handle it. I can't handle people. I can't handle people sometimes, man. You know what I mean? Like, it was fine the whole time if you just fucking chilled. And then when you're, when we're hard, like, winning harder, then it's like, oh, yeah, it's fine. You can't be there when the going gets tough. You can only be there when the things are good. does she do this to me every time? Oh, 
Oh my god. Yes! Silver, thank you for the 11 months. Welcome back. Yeah, we're winning. I'm kind of winning to winning more now. Oh my god, another red? Wow, Akali's such a positive teammate. Yeah, she is now! With the... Like, going gets tough. She won't be there for the rain. She'll only be there for the sunshine. Frame drop. I'm just farming minions, man. I gotta be so. Probably get Hydra or something. A damage item. I already don't know if I. Uh, like. It is fine to get this. Oh shit, if I hit that. Not getting G. Like, already kind of wuss. A little bit. I don't think it's bad at all. Fuck! You all just flash like this. That was bad. Oh, we all die, guys. What happened there? What happened? Oh, true, actually. Oh, but like... Fuck, I shouldn't have gone GA then. Oh no. It just- it feels so defensive. I kinda just want damage. Even though it is good. Yeah, I think the move was to... What does Sojin do now? I just don't know it. Get a lot of CD. Okay, well I can't stay in base forever. Um, okay. You know what? Maybe I'll try it. Honestly, I'm down. And then I'll get, um...
I'll sell it. I'll sell GA for Frozen Heart later. At least I can't get anything off that, thank god. Yeah, but I thought it was just, um, Riven. Like, I didn't know it was both, uh, like, he was there. Thank you so much for the two subs. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, fuck. Okay. Gotta go. It's our soul. I push out bot too. But. I'm kind of scared to go by myself because I literally can die to ye here, but... Like, I don't want to side lane against that. Holly. Uh, fine item. Our soul, yeah. Let's get this. Soul. Gotta get the cannon both sides. Good job, he says. Wow. Victory. Now he says good job. No, it's not. Thanks, Nips. Oh, I didn't know he's blinded. Thanks, Pokey. I didn't see. Job is good. Thank God, job good. Uh, 
Yes, I somehow did the most damage. Let's go. All right, I pee. I'll be back. I'll be back. Yes, Have fun, P. Thank you. Ooh, silver thank you for the five subbies thank you what the heck thanks guys server eu server is down aha I remember the days where I thought I was desperate enough when NAC servers were down. I thought I would go to um, EU to play, but then I had 200 ping and I was like, all right, F that. F that. Am I gonna get the new coven prestige coven Akali? I want to. Do I just have to buy points for it or something? Like I just have to buy like the loot thing and then play enough games. Hi Brandon. What up? Uh Benson.
2200 uh tokens for the prestige skin i could do that easy peasy i could do it okay i gotta pick kaisa let's go that's a buy loot to get tokens do i have to buy loot anyway though to try to get it or do I not have to purchase any RP at all? Oh, just the pass. Oh, I could just get just the pass. Yo, I'll, I'll play enough where I'll make it worth. Yeah, hate it. Mm. all right uh i will say this is my lg i will be back tomorrow with games though oh <gasps> kels leo hell yeah please can you, okay if you guys are gonna be at twitchcon can you please come to my meet and greets i have four of them i don't know how to fill up nearly at all enough people to have four freaking meet and greets please be there i have three meet and greets with ben q three days in a row yeah so friday saturday sunday and then i have another one for twitch the official twitch one um please go yeah bring me whatever i just think please oh nice someone dodged yeah the company ben q a mean green new york oh i'd be down if there's like a event or something but i'd love to i know it's the same time it's okay i'm sure that when one is done you guys can hop on over to the other one yeah edc <laughs> the hazard i know I know, it's so sad. It's okay. They did. Mm. Mm. Okay. We'll be fine. Hmm. Oh, Zeri. I was like, who do I want to ban? Kaz is ranked. His ranked. Uh, B O A X. Because TwitchCon is more spread out, but A X is more like you could be, you could be. There's more congested areas. I just want to talk to them. How is TwitchCon? Um, TwitchCon is more... Okay, it used to be more chaotic, but I feel like the recent years, it's been more lax in terms of organization or just going around places. Um, actually, well... 
I think it's still fine, um, but... I describe it, I guess. I'm describing it wrong. Oh, I still- no, I do love playing Senna. It's just hard because, um, I want to play Fasting Senna. And a lot of people you play with in Zuliki are not going to play Fasting Senna. Oh my god, not the foam pit. My favorite snack? There's too many. No. I really like chips, but I don't think- I don't think it's a good idea to get me more chips. I'm just gonna keep eating it. Not bad. Uh, I don't know if you guys know or it's odd, but like I like seaweed. There's like these tubs of seaweed that are kind of like a snack. They're pretty good. I like popcorn. Like movie theater uh, box buttered popcorn. Uh, kettle chips like the what are they? What brand is that called? Is it? It's not Mr. Kettle. It's some kettle chips. I know, I love the seaweed snacks. Welcome to Summoner's Rift. I love Miss Vicky's, but the... But I think America has like a different brand that they have more flavors of. Wow, when I go back to Canada, I'm buying a fuckload of Miss Vicky's chips. Oh, the one that's literally called Kettle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's like the best second alternative. <laughs> yeah, I like Thai. I see. I just don't get it often because it's, there's hella sugar. Minions have spawned. But when I'm, whenever I'm at a Thai restaurant, I always want to try their Thai iced tea to see if it's good. Yeah, people cosplay at TwitchCon. Yeah, she has a helmet. I'm more of like a salty snack person. I used to like candy a lot more, but like I can eat way more savory or salty snacks than I can of candy. Like if I eat a couple like gummies, I can't eat like a whole pack of gummies, but I can eat a whole bag of chips. Oh yeah, that's bad I tasty for sure. There's some that are just like really watery. And they don't taste like anything. It just tastes like Milky water. Not very good. Miss.
I'm not gonna push it in. Okay, he didn't have to flash for Nico. But fine. Still secure. Where it craves sweets and then something salty and then it triggers a sweet cake <laughs> it's an endless cycle. Wait, that never sounds like you can win. Gotta see if you're five foot flat IRL. Sam, I'm five two. There's every inch counts. And I got two more on top of that five. Is there any ADC you want to get learn or get better at playing? Yeah, there's a ton. I wish I was better at like Callista. I wish I was better at uh uh I'd like to be good at Samira too, Vein. Yeah, a couple of them. Shit. What team do you want to win worlds? It's either Faker or... Um, Death? Auto that. Okay, I'm briefing. Ah. Yeah, she's not regular Senna. It makes sense that's my last game. I'm minting. Watch out.
Yeah, they wanted me to have a normal match. Her ult is pretty long CD, I guess. It's fine. It is fine. It is fine. Mm -hmm. No, I can't fucking hit this cannon because it's insane. Oh. That's enough. Yeah, I know, but I want the cannon. It was blocking it. God damn, man. I don't care. Hi, Pixel. I'm trying not to will this, but I definitely was trolling so hard earlier. I like how, like, I feel like no one actually uses this, this Rift Herald thing. Like, somebody will, one person will use it, and that's it. Nobody, nobody actually votes. Oh fuck, yeah, he is lagging. Ooh. I really got a call for an eagle mid. 
I know. It, the worst part was that it didn't even feel like 10 hours of streaming. I don't know if it's like the worst part or anything, but I feel totally fine energy-wise. Maybe it's the fuckload of caffeine that I drink. What, we're losing one turret? Not anything. Oh my god, Galio, get out. Wow. I'd stay. I'm just too low. I'm gonna end. Oh, it's so easy to degen with League. I couldn't see. Games are going swell. Not like super swell, but it's like win lose, win lose, win lose. A lot of it like that. I don't even know how much I'm up to. I have to check if I'm up. I think I might be one more. An ally has been slain. Yeah, that's why I'm not. I don't feel too bad about it as long as I'm not like loose streaking like that. Are you serious? Cringe. Literal ups and downs, man. Oh, does it? I hate to see it. <laughs> he got fucking baited so hard. Oh no. He's not like that. Oh fuck. No! Not the classic Nico into a minion bait! Ah, uh, dude, there's no way I'm gonna count the minions like that. Fuck you guys. They can do it. They can't even do it. No, he's such a menace. Stop. Let me live my, li my pleb life. I did, but maybe I didn't queue the. Like, maybe it was a back minion, caster minion. Ooh. Oh my god. Dude, GP did work. GP. I see how he deserves that. to god if that mumu got that the kitch oh 
Wait, bro. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I hate it here. Uh, yeah, probably. Watching worlds. You're gonna get baited again. Mm hmm. Remember, I have to ask if I get a uh, watch party. Grancy, thank you so much for the 10 gifted subs. Thank you. What? Dude, so many subs. If you guys got subs, please thank them. Thank you guys for all the subbies today. Woohee! Actually. GP, please. Mercy. Damn you. Thank you. Hell yeah, TP. Mmm. No. The scaling is kind of not particularly one three. Until or unless GP gets fucking juiced. Oh, I loved MK. It was so good. I already, um,. I'm gonna download the uh, 11 and I want to play 11. Yep. Not just not today because I already streamed for like 10 billion hours. 1k? Because I can't. I'm fucking rich. That was 1k? Oh, awesome. Same level of play, so I won't notice a difference. Hell yeah. You guys even tell? This looks like it's green solo queue, doesn't it? Nico. Oh, what the fuck? Oh, wait, it's not. Oh, what the? Holy shit. Wait a second. Who's the other Senna? Or no Senna just did base and just walked down. Oh, that's Nico. Oh my god, not you, you menace. Nothing. Why do that? Damn. I 
through. Yeah, I got through. Which character did you like so far? Melina was my favorite. Okay, so I posted this TikTok or like my uh, Lucky po helped post a TikTok on my on and everything and then it said it was the one where I thought Sorry, I lost my ability to speak there for a second. Um. But yeah. Uh. What was I saying? Oh. No, I didn't get the fuck. Are you serious? I can't do this. Johnny Cage. How is Jenny? Jenny. Johnny Cage so well loved. Nobody hates Johnny Cage. Shut down. I love Jenny Cage. Fuck. <laughs> you hate him? See, I feel like that's way more normal. I can't be the only one. Oh god. Ah. We're not gonna get that. Good. I'm farming top. We don't have numbers, please just give it to them. It's not Oh, okay, you got it. Okay, that's fine then. Just let him die for it, it's okay. An ally has been slain. Holy fuck, not this guy again. Please! Leave me alone, you psycho. Oh. Dude, are you so strong? I hate it here. Absolutely despise. Please help, buddy. Yeah, I can't side lean against this guy. I'm just clearly not capable of side leaning against him. Somebody else take the responsibility. Worlds is an hour? Oh my god, I played so much. An ally has been slain. Like where Worlds is- even Worlds is in an hour. Oh shit. <laughs> don't die, don't die. Mm -hmm. Oh, 
the fuck? Oh my god. Oh my god. Wait, GP fucking hurts. Your inhibitor has been destroyed. Holy shit. What a shit head. Worry, I'm hella juicy. My guy just hits a fucking stun. It's fine. Uh, suffering. Oh, stop, hold back. I couldn't hold it back. Fuck you, Pike, you bitch. Do something. Oh, I can't, dude. I fucking can't with this guy. Losing so many fucking brain cells. Please let me zon yes! I'm getting fucking knocked back and forth constantly. I got boof boof What the fuck? Freaking swung back and forth. Help, please. Dude, we need to push out lanes. Really hard to push unless we. Push out the lanes. Boy, thank you so much for 40 months. Welcome back. Thank you. Thank you. Crashing down so hard. Well, I knew somebody would say that. I knew somebody would say it can't end on a loss. I don't want to end on a loss either, but it's been like 10 hours. I feel like I'm okay ending on a loss. Like, I'm gonna play tomorrow again. I literally will be back and I will play another bagrillion hours, you know? You should always end on the loss to fix mental. Thank you! That sounds like actual solid normal advice from people who want to stay sane. But it could be 11 hours, 10, then what's up? Fuck you guys! Do you guys care? 
Just for sleeping as losers? Dude! This is why we can't have nice things. Could be 11 in the watch world. All right, fine. Fuck you guys. This is my last game for reals. And I'm swapping to support because I'm losing brain cells. I'm going to play support. I'm just going to go mid and bottom mid. The peer pressure is actually good. I don't care what you guys say. I don't care if I lose this fucking game in like 15 minutes. I'm not playing another one. I can't believe I got fucking peer pressure like this. Okay. It's gonna be Senna or Lox. Those are the only two champions I want to play right now. You fucking called it. I could play other supports, but I just don't feel like it. Because those are more fun to me. You're right, I won't. Because I don't like Renata Kit. <laughs> what a ban. Oh my god, brand is hella fun. Dude, my brand support could be so, so polarizing. It's either like I'm fucking god or I'm fucking dirt trash like never play brand ever again there's no in between uh i'm a merc wolf uh. zareth i like zareth too but i don't like playing i like playing luck support more than zareth support I know. It's gonna be 11 hours after this game. Kinda crazy. The crazier part was it felt like nothing. It felt like it was so effortless that it was crazy. Because I was just playing solo queue all day. Whenever I play League, it's just... Fuck you, Jeff. Moonstone Senna, is that a new thing? Is it? I love playing NASA, but NASA support might be a little different. I don't think it's the same effect as NASA's top. Guys, stop for real. Let's dream or go to bed. <laughs> okay, don't worry. Oh my god, I'm playing. This is a Lux game. Jin? We're fucking going in. Oh my god, these guys don't even know what they're in for. Oh my god. If anything, I bet they're sad that they queued up. They're gonna play this and be like, oh, like I should have been the one who went to bed. That's right. Soul Fighter Lux? I don't think I like that. I want this one hella bad. Okay, if you guys see Prestige Battle Acad Academia Lux in the in the shop, can you let me know? I really want it. Did we play for like 10 hours and gain no LP? Don't say that. Are you serious? Did that... Why did you tell me that? Okay, fine. If I win this though, I technically would have gained after 10 hours. After 10 hours, right? All right, tell me, tell me I'm up if I win this game. If I win this game, then am I positive after after 11 hours? Dude. 
That's fucking crazy. If you're up, you're good. If we lose, we're negative. All right, make or break right here. Welcome to Summoner's Rift. Yeah, you can break even. Did you say break even? That's a song. I'm still alive, but I'm barely breathing. Actually, it's kind of accurate to how I feel right now. When a heart breaks, no, it don't break. Even. Even. No. What am I gonna do? What the best part of me? <gasps> oh! Snare, bitches! Double snare! That's right. Guess what? Ignite here, too. Alright, alright. Alright. Another one. Fight lasts so long, we could... Dude. Fucking worth. <laughs> oh my god. He noticed. Oh, that'd be cool. Um... No, I'm not even gonna type thanks. I'm gonna type like thanks. Like it's like no big deal. Don't worry about it. Like, yeah. I feel like I'm a dog and my tail is wagging right now. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm just having fun with it. I'm not overthinking my league typing. I'm trying to be cooler typing. Like if I say thanks exclamation mark exclamation mark that it sounds like I'm too excited or too friendly slash my tail is for sure wagging. But if I say it like this way then it's like oh yeah like no big deal. I do this on the daily. Yeah I work out. All the time. This isn't my first time at the gym. After six months. You have me mistaken for someone else. Oh. What's wrong with tail lagging? Well, I guess you're right. There's nothing wrong with that. Sometimes you just want to play hard to play like cool. You know? Stop! Oh my god, how could you? This is stop. <laughs> Ooh. Nice. W. Hmm. We should base, honestly. Like... Rush is gonna be back. There, okay, he's back in. Yeah. Alright! It's a Medjai's angle? Fuck. You know what? Sure, maybe second item. That's bad. The base timing is now off. The lane's pushing. A has it been Novin? Fine. Hope life has been treating you well. Which is why you haven't. Honestly, is that a good sign? If someone says I haven't been on the stream in a while, maybe it's good for you. Like maybe it means that like you're just whoa, not saying that you guys on the stream it's like bad for you, but I'm saying like what if it's kinda like like playing League of Legends. Like if you're like, oh I haven't played League in so long, what if that's like a good thing? <laughs> 
I didn't mean it like that. I realized it after I said it. It came out wrong. Oh my god! I fucked up! They're mid! See? I got distracted! Oh my god, I'm so sorry. That was completely... My bad. Until now, JK, bro. Oh yeah? Yeah? Sorry, you could have totally taken that. But we want to kill secure that, you know? Uh, if I just didn't miss. Oh, please. Slow. Ah, you're too slow. You're too slow. <gasps> Holy shit. Dude, these are my kills. They should out KS me then. My kills. Swaps to support by the way. What what support? I walked up too much. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm a griefer. I'm a griefer. Oh, I walk in a straight line and I don't get. Damn. That was a good juke. He thinks too highly of me. Oh, <gasps> no. Nocturne. 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 Don't do it. Don't do it. Take that. Oh. Right. Slow down. An enemy has been slain. I just want to hit six. I am more relaxed. I don't got CS. I don't gotta do shit. I'm kind of running around having fun. It's so much more chill. Support. I am. I'm just too good at my job, which is why these kills are mine. the wave is mm, 
Maybe I should fish them, actually. No problem. But it kind of looks like okay, yeah. Maybe yeah. It's good I didn't fish it. Invade. No, it's too much to hold. I'm gonna lose too much health. I thought about holding it for her, but... Ah, actually, I totally could've. Fuck it. It's fine, though. Oh my god. Go fuck this. Damn you. Uh, YCC91, thank you so much for the primey. Thank you. <laughs> they so aren't they? <laughs> yeah, fuck. Diana, Diana. Oh, she's pushing her lane in. Ooh, ooh. Oh, jeez. Oh? Okay, okay. Juggle. Juggle it, guys. The only thing is this. We should not yet fizz this up. Mm, a base. I want money. I don't want to buy this. Sup? My team's got me. They got me. I got them. What the heck, actually? I got them. Oh, uh, yeah, I don't think we do this. Oh. So far. And this guy really just wants to pink here. Oh, 
we gotta run dude just run oh my god just kind of maybe back out and i think it's fine yeah it's kind of uh, annoying Ooh, oh okay oh well, yeah damn it's just fucking party here man Crazy. What in God's name is this? Bro? Oh fuck. So sorry. Yeah, okay, I'm the one who would trigger myself now. Yeah, I am the carry. Like that. me i'd rather have you kill me than someone else nice oh before noctum kills me let me take those i missed still all my skill shots so before but i think i i just didn't see him in this game like the same man never heal oh jesus Oh my god, dude. Okay, miss my other one. Holy shit, if I walked a little bit closer, I would have gotten hit. Oh, 
nice. Oh ho ho. Oh. All right, I need a base. I'm rich. Oh fuck, what's going on? An ally has been slain. Oh shit. <laughs> I shouldn't swap. Maybe I should. I don't know. Yeah, have to play around Nocturne, that's the thing. You won't like to, but you gotta. You be like, oh, Nocturne's up, I can't pat push past this or whatever. Oh, fuck. Damn you guys, man. What the fuck? I hope he dies for it. That's so cringe. Like, no way you dive into everyone just to kill me. That's just- and you lose Baron. You fuck. Fuck. That wasn't even worth it for you, Garthio! I'm watching the moving box on your map longer than like to admit. Oh, oh. Nice Sonya's, dude. Oh, oh, it's so unfortunate. Ah, uh, Lilia, you starting to hurt? Ooh, Lilia's starting to hurt a little bit. Ooh, ooh, oh. Damn, look at our team go. They literally inted their entire Baron. Is that the Sivir? Die? Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. You're strong. Nice. Okay, okay. Nice. Let's go. Enters. Oh my god, he got one tapped and okay, at least the rush got it. That's really sad though. He's like, I'm gonna get Zanya's? No. Yeah, fucking something else, man. You're cringe. Did I miss? Oh, fuck, I missed. It's uh, mad. Ooh. Missing. is up soon all right let's go yonder yeah i think it's fine okay we need to get vision the vision Where is it? Oh, fuck. Nowhere. Yeah, it's 
is we don't have numbers. We might just have to give. Divers kind of just mid those. I don't know. Oh, I have to get this guy off of him. Got dragged. Nice. It wasn't worth killing. Ah, two deaths. I don't know. Two more deaths. I can see it. Shut down. All right, biodons. Wait, what the? Did she die after? Oh, she did. Yeah, nocturne. Yep, yep, was fun. Up now, too. What the fuck? Me bully you guys? God. Please. I could see half the time, honestly. Be nice and helpful. Holy shit, thank god. What the fuck? Hey. Your shit, dude. Oh my god, he's so strong. Too many things. I need Morello too. This fucking maw, dude. Just check. Just got check. Okay, nice. An ally has been slain. Oh, he's top. Ooh, wait, he might grief here. Oh my god. <gasps> Holy shit. Oh. Me? Fuck you. Holy shit. <laughs> God, fuck shit out. What the hell? Use my second one. Yeah, we have the base revision. Yeah. I mean, I feel like he's just just seen if I had gone. Yes, I didn't expect him to use. Is other spell two or is E? 
I didn't expect him to use E while I had, like, with the ult on top of me, too. Whatever R. Me, I saw this was not too. <laughs> that cannon minion was out, out to get him, dude. It was chasing him. If he died to that, oh my god, no way! Oh, it's so lame. You really lose like that. Wow, I can't believe we lost off of that. Uh, I'm just cursed, I guess, or what? I hate it here. Wow, I actually hate that so much. No! We're not running it back! Look at this! I'm not playing anymore. Fuck this game. You cannot convince me on another one. No, I don't care. That was my last straw. That was my absolute last straw. The fact that I even lost just with that game, just I don't want it. I don't want to deal with it anymore, man. You guys, if you you guys saw that game with me, you guys understand why it's reasonable for me to rage quit after that game. Go watch Worlds! Now it's Worlds time! God, it's fucking... Yeah. Exactly, you would have tilted too. Good, everyone's good. Uh, I actually don't know what the watch party is for Worlds. Maybe I should check, take a peek at the LPP Discord and stuff and see, I'm not sure. Um, what time will I be streaming tomorrow? I don't know. I wanted, I would like to do morning. Um, I don't know what time Balls wants to play, but I'll just... Mm, do whatever, I guess. Yeah, I, I can stream whenever tomorrow. My day is just open. I think. Let me double check. I think so, though. Maybe... If we have time, if we have some extra stuff to maybe we could do Mortal Kombat and League. Oh my god. All right. Oh, I I miss HK so much. I want to go back. Counting down the days. All right. Thanks for watching, guys. I will see you guys next time. Good night. It's been a long 11-hour stream, I think. We can call it here all right good night guys thank you so much for all the subbies today it was so cute even though like it, my birthday passed and everything I, I figured like yeah but everyone was so nice thanks guys i appreciate that thank you thank you all right it's it just it was just so nice so thank you all right and all the belated birthday wishes thank you I'm sorry I didn't stream the past two days. I was only 